da 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 I'll tell you why that was nice, wasn't it? That was a nice way to move. Although my tights, which I've literally just pulled up, have just fallen down again. Because I've got everything tucked into them. I've got everything tucked into them. <laughs> Debbie, do you know the feeling? Yes, I, <laughs> in my day, you used to put another pair of underwear over the tights. Oh, my gosh. That, that is a thing to do. <laughs> thing. Pants over your tights. I just admitted that to everybody. <laughs> I don't do that anymore, really. And do you know what? Sharing is caring, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie Kershaw, everyone. It feels like about 89 years since I've worked. I know. I think we were still at the other studio. <laughs> we probably were. We were at the other studio. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're at this studio, the big, scary, kind of big, big thing. Oh, it's a big studio, this is. It's a big studio to fill. But we managed to fill it every single day, 365 days a year. Michael on cameras, everyone. <laughs> There he is. Ho! Oh. Looking very smart today. He's got a shirt on. We've got um, Kinga on floor. Oh, Kinga, we love you. <laughs> Kinga, Kinga. Yes, she is. Yes, she's like a little. She's like a little bunny. She's just. Oh, hello. Uh, we've got uh, production manager Ollie. He's going to be directing the show today. Ho! Oh. Hi. Very definite wave there. And we've got producer Neri. No, 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 no. There he is. Yay! How you doing, everyone? Are we all okay? I think we're all okay. We've got a show for you today. Oh, my word. It's looking absolutely incredible. Would you like to see the most amazing pair of earrings that we've got coming up in this very hour? Do you want to see them? I've got them in. And I'm not going to take... I'm not going to take them out. I'm not taking them out. I'm not going to take... It. You can take them out. I'm not Aren't they lovely? I'm not taking these bad boys out. They're coming home with me. I love them. They're gorgeous. They've got beautiful pearls in there. I love them. They're going to be, uh, yeah, they're gorgeous. And we're going to order another sample over, which I, you know, definitely might have. Mind you, presenter Elle joined us on the <laughs> Facebook Live this morning. She wants them as well. So you know what? I think, I think we're all just going to, we're all just going to end up uh, stealing a pair, uh, buying a pair. So, um, <laughs> so we've got these gorgeous earrings coming your way. We've also got this, look. Bag charms. Now, as far as I'm aware, we've got these in different gemstones coming up as well. I think it's going to be a lucky dip. This gorgeous lotus flower carved out of um, solid sodalite. I believe we've got rose quartz coming your way as well. Carved gemstones are massive. Look at the size of that lobster claw clasp. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? I love that. Isn't because it that can go on any bag and also you can embellish it more. Totally. Take Are it that you? one step further. Yeah. I like that idea. So you've got your key ring on here. You've got your huge lobster claw uh, clasp on there as well. It comes in blue jasper, rhodonite, white howlite, or rose quartz. Gee whiz, Neri Nunu's giving me, the, uh, give, giving me a gorgeous howlite one there. Thank you, love. Oh, my gosh, I love this one. Look at that. That's good. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, we're going to do such an amazing price point. We've got a huge quantity of these available. We're going to give you a k -k -k crazy prize on these. Isn't that lovely? Proper carved gemstone. Also, clear quartz coming your way in this hour. This is all coming up this hour. Clear quartz. Ollie said it's so good. He wanted to put it on a miniature bust. Absolutely. Absolutely. When you've got something that looks this good, so gorgeous, gorgeous, clarity, gorgeous, fasting. Look at that recording. Beauty. You little ripper. That's going to be coming your way in this hour. Also coming up in this hour. Oh, my word. Have a look. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes, it's a smoky quartz showcase coming your way. No, unfortunately, we're not going to be joined by Tom Skyscraper Stewart for this one. That would have been amazing, wouldn't it? Um, uh, but yes, we've got um, uh, Smoky Quartz coming your way, hopefully, in this hour as well. Um, we've got the most gorgeous kits coming up with Debbie in the night. Now, these kits, oh my word, beautiful carved gemstones, beautiful kind of theme, beautiful ideas. We've got, oh, look at this, we've got the most beautiful 
Evil Eye Hearts, beautiful. We've got them in Lapis Lazuli, we've got them in Moonstone, and we've got one in Rose Quartz. Also, in each one of these kits, you're also going to be getting a hands, uh, uh, hands a hand. These are stunning. We've got them in Moonstone, Labradorite, and the most gorgeous um, Amazonite as well. They are lovely kits. You've also got chains and bezel strip with these and bales as well. Yeah, all sterling silver. Gorgeous. Um, so there's so much that you can do with these kits. And I love the sort of thought behind it and the story behind it because they're like lucky charms that's exactly it yeah beautiful talisman kit so they're going to be coming your way in the nine we're going to see a lovely demo with um uh, with uh, debbie now we've got jake with us in the 10 and 11 o'clock hours today you think you've seen pearls no no these are pearls these are pearls oh my word there's pearls and then there's pearls. These are pearls. Oh my word. They come with these beautifully um, made presentation boxes. Um, the strand which uh, Michael's just showing you at the bottom there, gorgeous purples and lavenders going through there. Beautiful papayas. This strand here has got more of that lovely kind of ombre tone. It's the recording that Ollie's showing you at the minute though, which is the strand of strands, which is this top one here. These metallic tones, these are the most colorful, naturally colored, colorful pearls I've ever seen in my entire life. They are absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and they're gonna be coming your way between the hours of 10 and 12. 12 o'clock, we're gonna be bringing you a sterling silver showcase. It's gonna be absolutely phenomenal. Right, okay. Where do we start today? There is so much coming your way in this eight o'clock hour. We were going to be making it into a viewer's choice hour, but actually we're not going to be doing that because we've got some really big quantities to get through. We've got some really, really exciting price points to take these items to. So do you know what? Let's just not make it a viewer's choice. Get involved when you can. If you want to um, uh, send us a message, we'd love to hear from you. Here's our text number, 78070. Start your text with the word JM Studio, your name, where you're from, and anything that you'd like to let us know this morning. Just kind of, you know, gorgeous. So our nine o'clock kits are all about kind of lucky charms and kind of talent do you have any kind of superstitions are you kind of are you superstitious do you have any lucky charms uh, that you keep with you or things which are uh, or, 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 or things which you uh, kind of keep in your bag or things which you always carry with you do you always wear a certain color pair of socks when you go for a job interview what is it let us know what your lucky charms are let us know what your kind of superstitions are as well right let's get going where are we going to start Neri okay Cop what? Seriously? Copper Mojave? What? Hang on. I've got here. Look at all of these. I've got the most beautiful bar. Could, this is just the most good looking tea bar, isn't it? They're absolutely awesome. These are gorgeous, aren't they? Which. Neri, I can't hear you, sweetie. The, these ones here okay they're not coins obviously these are uh, drops gorgeous there we go mojave australian opal drops there we go all the way yeah they're clearly not coins don't worry about that don't you worry about that get involved with jewelry maker today 0800 644 655 or get involved on our website jewelrymaker.com or download our app and watch us on the go 29.99 for you today well done oh they are coins ah oh no they are coins what carol well done yesterday thanks kathy I had loads of fun on Hobby Maker. It was great fun, thank you. Twenty nine ninety nine. They're pretty much gone. Well done. Drops. Yeah. The squares, right? Gee whiz. Okay, let's do the squares. Here we go. Ah, oh, lovely, gorgeous. Ah, oh, these are wonderful. Do you know what? My, my eight-year-old went, uh, went to a Roman villa last week and she went and kind of, because she's doing a project on the Romans, looked at lovely mosaic work and she was showing me some photos of it last night. This is very much that kind yes. of mosaic work, isn't yes. it, Debbie? Yes, yeah, definitely. I love these because uh, you get lost in them, don't you? Totally. Yeah. Yes. Each one is so different. It's got so many wonderful depths and levels to it. As Debbie said, you know, you really look at these and you do get completely lost lost you 
lose time when you look at these. 19.99 for your gorgeous copper Mojave Australian Opal squares. They're stunning, aren't they? 19 pounds, 99 pence. Well done. Interest there. Uh, people coming through already. This is great to see. Well done. 0800 6 555. Go, go, go. Well done. Under 20 pounds for you today. If you wanted to bezel set these or maybe set them with um, gallery wire, you could seed bead around these. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Well done. Under 20 pounds. They're gorgeous. Stunning. Well done. Oh, pearls and garnet. <sighs> One of the most classic historic gem combinations <laughs> um, uh, ever. You know, you think about kind of Tudor or medieval jewellery, you think about pearls and you think about garnet with those pearls. Gosh, that is a beautiful recording, Ollie. That is a rip-roaring uh, uh, recording there. That's absolutely gorgeous. 99 99 for your freshwater culture pearls with your garnets there. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at that gorgeous luster from the, um, from the garnets there, just sparkling away. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Well done. Not your price point today. Here we go. This is a very long strand. It's like a meter. That's a meter in length. That's absolutely superb, isn't it? Well done. 29.99 for a meter of pearls and gorgeous garnet there. What a deal for you today. 0800 644 A pearl mala with marker beads. Oh, yes, beaded bead, beady beads made out of gorgeous garnet as your, as your marker beads. So great little idea there. Thank you, Director Ollie. Well done, Maker Shamine. Well done. It's pretty much gone. Well done. Sold out. Oh, Savorite garnet. Gorgeous. Beautiful gemstone. Oh, love it. Oh, this was a deal of the day, was it? Oh, do you know what? I love Savorite garnet. It's such a rare gemstone here. Such a rarity. Beautiful. That depth of colour. It's all natural and it's a variety of garnet, which, which you wouldn't think, you know, just seeing the red garnet that we've seen there, you'd be forgiven for thinking, well, all garnet's, all garnet's red, isn't it? It's absolutely not. It comes in all colours of the rainbow and, and beyond. Uh, you've got this gorgeous, bright, um, luscious green tone there. 49.99, not your deal today. Here we go. A ludicrous deal coming your way, says, uh, says Neri Nunu. Let's just go for it. All the way down, everybody. Absolutely superb. Is this the deal of the day price that we're going to be going down to? Deal of the day price? £11. What? Caroline? Heather? Paula? What? Jennifer? £11. That's absolutely incredible. How is that a thing? Well done. What a deal for you today. 11 carats of one of the world's rarest varieties of garnet. I love it. This is about to sell out. Well done, everybody coming through to get this. Just superb. Jenny and Nottinghamshire, you've got two in your basket there. Well done, everybody. Go, 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 go. Well done, everyone. And Carla, well done to you as well, my lovelies. Gorgeous. Caroline in Northamptonshire is going to come through another one by the looks of it. Well done, my lovelies. Well done. multi bidders galore here. Jenny's got two as well. Well done. 11 pounds. Loving this luscious colour here. These gorgeous earrings are oh, baby, baby. They're going to be coming your way in this hour. Look at this. Look at this. Coming up at half past. Those earrings are gorgeous. I mean, they're Monica Veneda inspired, aren't they? They're kind of, they're, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Right. Let's do the Wall of Fame. Let's see some of your incredible pieces. Let's do it right now. So the Wall of Fame is a chance for you to showcase your incredible items of jewellery which you've made using Jewellery Maker pieces. Take a photograph of them and then email it to studio at jewellerymaker.com. Uh, and every Wednesday, which is today, we pick a winner and a runner-up who will win £100 or £50 credited to their Jewellery Maker account. So let's start off with 101. Vera! Hello, darling. Hello, JM. I created this bracelet using spear and spike seed beads. Oh, uh, good luck to all the other entrants. That's from Vera. That is gorgeous. A spiky bracelet, Vera. Very nice. Helen Joanne Hood. Uh, hello, my darling. You're number 102. Good morning, everyone. Please, can I enter my Copper Mojave Turquoise Cabochon ring to the wall? Yes, you jolly well can, lovey. Um, it's taken me to time to pluck up the courage to pick up the tools and try my hand at soldering. This is my first piece. It's quite rustic. There were a few mistakes along the way. I'm not completely happy, but I'm sure next time we'll turn out better. Can I just say, Helen, 
That's absolutely amazing for a first go at soldering. That is, I mean, that's brilliant, isn't it, Debbie? just a simple band ring yes so that is absolutely incredible for your first piece Helen, that is a complete superb natural. amazing just best of luck she says thank you to all the wonderful tutorials that you provide good luck and that's from helen helen that is brilliant thank you right um sarah sarah parker you're number 103 hi all here's an entry uh, to the wall of fame i use 10 mil and 6 mil faceted sewed light beads oh that's a lovely necklace um uh with some spares from my stash and finish it off with a toggle fastening um the beads and gorgeous, uh, sorry, the beads are gorgeous. Thanks, JM. That's from Sarah. Thank you, sweetheart. That's going to be so lovely come summertime as well. That's just perfect. Oh, speaking of summer, look at this gorgeous sunlight shot. Gillian Thompson, you've done some beautiful. I know, we love the old sandstone. I know, Neary. He's very excited. Please find the my entry to the Wall of Fame, a Tibetan pattern Marla necklace with a gorgeous golden sandstone and one of the beautiful rondelles I bought from JM about three years ago. I've been patiently waiting for this perfect, um, uh, for its perfect place. It's been perfect, sorry. It's been patiently waiting for its perfect place in life. Good luck to all, Gillian. You've done so well there. That rondelle is huge. <coughs> it's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, Vivian, Vivian Thode, you're number 105. Oh, sweet. I like that. Hi, all. Here's my entry to the Wall of Fame. Rose quartz rectangles and silver plated findings bought from JM a long time ago. I really like those. They're really, really lovely. The green and the pink looks wonderful together. Thank you, Vivian. Uh, 106, it's Gail. Oh, lovely bit of wire wrapping there. Um, please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. I had a go at weaving a Labradorite cab. Quite pleased with the outcome. Good luck with all, the, uh, who, are, all who enter the Wall of Fame. All products are from Jewelry Maker. Thank you very much, Gail. That's gorgeous. Beautiful Labradorite. Janet Batty, you're number 107. Oh, Janet's been busy. She been busy. I thought it was time I started doing something with the lava rock I've had for a while. I started by making some simple braces and just adding spaces, jump rings, and some wire coils. I just love all the different colours of lava rock. That's from Janet. Janet, you've done a lovely job there. They'd look great stacked up, wouldn't they? Sue Gott, you're number 108. Oh, nice. That's all love. Is that all fluoride? This is the entry to the Wall of, Fame, uh, Wall of Fame. It's one I've made for my statement pieces section on my Etsy shop. Oh, Sue, get you with your, with your Etsy shop. I love that. And that is definitely statement, isn't it? That's gorgeous. Uh, 109, it's Kerry. Hello, sweetie. Oh, God. Whoa. Gosh, that looks professional. It's a pair of rose gold plated wishbone earrings with purple coloured agate gemstones. Everything is from Jewelry Maker. I hope you like them. And that's from Kerry in St. Ives. Do you know what? Those are stunning earrings. I love the way you've ombre that amethyst. That, that looks gorgeous. And the flower, it's a lovely photograph, that one. Katie Mullins, you're number 110, my lovely. Last but not least. Um, hi, everyone. My entry for the Wall of Fame is a vintage star necklace. It features pale mauve shell pearls, faceted white quartz, and a sterling silver clasp. Everything used to make it is from Jewelry Maker. I hope you like it. That's from Katie. Katie, lovely. Another lovely photograph there. Gosh, you're a professional lot, you are. You're amazing. Shall we draw the Wall of Fame? Okay. I love the Wall of Fame. I do love it. I love seeing your, kind of what, what you're making, what you're enjoying, what you're loving. Okay, so let's release the prize winning balls. Here we go. Ho. Oh. Okay, so this week's winner of the Wall of Fame winning £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account is number... 76. Ho. Oh. It's who, sorry? It's Julie. Julie? Julie, well done to you, my lovely. You've won £100 credited to your Jewelry Maker account. Hey, well done to you, my lovely. Gorgeous. Uh, and the Wall of Fame runner-up this week, winning £50 credited to their Jewelry Maker account, is number... I might have this one, actually. It's number 113. Did we go up to that? No, we didn't. 113. It's Joe Ray. Joe Ray, well done to you, my lovely. You've won £50 credited to your Jewelry Maker account. <laughs> well done, and well done, Kinga, for your first Wall of Fame. Oh, she's, ah, oh, ah, oh, you're going to go and collapse now. She's shaking. You're going to go and collapse now. <laughs> go and lie down in a darkened room. Oh, God, love it. She did amazingly well with that. Right, okay. Now, we've got literally a couple of these left. Oh, I don't know where they are. 
closed jump ring bundle. Okay, let's do something else first. Let's do, oh, oh, clasps with gemstones in. Oh, these are stunning. Look at these. Oh my word, here we go. Number one, number two, number three, number four. We have got here four sterling silver marquee shake, oh, marquee shake clasps. These are gorgeous. All four of these for one price. How do they work? Well, you literally get your clasp. You give it a bit of a squidge here. That's it. Take that out. Put it back in. There we go. Lovely. You've got four gemstones here. What do we reckon they are? Okay. I'm actually going to start at the other end, if that's all right with you, lovely. Uh, we have got here clear quartz. Oh, sorry. No, it's not. White topaz. <laughs> that's a good start, isn't it? Well, Zambian amethyst. We've also got citrine and grandiliorite. Oh, my word. Unbelievably rare gemstone. They're all set in sterling silver. That is incredible. Look at this grandiliorite. Yes. Now, this is something which, uh, Ollie, I think you mentioned this the other day. Take that out of the bottom. You've got yourself a gorgeous pendant. How gorgeous is that? Yeah, take the clasp bit out the bottom and you've got yourself the most gorgeous pendant or charm. 34.99, all set into sterling silver. That is just amazing, isn't it? Well done. 0800, 644, Go, 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 go. Well done, everyone. That's just superb, isn't it? What a great deal. Good morning. I have these clasps and they're stunning quality. Yeah, they are. They're, they are amazing quality. I can't remember. I think I've seen a Wall of Fame entry of somebody using these, um, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous. They, they really are. They make such a huge difference to your jewellery and they're all precious metal. Why not use them with the incredible pearls that we've got coming up today? The papaya pearls. Oh, ho, ho, ho. gorgeous metallic pearl. Oh, they're just stunning. I love them. Love them all. So these gorgeous, gorgeous pearls coming up uh, in the 10 o'clock and the 11 o'clock out. They're absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Well done. Right. Okay. <sighs> earrings. We are moments away from these incredible earrings. They're beautiful. These are the most stunning <gasps> pearl earrings coming your way in this hour. They are designer inspired. Love them, love them, love them. Gorgeous, amazing price on those. Nice big quantity as well. You're going to love them. They're going to be coming your way in the next few minutes. We've also got these gorgeous bag charms. We've got them in different gemstones as well. We've got them in blue jasper. We've got them in howlite. We've got them in rhyolite, I believe it is. And we've also got them in um, rose quartz. Thank you. Uh, so these gorgeous bag charms. It's a lucky dip. They're going to be coming your way uh, in this hour as well. Let's do these jump rings, shall we? So... Are we going to put them on pre-order? Yes! Put them on pre-order, definitely. Pre-order. Definitely. Now, we've got here, we've got here, closed jump rings. These aren't just any closed jump rings. These are twisted. <gasps> These are sterling silver. These are absolutely gorgeous. Now, we've been talking about why why closed jump rings are so wonderful? Well, you've got here, oh, look at them all. You're going to be getting 50 of your 4 mil inner diameter and 50 of your 6 mil inner diameter. The great thing about these being closed is there's that strength all the way through. If you've got your chainmail jewelry, for instance, and you quite often connect your open jump rings onto a closed jump ring, if you connect them onto a closed jump ring, your jewelry is going to be stronger, more stable. And it's going to arguably have more longevity. Not to mention which as well. If you wanted to put these maybe in the middle of a bracelet, a, li a lovely wish star bracelet, or uh, just a relaxed head knot on either side with a bit of silk, you've made yourself a gorgeous bracelet. And it's all soldered clothes. It's all kind of, it's all one kind of solid um, uh, ring there. The amount of uses for these is absolutely incredible. Also, if you wanted to take all 50 of these today, and you wanted to, I'm just going to pop that down the desk. If you wanted to commission, well, if you wanted to make something along these lines. So let's just have, here we go. Here we go. So if you just wanted to get all of these bigger, all the slightly smaller ones, it's entirely up to you. And just layer them up like this. Make your own kind of sweetie bracelet out of these. 
and literally uh, put elastic through there. You've made your own kind of charm bracelet. You've made your own sweetie bracelet. Just look to your, uh, an elasticated bracelet. If you didn't use closed jump rings, then you're maybe going to see the little opening. You're maybe going to see where it's been cut. You're maybe going to see where the laser has cut the jump ring. These are just so good. I love them. So useful. $74.99. It's all sterling silver. All sterling silver. Now, the fact that these are closed jump rings, and this is something that we only recently started doing yeah. about three months ago, Debbie, that it has completely revolutionised what people use jump rings for, hasn't it? Absolutely, because they become components also. Yes. You know, they're very, very secure. Yes, exactly. So you can make them a feature and then put smaller jump rings in between. Like you said, you can put lots together. Yes. Or it just adds that sort of sterling silver element to a really lovely strand of gems. Doesn't it just? It, it kind of... It, 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 it is still a component. It doesn't cease to be a component. It's still a component, but they become features in their own right, don't they? They really genuinely do. I love these. And the fact that they're twisted as well just gives you that wonderful texture as well. These are already flying. They're already flying. Your price point isn't going to be $72.99 today. $34.99 for 100 sterling silver twisted jump rings. These are absolutely flying out the door. Carmel, Maker in Cambridgeshire, Kathy in Kentucky, Ruth, Tracy, you've got two loads. Well done to you, Jackie. Loads of people coming through. The fact that these are twisted ones as well, they're so lovely. You've got, guess what the gram weight is on these jump rings? Over 12 grams of sterling silver. 12.6 grams of sterling silver. It's enormous! Yeah, just use them as spaces in between your gorgeous pearls, in between your gorgeous smoky quartz, in between your gorgeous clear quartz uh, coins. If you've got any jadeite with Dave yesterday, in between your jadeite, absolutely amazing. Tracy, Susan, well done to you as well. $34.99. And you're going to be getting a pack of 100 of your twisted jump rings today. Well done. These are flying out at all. Susan, well done to you as well. Loads of people checking out. That's great to see. Go, 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 go. Over 12 and a half grams of 925 sterling silver. They are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Well done. Leah, well done to you as well. More people coming through. We, got, we do have multi bidders coming through to get these. Well done to everyone. They're just gorgeous. Love the fact these are twisted. And of course, you put this into a chainmail bracelet, which um, where you're going to be using kind of uh, plain jump rings, i.e. not twisted. And it's just going to give you that wonderful definition. It's going to give you that detail. It's going to give you that interest as well and make your jewellery even better. Well done. Maker and Lanarkshire's through. Well done. Cambridgeshire. Shelley, well done to you as well. Tracy, well done to you. You've just checked out. Linda in Essex, well done to you as well. Check out your baskets. $34.99. Don't put these in your baskets. We started off at over £70 today. Yours for $34.99. Now, you all get your 30-day money-back guarantee, plus you're only paying $3.95 P&P per order. That lasts for the entire day. Maker in Holland, well done to you. Maker in Lanarkshire is just multi-bought. That's great. Well done, Cambridgeshire. Isle of Man, well done to you as well. Fantastic. Well done at $34.99. Love these, love these, love these. Well done. 0800 644 655. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Well done. Loads of silver there. Yes, we do have an infinity clasp here. So lovely. Now, if you love your silver, we've got um, a sterling silver hour coming up in the 12 o'clock hour, which is going to be absolutely brilliant. It's going to be loads of fun. We've got pearls on pre-order, the earrings on pre-order. These are going to fly. Love them, love them, love them. Look at these. Do you know what? I can't think of a single person who wouldn't want these. No. <laughs> My mum, me... My sister, presenter Elle's already bagged a pair of these. Michael, you've got your ears pierced. There we go. Michael's going to have a pair of these bad boys. We're all going to be wearing them. We're all going to be skipping around wearing a pair of these. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They're coming up. They're flying on pre-order. Right, sterling silver infinity clasp. This is what you want to use with your pearls. So we've got these absolutely, I mean, premium doesn't even, doesn't even cover it we're talking blenheim palace pearls these are coming up in the 10 and the 11 what kind of clasp are you going to put with them i'm obviously going to put a clasp like this sterling silver infinity with your gorgeous two strand um with your beautiful two strand uh clasps on there they are gorgeous. Now, if you wanted to, you could use this separately because these come off. They're gorgeous. Um, so if I just show you, I just, in fact, I'll need to do it with these. Look, they've got this incredible little kind of clasp on here, which will, oh gosh, she says, she says, 
she says, which will undo, which will unclip. <laughs> which will unclip. You've got your little kind of lever which just unclips there. And you can use that separately should you want to. And you can use this part here, this gorgeous infinity symbol in the middle of a bracelet maybe, or as a gorgeous pendant, you know, something which is completely, yeah, on a choker, that would be absolutely gorgeous. The most gorgeous quality that you're going to be getting there, all beautifully set with cabixaconia as well. And they'd be, uh, be absolutely wonderful with your uh, pearls that we've got coming up today. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Lots and lots and lots of people coming through to get these already at 24 99 They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Do add it onto your order. If you want a multi-buy, please just go for it. Um, they are absolutely gorgeous. And they've got this little bar inside the cup as well to um, uh, give you that attachment to be able to add this onto your, um, uh, 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 to, to add your silk, your cord, your chain. There we go. Perfect. I'm just taking the, just taking the little component off the end so you can see. Look, there they are. It's yours today. Look at this. $9.99. How is that $9.99? That is absolutely amazing. Yeah, let's break it down into components. You've got five components here. Five. That's absolutely incredible. Make a whole chain of the middle bit. Oh, my gosh. I love that idea, Ollie. Yes, I love that. Hang on, let's get this one off as well. There we go. That's just incredible. So you've got all of those five components there. When you start to take this apart, you start to realise, goodness me, actually that is a brilliant, brilliant deal, isn't it? Just superb. All 925 sterling silver. Just incredible. Well done. $9.99. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Well done. And of course, you can use these in so many different ways. If you want to make gorgeous kind of, um, uh, um, uh, uh, what do you call them? Interchangeable pieces of jewellery, necklaces, bracelets, charms, then so easy to be able to take this off and put it back on to a bracelet. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Look, if I just show you all... Oh. Oh. It looks like a high-end jewellers over there. I know, doesn't it? I know. It looks like I'm looking into Harrod's window or something. Oh, is it? Is it me or it's is you. it the pearls? No, never mind the pearls. It's you. It's just that me. That dress. Yeah. See, it's just <laughs> me. And literally, my hair, which this morning has is more dry shampoo than actual hair today. I thought, like, what am I going to do with it? So I just got about eighty-nine thousand hair clips and just shoved it up. <laughs> Look at this. Look, see, just pop that on as a little charm. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's so beautiful. Oh, Neri, I see where you're going with these gorgeous pearl earrings that we've got coming up. Hiya, 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 hiya. Gorgeous, well done. 9.99. Gorgeous, well done. The time has finally arrived. Just to warn you, this is going to cause pandemonium. Don't go anywhere. It's your early bird. So, be honest, be honest. How many times have you reminded your husband or how many times have you reminded your children or your grandchildren? How many, how many, how many times have you reminded various people that it's Mother's Day? Not this Sunday, the following Sunday. Yep. I knew, well, so I've, I've booked Sunday lunch. I've booked to go out for Sunday lunch with my family, obviously. But I knew that I'd, if I left it to my husband, God love him, he's wonderful. But he'd probably, you know, go, get to Sunday morning and go, oh, gosh. Well, oh, dear. Oh. Uh, mm, uh, uh, mm. If you are someone like that, if you have forgotten or if maybe you're looking for the present for the woman who has everything. I mean, my mum's got everything. Amazing children. She's got <laughs> No, she no, she does. She's you know she's very lucky. She's got lots of lovely things, and um, she always gives me really obscure things. So I'm saying, Mum, what would you like for Christmas? Do you know what I'd really like, Carol? I'd love a sugar dredger. What is a sugar dredger? What is a sugar dredger? Go on, Mum. Seriously, what would you like for Christmas? Do you know what I'd like? I'd like a collapsible coffee cup. Great. Merry Christmas, Mum. Mum, what would you like for Christmas? Oh, oh, nothing. Oh, no. Well, do, do you know what I'd read? You know, and it's all these kind of useless items. And I'm thinking a sugar dredger, a collapsible cup. I'm going to get you something this year, mum, that you're not going to know what it is. 
I cannot think of a single woman in my life who wouldn't want a pair of these. I know I could buy these for my sister. I could buy them for my best friend. I could buy them for my mum. I could buy them for my daughters, although they don't have their ears pierced, but when they do. But you can buy these for, for absolutely any woman in your life and they're all going to be grateful for them. We have a minute's clock. A minute's clock. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, they're really pretty earrings. They're lovely. They're one of what silver coloured base metal and they're really lovely in the fact that you know you've got you've got your uh, you've got your you've got your rhinestones stuck into them. Yeah? You've got your rhinestones stuck into them. No, 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 no. These are sterling silver and they are genuine pearls. Roll up, roll up for an early Mother's Day special. Get these in time for Mother's Day because today they are all going to go. We are not going to have a single pair of these left. The phone line has gone completely and utterly bonkers. <laughs> I'm getting a pair of these. Do you know what? Stuff it. At the price point we're going to, I'm going to get a pair of these for my sister, put them in a card, and send them down to where she lives in Torquay. She's got COVID at the minute, bless her. Aww. Bless her, she's miserable. She sounds like Barry White. Or she sounds like that one from, uh, from uh, Coronation Street. Oh, Percy. Oh, yeah. That one. <laughs> she sounds like her. She sounds absolutely dreadful. Her husband sounds like Barry White, the warrus of love. But you know what? This is the kind of thing where you give these to any woman in your life and they'll look at them and think, Goodness me, how much have you spent on me for Mother's Day? Goodness me, how much have you spent? Goodness me, what a generous gift. Goodness me, this can't be sterling silver. These can't be genuine freshwater culture pearls. And I'm going, yeah, today, yeah, they are. They are. You've got to get these now. You have to check your baskets out. Now, here we go. Let's show you how these work, how these operate. So, here's your hoop earring. I'll just lock it closed. There we go. Here's your hoop earring. Very, very simply, you have seven beautiful pearls which have all been gem set into these sterling silver earrings. Look at, this, look at the amount of silver in this lever here. And they simply just literally open like that. I put this part in your ear, then you close that behind your ear, snap it closed, done. That's actually done. They are gorgeous. I love them, love them, love them. I'm wearing a pair of these. I'm, I'm going to refuse to take them off. King is probably going to try and wrestle me to the floor for them, but I will <laughs> not take them off. I love them. We are going to have to. I've got 100 people on the phone lines already. 60 second clock. These are stunning. Quantity wise, 50? 60, 70, how many have we got? No, 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 no. Guess how many pairs we've got? 200 pairs. 200 pairs. Honestly, a third of these have gone already. We haven't even bought you the price yet. In-house designer Anne's bought two pairs. Stella's bought two pairs. Carol's bought two pairs. Christine's bought two pairs. Do you know what? I'm not going to be buying two. I, 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 I'll tell you what. I'm not going to be buying two pairs. No, no. I'm going to be buying like five pairs. I'm going to be buying five pairs. These ones are not leaving my ear. For hygiene reasons, I have to keep these. There we go. I reckon I could do that. I reckon I could arm wrestle Kinga for these. Definitely. These are absolutely flying out the door. So many people adding these to their order. So many people saying yes. Are you ready? Are you steady? You are not going to be able to believe this. $14.99. Oh, my word. It's the most un-$14.99 pair of sterling silver pearl earrings I've ever seen in my life. No one, but no one is going to look at these and think, oh, that's a pair of 15 pound earrings. Sterling silver, seven pearls in each earring. These are, what, 
50, 60, 70 pounds. In fact, uh, Neary's, Neary's got a pair of earrings, a price comparison to show you. I mean, these are, I mean, arguably, I mean, these pearls are going to have to be, I don't know. The pearls in these earrings are, are going to have to be bigger. I mean, they're made slightly differently. But look at the price point on that. That's 195 pounds for those earrings. Or you can move that decimal point and take, you know, it, it's a, 14 pounds and 99 pence. Well done. Lynn's bought three pairs. Maker's bought two. Robert's bought two. Oh, Robert, well done to you, darling. You're going to be very popular on Mother's Day. Well done. Alison's got five pairs. Leslie's got two. Debbie's got two. Nancy's got two. Well done to you. It's absolutely flying out the door. These are gorgeous. What I love so much about these, Debbie, is that they are commercial the, the, the design is commercial it's not for someone who loves classic jewelry or modern jewelry it's for everyone it is the ultimate mother's day gift isn't it i think if you don't know someone's jewelry taste you're going to be safe with something like this definitely i mean pearls are timeless they come in time and time again in different styles all the designers are doing them yes I mean, i'm a big fan of you monica venada yes you know misoma misoma or, love uh, misoma Clovo, all of those sorts of people thomas sabo um but you would be paying a lot 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 more than mm. 14.99 there yes and they're sterling silver and pearl so they're not different they're a different style exactly i love those people don't get me wrong yes but um this wow oh I mean, you could get your mother-in-law your mum. you know you could bridesmaids get... oh Brides. perfect and you give these to bridesmaids i mean let's say you've got i don't know two or three bridesmaids maybe and you buy them a pair of these each they are going to look at those and think, right, they've spent like 100 quid on me. It, 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 pearls, sterling silver. And this is the thing with genuine pearls. You never have to justify the price point of pearls. You never have to justify. If these are 150 quid, you never have to justify that and go, it's because they're pearls. Everyone goes, ah, it's because it's pearls. I, I totally get it. It's because it's sterling silver. I totally get it. We're at 14.99. Anne Marie, you've got two pairs. Nolene, you've got two pairs. Joseph's got two pairs. Susan's got two pairs. The amount of multi bidders is absolutely crazy. Are you getting a pair for yourself and then a pair maybe for your mum? It's absolutely incredible. The amount of multi-bidders is just incredible. Look at all these multi-bidders. It's incredible. Michael's showing you there. Well done. Caroline's just bought two pairs. One or two. Anne-Marie's got two pairs. Well done. Nolene's got two pairs. Joseph's got two pairs. Susan's got two pairs. Well done to you. In-house designer Anne. Lisa's got two pairs. Anne's got two pairs. They are absolutely flying. Look at this, incredible, isn't it? Fourteen ninety nine. Look at everyone in baskets. Maker, Maker, Kate, Angela, Maker, Gabrielle. You've got three pairs in your baskets. Alice in Worcestershire, Alla, Kalisha. You've got three pairs. Maker, you've got six in your basket, my darling. Um, Alison in Derbyshire, two pairs. Maker. Uh, you've got um, you've got these in your basket. Maker in Lanarkshire. Lillian, you've got these in your baskets. It's absolute. These are flying out the door. Lynn, you've got four pairs of these. Jackie's just bought two. Well done. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. They are worth every penny of 14.99 and then some you know and i know that's a phenomenal deal that really is phenomenal sterling silver genuine freshwater cultured pearl earrings for under 15 pounds it's a birthday gift it's a mother's day gift it's an easter gift it's absolutely superb it's a well done for passing your driving test well done for passing your i don't know um uh, mock exams it's a do you know what? It's a just because gift. If you go to someone's house for dinner and uh, you normally take a bunch of flowers, how much is a bunch of flowers? A bunch of flowers, a nice bunch, what, like a tenner. And then you take a bottle of wine as well. That's going to add up to more than 15 pounds, isn't it? Or you could just give your friend a pair of earrings instead of flowers which are going to die in seven days' time and a bottle of wine which you'll end up necking. So, you know, there you go. So get them a pair of earrings. It's the same price as a really lovely bunch of flowers and a bottle of wine. 14 99 I've got about 50 chances left. Hertfordshire, you've got two pairs. Caroline, well done. I mean, when I go to friends' houses, I tend to take a candle or something like that. Yes, I, so I, I tend I. to take a bottle of wine, but I tend to take a candle or something like that, something which they can keep for that, a little yeah, while. Yeah, that's nice. 14 is, is just, it's, it's just a just because gift. It's gorgeous. Well done. They're flying out the door. Less than 40 chances now. I've still got over 50 in baskets. Please, please, please add them to your order. Well done. Okay, still got the, uh, the bag charms to come up. So we've still got the bag charms to come up. Um, we've got, okay, should we do a star buy on the clear quartz coins? These are going to fly out the door. This is a late addition to the show. Oh, my word, Ollie's got the most beautiful recording. Don't go anywhere.
So, clear quartz. Love this stone. When you talk about when you talk about gemstones which which do things, gemstones with energies, supposed properties, we've got to be quite careful. We can't say smoky quartz does this, rose quartz does this. We have to say the supposed properties attributed with the gemstone are this. Um, but then there are certain gemstones, and there are two gemstones in particular, which have proven, proven qualities, one of them being shungite and the other one being clear quartz. This vibrates on a certain frequency, which is used in watch manufacturing for watch oscillators to keep the kind of keep the perpetual movement going and to kind of give that regular charge. So a second is always a second in a watch and not one and a half seconds. And for reasons like that, clear quartz has always been one of those gemstones, which is, oh, it, it's interesting because it's not just a gemstone and it's pretty and it's all, oh, look at it, isn't it gorgeous? And this is what it supposedly does. There are actual proven properties this gemstone have, which can hugely benefit us in day-to-day -day life. Certain um, 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 oscillators in radios also have quartz mechanisms in them. And that helps to kind of keep, um, uh, keep, uh, keep power. There's an energy, there's a vibration which this gemstone works on. From a holistic point of view, from a, from a crystal healing point of view, this gemstone is just known as the master healer. The gemstone which amplifies anything good it comes into contact with. So if you think about your seven chakras which go down your body, if you think about all the wonderful um, energies that are within your body, uh, whether you believe in it or not, um, uh, uh, you have certain genuine gemstones which have supposed properties. And this gemstone magnifies it and amplifies it and makes it even better. From a physical point of view and from an actual kind of literal point of view, this gemstone does magnify. When you put this in front of anything, put it in front of your hand, put it in front of a piece of newspaper, you can see the kind of, because of the concave nature, which clear quartz tends to be cut into, it does start to magnify. So you can kind of understand where that comes from, where that kind of belief that this incredible gemstone magnifies anything good. I love its purity. I love its, I love its colorlessness. I love the fact that anything you put it with is it, it's going to take on the character. It's going to elevate the character of whatever you put it with, much like it's doing here today. Now, these have been beautifully checkerboard faceted into coins. They are so sweet. They're so, so, so sweet. I'm thinking about this strand and thinking, now, what will we do with this? I mean, channel setting these, uh, kind of having wire either side and channel setting these into a ring or into a pendant, ladder weaves. Clear quartz is a gem, which I think, any guest designer just just thanks their lucky stars whenever they, whenever you get the chance to work with it it's just such a special stone isn't it it's amazing and i think if you're working with precious metals so if you're making your own pendants mm. if you're making your own um, charms if you're using oh. your sterling silver i've when i used to make to sell i used to get a lot of commissions to use this gemstone really because it's neutral and be, I remember making one for somebody's best friend and I made a big silver heart and I put it on clear quartz oh, because it's the master healer. So you've got that, that aspect of it. Yes. But also it's neutral. So you can wear it with anything and it goes beautifully with precious metal. So yes. you feel like you're doing your precious metal justice by putting a stone like this with it. Absolutely. That makes sense. Absolutely. And you can also see your precious metal through the gemstone, yes, which absolutely. is wonderful. So let's say you've, you've used rose gold plated sterling silver head pins or sterling silver uh, wire work, and it's going to really hopefully accentuate that wire work. And it's, it goes, and, and as Debbie quite rightly says, it's a neutral stone. So anything you put with it, it's just going to look, it's, it's, it takes on, it takes on the color of my top. And it's just because it's see-through. It's just because it's got this incredible kind of vitreous luster. Now, the clarity and quality you get here is superb because let's remind ourselves of the quartz family. So quartz family members are things like amethyst. Is amethyst known for its clarity? No, not really. It, it, it's known for having lots of kind of, you can have lots of kind of fibres running through amethyst. Think of chevron amethyst or dogtooth amethyst. Citrine, is that known for its clarity? Again, no, not really. So the quality you're getting at rose quartz, not at all. So the quality you're going to be getting here is next level material. Next level material, 17.99. Forget that, forget that price, forget that price point. That's not your price today. 60 second clock, we're gonna look after you on the price point today. This is one of those strands that will go with anything. If you've got a piece of jewelry that you want to make more bridal, 
more daytime, more bright, more glamorous, more diamond-like, more precious looking, add your clear quartz. That's what I would say. That would be my answer to it. Add clear quartz and see how you feel. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. $17.99, amazing quality. Not your price point today. Whether it's just going to be a little beautiful bracelet like that that you use with the gorgeous earrings, that you use with the, sorry, with the gorgeous sterling silver, with your beautiful earrings, look. That is just, that, that, that is just classic jewellery. 20 seconds, sorry, 18, 17 seconds, over £10 coming off the price. Oh, yeah, we are, we are here to look after you today with price points. It's going to be amazing. Loads of people there. Christine, Joseph, Robert, Kathy's got two, uh, Lisa, Paula, Claire, Tracy, Jane, Maker, Wanda's got two in a basket. Tracy, you've got two in your basket. Here's your price all the way down. Six pounds, 99 pence, absolutely flying out the door. That's your deal today. Well done. Get it, uh, get it as soon as you can. Now, please do multi-buy. Can I just say as well, if you are coming through on the phone lines, there will be a big queue. There's a big queue still left over from the earring auction. So if you want to add the earrings onto your order, please do if there's any of the quantity left. But also, if you can join us on our website, jewelrymaker.com. These are the earrings, by the way, jewelrymaker.com. Or you can go to our uh, app, download our app and watch us on the go. It's going to be much, much quicker to get hold of these today. Uh, we're not on a viewer's choice because of the Mother's Day special, because there were so many of the Mother's Day special available. So if you do want to get these kind of later on, you can have a go, but they're probably going to have sold out. So, you know, do try and get them now. But if you can download the app or go to our website, get them as soon as you can. There's the details for our earrings. They were $14.99, XKG something think ah oh, xkg631 uh and the code for this is pqvx82 honestly we've got so many people with their baskets open today kathy's got three wanda's got two robert's got two and do you know what the, you you are so savvy because let's face it a strand like this you are always going to be glad to have this in your stash aren't you um oh, aren't, aren't yeah. you debbie it's one of those strands i mean you know you've got lovely pearls coming up later exactly these with pearls absolutely beautiful mm -hmm. it's that again that classic that kind of audrey hepburn sophistication yeah it's one of those gemstones but then also the gorgeous kind of beautiful sophisticated but kind of slightly more relaxed jewelry that you've made from the uh, nine o'clock kits, I can see this fitting in with the nine o'clock kits as well, the it clear quartz. Definitely. So if you're looking at sort of a statement piece, like I made the heart with the evil eye and it's set yes. lots of silver, then rather than have a chain, use these, rosary link oh. them. Oh, what a lovely idea. It would give it a totally different feel, wouldn't it? Yeah, you see, you see now, that is a lovely idea. Being able to rosary link these, I love that idea. Do you know what? I'm gonna take that one step further. You know the rose gold plated and yellow gold plated sterling silver head pins that we do? alternate silver head pins rose gold plated silver yellow gold plated silver just alternate 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 your precious metal because you're going to see it through these coins celebrate the fact you're using precious metal and make it the most simple but beautiful jewelry using your mixed metals oh my word that's going to look so expensive mainly well done to you. you've got two suzanne's got two well done to you absolutely gorgeous um, they're stunning, aren't they? Well done. 0800 644 655, six pounds and 99 pence. Well done. Go, go, go. Well done. Isn't that stunning? Just gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Now, still to come, we've got the incredible carved gemstone key ring bag charms, which are really exciting. They're going to be coming up. Uh, we've got a few more opportunities coming up between now and then, though. Uh, we've got gorgeous kits coming up in the nine. You know it. Yeah, you know it. They're going to be absolutely wonderful. Loads of people still coming through for these. There is a significant queue on the um, on the phone line. So so just just be patient. We will answer your call as soon as we can. We've got Jake coming your way at 10 a.m. this morning, which is going to be absolutely gorgeous with the most exquisite pearls. But it's, yeah, one of the biggest pearl shows we have ever attempted on Jewelry Maker. It's absolutely incredible. The quality of these pearls. Um, the, particularly this top strand here. These are, I think, the finest pearls I've ever seen on Jewelry Maker. They're so exciting. Speaking of pearls... Now, oh yes, oh my gosh, I completely forgot about this. Look at this. We've got Amalite coming up in this hour. Sorry, in the nine o'clock hour, beg your pardon. This is one of the world's rarest genuine gemstones. The color you are seeing there is totally natural. Oh my gosh, that's so good. 
The gemstone you are seeing here is millions of years old. Mined in one location in the world, southern Alberta, in Canada, you've got a legendary gem. It's coming up in the next hour. So excited. So excited. Oh, it's beautiful. And just if you're wondering, if you're wondering, I wonder what kind of quality, what grade amylite this is. The quality you are getting here is literally top, 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 double, triple A quality. It's absolutely incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Can't wait. So, amazing, exciting times. Can we do these rose quartz connectors, please? Neary, can you, can you go on the internet and find something for me? Monica Veneda, siren bracelet, rose quartz. Because I think it, it, it just, you can't bring something like this to air without showing what this has been directly inspired by. Exquisite. Either or, near it doesn't matter. Just any of the siren range. This is superb. It's a rose quartz bezel set. Yep, look, there you go. There's um, just the bracelet from the siren range. This is not, I mean, this would be totally unfair of me to say, it's a price comparison, because, because it's totally unfair. It's not an already made piece of jewelry. Just literally inspiration. Inspiration. I love it. Yeah, there's earrings in the Simon range. There's everything. Oh, it's just, oh, love. That jewellery. And, and Monica Veneda, one of the biggest international jewellers the world has ever known. She's absolutely superb. What she does, what she makes, what, what they design, what they bring to the marketplace, the kind of gemstones that they use, the designs that they use. None of these designs are complicated. It's gorgeous. Have a look at this. Should be... Look at these. I love these. Should be $19.99. This is set into yellow gold plated 925 sterling silver or bezel set. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Beautiful. Again, it's that commercial design. It's that design which everybody can appreciate. $9.99. Oh my gosh. It's tremendous, isn't it? It's tremendous low price point you're going to be getting there today. Well done. Whether you want to get one of these and put them in the middle of a sliding class bracelet, whether you want to kind of uh, use them as little sections, as little stations in a, uh, in a necklace, you absolutely can do. What a gorgeous component to be able to use, Debbie. Well, you end up with high-end jewellery. Yes. Also, you know, just put some chain in between. I mean, that's what I would do. Just yeah. put a bit of chain in between. Um, you could have, if you want them as connectors, you could hang a pearl from the bottom of one and nice. then have it as a pendant. Yes. Um, you could have one in a bracelet. There's so many things that you could do with it. And also, they're ever so fiddly to do by hand. So if you can buy them for this money, that's what I do every day. Because yeah. to actually bezel set these you need certain tools you know maybe mm. you're not a silversmith but to get are they 9.99 yes <laughs> for all three for all, all three sorry i was making some jewelry that is that's amazing 333 each that's, that, that's bezel set into ro in, in, into yellow gold plated sterling silver isn't that amazing <laughs> it's just superb Wow. Giving you high-end, and as you say, high-end jewellery. High-end. and like, Designer-inspired jewellery. I was looking then to see if it was base metal, because it would still be good, but it's sterling, oh. isn't it? Yeah. Yellow gold-plated silver. 
Wow. Kathy's got two loads. Pauline's got two loads. Gabrielle's got three loads. Maker in Cambridgeshire. Mayor, Maker in Cambridgeshire. Uh, Colleen, Joseph, Anne, Maker, Tia, Leslie, Christine, Nadine. Absolutely flying out the door. Everyone has multi bought two or three packs of these. I, I, I can't blame you at all. I can't blame you for a second. And then when you think of rose quartz, and by the way, it's checkerboard fasted on both sides. And then when you think about rose quartz, what is it? What is this gemstone? What does it mean? It's a gemstone of love. It's a gemstone of forgiveness. It's a gemstone of self forgiveness. It's a gemstone of self knowledge and self-worth and recognizing your flaws and being able to deal with it and move on that it, it's kind of a gemstone that gives you that kind of uh, self-love now or helps you to love yourself a bit more which i think we all need to do a little bit more don't we four chances remaining they're about to sell out well done everybody gorgeous now this hour has just been an hour of deals they've been early birds they've been star buys can i just say oh gosh this is all about to kick off because we're about to bring you totally the wrong time of day for this. But you know, I don't care. Lucky dip, steal of the day. I'm sitting on a very tall chair. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm sitting on like a, I don't know, like a little... I don't know. I look like a munchkin. A plinth. I'm standing up. <laughs> I'm a munchkin. <laughs> you're, not, you're not, how tall are you? Five foot three and a half. Are you? Mm. I, I wouldn't, I, I've never, you know, there are certain people when I think about them, like my mother, uh, and I think she is very short. Mm. I wear I heels wouldn't, I usually, wouldn't, ah. but I've got trainers on today. So I am a munchkin. <laughs> anyway, being vertically challenged <laughs> to one side. Um, we're 10 minutes away from these gorgeous kits. I mean, the kits are gorgeous. You've done so well with them, Debbie. Well, I mean, that one, you know, obviously, if you're a silversmith, you can... <laughs> Carol's just gone down about a meter. There we go. If you're a silversmith... <laughs> oh, I don't look like a munchkin anymore. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we are the munchkin. No. Um, so you can glue a bale in if you want to, uh -huh. or you can actually bezel set them. And oh. you've got the components in the kits. And it's sterling. You know, it's precious metal. So they're, they're amazing. These kits are... I've had some amazing kits lately. So, so these are coming up in like 10 minutes. The reason why I wanted to show them is obviously because the jewellery is here, but also because a carved gemstone, something which is carved, carving, uh, so um, carving uh, a kind of a sugar craft, okay, and doing icing and stuff. And you might watch videos on YouTube of people uh, kind of icing these cakes and it's really amazing. And you look at them and go, gosh, what skill, that's amazing. It's icing, it's soft, mm. it's fondant icing, it's, it's, you, it, it's soft. When you look at, when you look at uh, people doing clay demos and they're molding clay and carving into it, you know, that, that's impressive as well. When you see people turning wood, again, amazing, it's incredible, and they create these incredible pieces. It's wood. This is stone. This is a stone. You know the, the sayings, rock solid. Yeah, bedrock, a heart of stone. You know, it's hard, it's immovable, it's, it's, it's impermeable. Um, someone who's an island, you know, they're stoic, they're an island, I'm immovable, I'm a, I'm a rock. That's what we're talking about carving here. A rock, a stone, a gem stone. I tell you, if, if I had a go at this, I would mess it up. Can um, you imagine? I, I wouldn't even know where to begin to do something like this, would you? Debbie? I can't imagine the skill involved in carving these gemstones. And we've had some super ones lately, haven't we? I mean, we, the tiger that we had yesterday, I was oh, tuned in. Oh, insane! And that lotus flower. It's a lotus. Yeah, it's a lotus, yes. I mean, look at the detail. There's carving and there's carving, but look at That's that. That's exactly it. And sometimes we've had them occasionally. I always bring this up and it's terrible. <laughs> um, we had, um, we had uh, I think they were called monkeys they were carved monkeys they not like any monkey i have ever seen mm. or the skulls which were just like you look at them and you go ah um these some of the skulls have noses i love that <laughs> these are lotus flowers and you can tell and you can see and you can appreciate yes it is ollie ollie uh, director ollie saying this is artistry and he's absolutely right it is artistry carved 
gemstone lotus flowers. Another lovely, lovely gift for Mother's Day. Yes. Or if you've got, you know, an auntie that was like your mum, or you want to get your nana something, or, you know, on Mother's Day. Yes. Um, this is great because they can put it on anything. Or they can yeah. even hang it up in the window if they want. Definitely. Absolutely. Now, we are going to be bringing you an unusual opportunity here in the fact that it is a lucky dip. And we'll talk about that more when we, when we bring these to air. These are absolutely beautiful. You've got your bag charm, your enormous... Uh, lobster claw clasp here, which is just insane. You've got your gorgeous key ring here as well. It's beautifully made, isn't it? I like this kind of key, uh, this kind of key ring here. It's nice and flat. It's nice and flat, and you can get other things on it. So oh, for sure. So you've got sentimental value. So, you know, if you are going to put your keys on there, yeah. um, you're not going to lose them. If you want to put, say, you're going to hang it in the window, you want to put a crystal on there to send rainbows around the Nice, yes. You can put it on there. Oh, how lovely. Um, I just think that the detail of the flower itself is so cleverly done. Now, graphics are live. <laughs> now, this is part of our Gem Aura range. Hmm. Gemstone wise, it's a lucky dip. So my advice to you is multi, multi, multi. And by the way, you're going to be able to multi buy these. Multi, 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 multi buy. The gemstones are, Neri, the gemstones are blue jasper, howlite, rhodonite, which is a gorgeous pink and black gemstone, and rose quartz, which of course is a beautiful, delicate pink gemstone. So You've got your black and white rhodonite, you've got your rose quartz, you've got your howlite, and you've got your blue jasper. I would be multi-buying these because these are going to fly. The price on these is going to be amazing. Do you know what, Debbie? I mean, even if you bought, like, say, 10 of these, have the money craft store and just sell them on. Yeah, I mean, I don't... Easy. I have no idea what they're going to, but I would definitely have those on my craft store. It's the sort of thing people come over and look at. You'll get them there. And, you know, have a, and while someone's looking at the jewellery, the other half will be looking at, at these and thinking, oh, that's a little little gift. Oh, we are going to be looking after you today. We are going to be. What have you seen in this last hour? Deal after deal after deal after deal after deal after deal after deal. Oh, it's not. It's not a lucky dip. You get to choose. Ooh. So you get to pick. Oh, I did not know that. Right, here we go. So have a look at our website, jewellerymaker.com. Um, click on watch live. Scroll down. There you go. You can see the live auction there. You can pick your gemstone. Okay. So quantity wise, we've got decent quantities over all four gemstones. You can choose. So you literally go to the gemstone type. You go to the drop down box and you can choose Jasper, Rhodonite, Rose Quartz or the White Howlite. OK, they are absolutely flying out the door already. OK, so you can literally pick the gemstone that you want. Sorry, I didn't realize that you could actually pick the gemstone. That's really exciting. Oh, oh, look at the amount of quantity that's going already. I'm just looking at what do you reckon the most popular ones are so far? Um, I reckon it looks. Oh, oh, the Rose Quartz one. It seems to be oh, the Rose Quartz one seems to be moving the quickest. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, gosh, no. Yes, it does. Yeah, the Rose Quartz one, I think, is the, it's the quickest selling so far. Get involved when you can. Now, of course, yes, it does all come down to price point, doesn't it? Because I'm sitting here saying, you know, we're saying, you know, get three, get four, get ten, and put them on your craft store. Like, literally bulk up your craft store with it. You can have a few feature pieces of jewellery like these, maybe, with your lovely carved gemstones. And then you've got other gems, which, you know, you know, other pieces, which maybe uh, have taken you a shorter amount of time to make or you or you haven't made at all. And, you know, you just want to bring them to bring them to the um, uh, crafts um, bring them to your crafts and just sell them on. Maybe you want to get these in readiness for Christmas. Maybe you want to get them for Mother's Day. Maybe you want to get them for yourself. Maybe you want to put them on your kid's book bag. Honestly, my kid's bags are more Key ring them back. So mine used to be like Just that. obscene. <laughs> the amount of key rings like, uh, but anyway, you can hear them coming. Uh, so price wise, Neary, just tell me what you're thinking right now. I don't even, I don't even want to know what you're thinking right now. <laughs> now we're bringing a clock to air. The only reason why we've got a... Who's that? Neary <laughs> Nunu. Who's sitting next to you? Is that Alice? Hello, lovely Alice. Hello, darling. Hello, Poppet. Um, right, OK. Um, 
60 second clock and this 60 second clock is so near he can literally just work out what he's going to do <laughs> price point wise. He's got his calculator out. Because here at Jewelry Maker, you know how we work. You know how it works here at Jewelry Maker, don't you? We all know how it works. It's not about how much we can take something to. Oh, yeah, what's the most we can get for that? Well, yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, let's do it for that. No, let's do it for that. Let's go higher, higher, higher. It's the opposite. It's about daring each other. <laughs> yeah. I dare you to go to 20 quid. I dare you to do this. I dare you to do this. I dare you to do that. How low can we go? Jasper, which is this one. Howlite, which is this one here. Rhodonite, which is a gorgeous pink and black gemstone. And Rose Quartz, which is delicate, a delicate pink tone. Okay. Neary still hasn't made up his mind about how low he wants to go. We've got over 300 people on the phone lines and on the web. That's amazing. He says he's got a plan. I don't believe him for a second. I genuinely have no idea how low we're going to go with this. No, it's not. Don't say that. Don't you dare say that. Don't you dare say that. 999. You can say it, Debbie. I'm not saying it. Did you hear him? I did. You say it. Ha. <laughs> What's 9.99? This is your starting price. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. And you know when you've got those people that you never know what to buy for? Exactly. This is perfect. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, if you're loving these, you are going to love of the gorgeous kits that we've got coming up with the carved evil eye hearts with the carved hands of hands they're so beautiful okay oh dear me oh dear me we do have a big quantity the rose quartz is by far and away the winner at the minute the jasper is a second close uh, um, uh, and then we've got a close second then we've got the rhodonite then we've got the white how i love them all i want them all i love them yes if you've got that person you just never know what to buy for them you never know what to get for them get them one of these and it's also one of those things which is ageless as well ageless you know, a teenager would absolutely love these. Exactly. And I think, you know, you can buy them for your friends. You yes. You can buy them for your kids, for your grandkids. It, it... Oh, gosh. What's he going to do? <laughs> £6.99. That is absolutely obscene. Maker in Greater Mill London, you've taken two. Christine's got four. Kate's got four. Angela's got two. Uh, Maker's got four. Pauline's got six. Ruth's got two. Maker's got two. Maker's got two. Wendy's got eight. Jennifer's got two. Susan's got two. Elizabeth's got two. Kate's got four. It is literally flying out the door with about, with about 300 in baskets. You've got to check your baskets out. Customise yes. them too. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So, as as Deb uh, as as Debbie said, add on to them. Yeah, add on to them because they're so big. Or you take them off there altogether and make a pendant. You know, you can do whatever you want with these, and that is just. I mean, look at them. They're a lovely size. They're very unusual. If you've got your craft store, you're not going to see anyone else with things like this. Yes. You know, unusual, different things to offer. People. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because you're getting such a big, substantial, such a great quality. I mean, you look at that. You feel the quality of that. It's seriously good quality. You've got this gorgeous look. This amazing lobster claw class, which is so good. It's so, the quality is absolutely superb. And this ring here, I love this. I love this solid ring. You know the ones that you get, which are all kind of bobbly here. Mm. Do you know the ones I mean? I yeah. mean, and I know that. Yeah, that, I'm just. They're, they're, they haven't got as much design to them. These are full-on design features. I absolutely love them. They are flying out the door. Well done. Carol's got three. Jennifer's got three. Bridget's got three. Jill's got three. Barbara's got four. Mary's got three. Susan's got four. Colleen's got five. Car at six ninety-nine. And I'm just looking at the bale there. And you could take it's a that pinch bail. Isn't you could it? take that bail off, and you could put sterling silver wire, or if you wanted to make it into jewellery. Yeah, definitely. So if you know, if you're thinking, no, you're not feeling the bag charm, then you could definitely make that into jewellery if you want to. Yeah. So you could have a bag charm and then buy another one and have a pendant. Or mm -hmm. That would be lovely. Yeah. Yeah, I believe bail. it is a pinch bail, yeah. isn't it? So you'd be able. To, oh, go on, Debbie. You've got the tools over there. Go on, lovely. See if you can get it out. So this is um this is your opportunity today. The rose quartz, by the way, it is flying out the door. There's so many people coming through to get all of them. The rose quartz is the is is the winner at the minute. Jasper is a close second. Then we got the road tonight. Then we got the white howl light. What have you just done? You can take it off and put it back on. It took me like a second. 
She's amazing. <laughs> She's amazing. So you can squeeze it back you like on. That. Yeah, you can squeeze it back in if you want. Or oh, you my can... gosh. But look at that as a component as well. I'd have more than one. People are getting eight, so I'm not surprised. Yes. <laughs> Claw set this into a gorgeous pendant. It's a pendant. <gasps> ring. 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 Yeah. Ring a ding ding. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that's a ring. <gasps> I can't even see the drill hole anymore. It's absolutely amazing. I love this. Oh, Deb uh, Debbie, this is so beautiful. I love it. Look at this. I just look. Oh, yes. Look, there we go. There. Oh, look. And then you just squeeze, squeeze it back. It. In. Oh, yeah. give it a squeeze. <gasps> oh, there you go. So it's that easy. It's that yeah. easy. Oh, my gosh. I love this. Wendy's bought 13. I'm not being funny, Wendy. But for every single friend that you've got, every single friend that you've got, this is a great gift. This is a great gift. My lovely next door neighbour, Jenny, she's going to be 80 in October. Aww. I'm going to get her one of these. I just, she's she's going to love it. It's so lovely, isn't it? Absolutely. And, and that's absolutely it, Neary. These are unreal. Carol's got eight. Christine's got six. There is a huge queue on the phone lines. Can I just say, and I'll be really honest with you, we started with a thousand of these. Okay. We started with a thousand. So if you're one of the over 500 people who are currently waiting for their calls to be answered or you've got them in your baskets, check out as soon as you can. If you're on the phone lines, don't worry, don't stress, your call will be answered. We are extraordinarily busy though, okay? We've opened up hundreds and hundreds of orders over the last hour. So what I'm going to say to you is we're going to go to a very, very quick break. Please do not hang up the phone. If you're waiting on the phone lines, don't hang up because we've, we started with over a thousand of these. We've still got a really decent quantity left, but my word, I mean, I'll show you the call screen when we come back. They're absolutely flying. So don't be, don't worry. Your call will be answered. Stay where you are. When we come back from the break, carved gemstone kits. These are absolutely gorgeous. We'll see you in a second. I'm Jake Thompson, your gem investor, and I'm incredibly thrilled to be celebrating this week, two years of joining you at Jewelry Maker. I want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for the support over the last two years. And to say thank you, I'm bringing you something I have never in my over a decade of bringing the rare and the exotic, I have never experienced anything like we're going to be sharing this Wednesday from 10 a.m. Certified naturally papaya pearls. These rarities, certified so few, so rarely by Gemological Labs, overwhelmingly the papaya grading is achieved only by the rare and extraordinarily expensive mellow pearl. This is my first time ever exploring certified papaya pearls and I hope you'll be able to join me as we explore these natural colors together. This Wednesday, 10 a.m. to say thank you for two years of your wonderful support. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. 
When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. What just happened there? <laughs> what actually just happened with those bag charms? Yeah, yeah. We've got people, but Anna's just bought nine. Wendy's just bought 14. Anna's got two, about 10 even. I thought I saw Alice's name on the call screen. Alice, Alice, I've just bought some of the gorgeous pearl earrings with sterling silver. I mean, honestly, <laughs> crazy. We still have almost 200 in baskets. Look, Anne, Kathy, Catherine, Anna, April, Carol, Denise, Carmel, Debbie, Christine, Kath, and a billion more of you have got these in baskets. Everybody has checked out. Everybody. Checky, 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 outy. Checky, outy, outy, checky, checky, outy. Checky, checky, checky. Checky, 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 checky. This is the quantity we've got left. 159 of the Jasper, 243 of the Rhodonite, 143 of the Rose Quartz, and 265 of the White Howlite. So in the lead, Rose Quartz, second, Jasper, third, Rhodonite, fourth, White Howlite. I would have thought the Howlite would have been probably, I don't know. I love, I love White Howlite. It's one of so my favourites. And for the Lotus. Yes. You know, the thought of the Lotus being Balance. white. I, it's my favourite, the White. Oh, good. As long as there's one white one left for me. <laughs> So we've been talking about carving gemstones, haven't we? Um, and how, I mean, it is artistry, isn't it? Oh, amazing. I mean, have you seen them do it? When no, you, no, you've never no I haven't. It. No. I'd love to watch them do it. I mean, I'd be scared. You know, people say they're scared of soldering of the torch, but can you imagine having a, a gemstone and then you've got to carve it? I mean, you can't go wrong because you've ruined it. Exactly. It, it really is quite incredible what's been achieved with this... Ah, oh, the flower would make a great yes. art as a guru bead and a mallet. Yes. Well, you know, you can take them off and put them back on again, as we've, as we've just shown. <laughs> Let's start off <sighs> with these gorgeous kits. Let's start off with the gorgeous rose quartz kit. Um, so. So. Gemstone carving is something else. It really is. What you're going to be getting here, oh my gosh, this is so lovely, is a beautiful heart-shaped cabochon. Heart shaping is one of the most expensive, one of the most difficult to achieve um, shapes to cut. And it's all to do with this, the cleavage of the heart. When you are cutting a heart shape if you're cutting a pear then you've got your you've got your kind of you've got your effectively your three sides as soon as you want a cleavage in a heart the cleft you've then got to apply more pressure you've then got to obviously carve deeper into the gem not only that but you'll see here it's also been drilled it's a big risk isn't it oh yeah carving a gem and, and kind of cutting it into a 
Cutting it into a heart, a proper heart. A proper heart, and then you're flat on the back. Ah, yeah, now. Which, you know, it, it boggles my mind how they do it. I mean, yeah. that is true artistry. Often it's passed down the skill through generations. Totally, isn't it? yes, absolutely. Now, let's talk about this evil eye. Let's talk about the eye um, uh, symbol. I've got, I've got a couple of slides that I wanted to show you just about, just to kind of cover the, uh, this, this particular um, evil eye um, uh, uh, carving. Because it's one of those things that you look at and you think, ah, oh, is this a good thing? Is it an evil eye? Is it a bad thing? Or, you know, what is it? Okay. So here's, here's the details on your evil, on, on your, uh, uh, we've got the Hamza hand coming up. Uh, but we've also got the uh, evil eye, which is all to do with the um, uh, the colours that you get. Ah, there we go. So the evil eye, um, the belief in the evil eye dates back uh, to almost 3,000 years to ancient Greece and Rome. It's one of the strongest symbolic images in the world. Now, I didn't know this. Um, uh, the last bit I didn't know. Wearing an evil eye as an amulet is believed to provide the protection, uh, uh, provide prote uh, protection against evil forces. Now, this is something I didn't know. The evil eye has symbolism in almost every country in the world and every religion, such as Judaism, Islam, Hindu, Buddhism, and Christianity. I did not know that. I knew it was kind of a protection mm -hmm. um, uh, symbol and to kind of provide you with protection. Yeah, I thought it was just e Egyptian and kind of Middle Eastern. I had no idea that it was kind of in, in almost every single, like the eye of, uh, the eye of Raj. Um, uh, you've got... You've got it in almost every single uh, religion in the world. The next slide I want to show you is all about the colours. Have you got that slide, Neri, about all the colours? There we go, perfect. And when you get an evil eye, what kind of colour is it in? And uh, it, it's, said to, it's said to kind of mean different things. So if it's a coral-coloured evil eye, then it's all about protection. If it's black, then it's about power. If it's red, it's courage. If it's light green, success. If it's an amethyst purple, it's intelligence. If it's a pink or rose, it's all about love. Turquoise health, white wealth, and dark green happiness. So this is obviously a rose quartz evil eye. So you've got here that gorgeous kind of love connection here. It's just gorgeous. It couldn't be any more perfect. With your evil eye heart, you've also got a Hamza hand. Now, the Hamza hand, I find this image fascinating. I really genuinely do. I wasn't aware that if you wear it upside down or facing up, it means it means different things. And here's what it means. So we've got a slide here just just explaining the Hamza hand um, uh, imagery and what it and what it means. So here we go. So which way do you wear your Hamza hand? So the first one, a Hamza hand facing downwards stands for abundance and prosperity and bringing good things into your life. OK, so that's if you wear it down. A Hamza hand um, uh, facing upwards acts as a talisman against evil and protects you from your own negative feelings. I think either way round, it's going to be a perfect, a perfect symbol to wear, isn't it? Absolutely. And I'm a big believer of, you know, you go with what's written about something, including yes. gemstones, but then you go with your heart, you go with your gut. So what you're drawn to is often what you need. Mm. So I think Absolutely. that any of the colours that you're drawn to. So I've just made um, a flower with this one. Um, mm. And what I'm going to show you in the demo is different ways you can set these. Oh, how gorgeous. And it does come with a little sterling silver bale that you can just glue in. So you don't need exactly. any special skills. But I've done some different, um, some different ways of, of setting them. Now, you've got, um, uh, we've got uh, Kate Brady from, um, from The Apprentice. Uh, sorry, Karen Brady who, um, um, uh, uh, from The Apprentice, who uh, historically wears her Hamza uh, hand. She wears it facing downwards, which is, which is interesting, isn't it? Kind of, so that's to protect you against kind of negativity. This was a while back, um, um, but she's still wearing it. Um, in fact, Neary told me that uh, he was looking at The Apprentice there. She is wearing it again. She looks great, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. So um, these kits, amazing. You've got the two. You've got the two carved gems. You have then got silver bezel strip. Okay, silver bezel strip. Gorgeous. Have you got the specifications for this, please, Neri? Okay, so you've got your sterling silver bezel strip. Okay. You've then got <laughs> not one or two, but three sterling silver chains. Three sterling silver chains, okay? Curb, rope, and box chain. 
gorgeous, all 20 inches. There's your sterling silver bezel strip. You've then got two sterling silver bales as well. These are lovely, lovely, simple bales you're going to be getting here. Such a beautifully put together kit. Two sterling silver bales ready to be put into the um, into the Hamza symbol or indeed into your um, into the top of your heart as well. OK, they are absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe we're doing these kits for the price point that we are. The symbolism, the kind of the, the, the wealth of quality of the components, not just, not just in the carved gemstones of the time and the effort and the generations worth of work it's taken to create these, but also the gorgeous sterling silver chains, the value in those. Even if these chains were kind of, oh, I don't know, kind of, uh, you know, $8.99 each, you've then got the sterling silver bezel strip and two gorgeous carved gemstones. That's a big piece of rose quartz you're going to be getting here today. Already loads of people coming through, lots of people checking their baskets out. And you've got your sterling silver and you've got your sterling silver bales as well. Uh, decent quantity available. We're going to see a lovely demo with Debbie obviously have a little look at this price point right here this really is amazing 49.99 for everything three but, sterling silver chains yep. in there three sterling silver chains sterling silver bezel strip goodness me that's a lot of silver is it a five there. mil bezel strip uh Actually, i believe it is yes it is yeah and then you've got your sterling silver bales two of them and you've also got your two hand-carved gemstones. It's not your price. No, it's not your price. The amount of people checking their baskets out, amazing. You've got your Hamza Moonstone hand. You've got your Rose Quartz Evil Eye Heart. You've got all the rest of the components, which are all sterling silver. I mean, it's literally incredible. We're going to take the price point all the way down. Just for the silver elements on their own, we must be looking at about what? Just for the silver elements, we must be looking at about 30, 40 pounds just for the silver on its own. If you go and look at bezel strip um, on some of our competitors mm. and just see how much that costs. Because, exactly. Um, it's a staple. Even if you're not deciding to bezel, mm -hmm. you don't have to, you will find something that you want to bezel. And I'll show you what you can use this for. If you're a silversmith, you'll know you won't need me to tell you, but you can just glue in your bale as well. So some, it's for everyone. Absolutely. All levels, all skill sets, all loves. Yours today, twenty nine ninety nine. I'd pay that for the chains. Twenty nine <laughs> ninety nine for three sterling silver twenty inch chains, for your sterling silver bezel strip, for your two sterling silver bales, and for your two hand carved gemstones. I mean, what? There's 9.8 grams of 925 sterling silver. Ruby's just bought three of this kit. You're looking at almost 10 grams of sterling silver in this kit. Absolutely phenomenal. Well done. In baskets, Claire, Maker, Ruby, Maureen, Sean, Kathy, Maker, Nadine, Gabrielle, Jane, Melanie, Lisa, Maker, Michelle, Julie. It's absolutely flying out the door. It's yours today. It's unbelievable that you've got this size of... And actually, this size of moonstone is huge, isn't it? It's really huge. It's a statement piece. It tells a story. Yes. I mean, I've put some on cord just to show you that it can be done. Maybe you want to use the chains for something else and do a lovely macrame or kumi mahimo bracelet you know i think jewelry makers know that this is such a versatile kit that you will use all the pieces either together or you'll use them separately for other yeah. things it's really versatile it is so it is so versatile and do you know what i mean and and you are well within your rights to do this if you want to get this kit home and go right i'm going to seed bead around the heart i'm going to do something yeah. i'm going to gallery wire around the hamzan and i'm going to use all these sterling silver findings for something else in my stash Yes. I mean, these are stash essentials. These aren't kind of the kind of things which you're only going to use with these kits. These are the kind of things where if you want to break this kit up, you can absolutely do that. You can break it up. You can you can kind of use it across across different uh, different designs. You can you can do whatever you like with this. But for the individual components, it is an absolute 
bargain. It really is a bargain. I didn't know what these were going to. Um, I'm blown away the last couple of shows I've been on by... They're superb, A, they? the quality of, of our kits and yes. how they've changed. Um, not that they were bad before, but we just seem to have new and exciting things. Oh, it's things incredible. In it. It's incredible. And the prices. Yes. <laughs> the prices literally are... Uh, the kind of prices which you look at and go, well, that's shocking us. And we've been on Jewelry Maker for, for years. Yeah. They are shockingly good. Shockingly good. It's exciting, Carol. It, it, it is, isn't it, darling? No, but it is because, because I don't feel like I'm having to go, wow, that's amazing. No, Seriously, I'm thinking, oh, I'm sure we did something about a year ago. This is all so wonderful. Yeah. It genuinely is wonderful. And, and it's just... It, it's and the quality of the stones. I mean, honestly, Debbie, when we get to these... When oh, we get, yeah. My favourite kit is the lapis, is the lapis and Amazonite kit. It literally... It is, a, it is a joke how good these gemstones are. It is... They are so good. Have you seen, look at this Amazonite. Sorry, I know we shouldn't be talking about this kit yet. <laughs> look at that. Look at it. It's beautiful. Look at it. Insane. The colours are exotic. Do you know what They're it looks rich. like to me? When I Egyptian. saw this, yeah, like some an archaeologist had dug yes, it up. Yes, they've dug it up. That's why when I bezel yes. set it, I wanted it to look like treasure. Oh, yes. You know, like, and it's the kind of thing that you see kind of scarab beetles carved out of, isn't it? In, in ancient Egypt. Right, we've got to move on. These kits are flying out the door. Right. The other two kits are on pre-order, just so you can get them. Let's do the Labradorite kit. This one's a stunner. Three, three chains. Okay, so you've got this... Um, it looks like it's the same three chains, actually. Yeah, so box chain, rope chain. Oh, my gosh, this is so lovely. And the curb chain. There you go. That's deal of the, I'm not being funny. That's deal of the day at 29.99. Well, that's what I thought. Three chains, 29.99, deal of the day. I'd Done. be happy with that. And yeah. they're lovely chains. They're lovely. Kind of chain. All different as Done. well. Yes. Looking, yeah, looking at these three chains, and I know we shouldn't be focusing on the chains. We need to focus on the beautiful gemstones. But these three chains on their own. Deal of the day, 2,000 available, 29.99, 10 pound a chain, boom, gone. Because they're versatile. They're components. There's variety. As, as, as Debbie quite rightly says, they're all different. You're always going to need chains. If you had them for £10 each today for £29.99, sell them all for £15. You've made a fiver on each chain. That's absolutely amazing. But it's not just about the chains. It's about the two sterling silver bales. Oh, my gosh. They're gorgeous. Use them with the pearls that we've got coming up. Use yes. them, of course, with these incredible stones. Look at the quality of this Labradorite. It's an absolute... Beauty. Isn't that stunning? Beautiful Hamza hand there. Isn't that gorgeous? A universal symbol for protection, abundance, depending on which way round you wear it. I love what you've done here, Debbie. You're so clever. Just made a bead cap. But again, I'm thinking that this would so be a clever. lovely focal bead in a mala. Oh, yes, absolutely. You know, because I just think that they're so, so pretty. There's so much you can do with these. Yeah, there, there really is. And I, and I love the idea of having that. You know, what the Hamza hand symbolises, having it at the bottom of a necklace for protection. Yeah. For that kind of, you know, that talisman, that amulet. Um, and then you've got the most enormous moonstone heart <laughs> I've ever seen, which has also been carved with an evil eye. It's gorgeous. Isn't it lovely? You can see the eyelashes in there. It's so beautifully carved. 29.99 no messing around make it oh, are these are flying well done they are gorgeous kits and also it, it's not it, it it's it's these are symbols which people are familiar with they're symbols which if you go on etsy and you type in hamza hand or or evil eye jewelry yeah. you will get thousands of people um thousands of designers out there with jewelry that they've made and 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 yet yet you are being able to get this today for under 30 pounds that's that's the price i'd pay for the chains and then you've got the two sterling silver bales and the two amazingly beautifully carved gemstones which as you say are flat on the back so they've got that really lovely kind of base haven't they on yeah the they, back. they sit beautifully mm. and also if you want to bezel set them and when we come to the next kit you'll see the lapis mm. you can do that because you've got that flat back yes Absolutely. 29.99, they're flying out. Well done, everybody. Lots of people coming through to get these similar names as well, which is really lovely to see. By all means, if you want to mix these kits up, then you can do. Can we have a look at the Hamza symbols again? Would that be all right, Neary? Just to kind of um, uh, look at the... Uh, that, that's it, Levy. There we go. Sorry, the next one. 
That's it, brilliant. Uh, so if you wear your hands to hand facing down, it's all about uh, um, uh, abundance, prosperity, and, 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 and encouraging good things into your life. If you wear it the other way up, it acts as a talisman uh, against evil and protects you from your own negative feelings. I'll tell you what, I could do with that. Three o'clock in the morning, lying awake, just feeling guilty about everything. Yeah. Absolutely everything. And I, th I was going to say, like in these times that we're living in, oh, the gosh. comfort with your gemstones, and then when your gemstone is carved into a meaningful symbol, oh, that's even more of a story, even more yes. of a comfort. Yes, isn't it just? It really is. And it will just, even if it's, even if there's nothing in it at all, as in, as in kind of no, no truth in it at all, my word, sometimes just having that. Yes. Just means so much to you. Best kit, best kit. Sorry, I know, I know, I know we shouldn't have favourites, but this is the best kit. It's the best kit. You're getting here two sterling silver chains with this. Is that correct? Uh, yes, sterling silver curb. Sterling silver Rolo chain. I don't care. I'll stick my neck on the line. It's the best kit. Two of your sterling silver, uh, two of your sterling silver bales, sterling silver bezel strip. Oh, oh my word. Amazonite, where do you even start with this? Lapis lazuli, evil eye, oh my word, it's tremendously good. It's Egyptian, it looks like an artifact looks, as you yes. say. An ancient artifact that an archaeologist found in a pyramid or something. Oh yes. You know, this is the story. It is. It. it is, that's the story. But also, the ancient Egyptians, um, they're, 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 their love of lapis lazuli they saw it as the gemstone uh, the everlasting gemstone and actually interestingly enough when when um uh, ultramarine was uh, formulated using lapis lazuli if you look at uh, frescoes where ultramarine has been used to paint those frescoes all of the other colors over the centuries have faded the only one that hasn't faded is the ultramarine so it really is the everlasting gemstone it just won't fade over time it's just exquisite i love it definitely the most popular kit so far this one it's absolutely gorgeous and the scarab beetle carved out of your lapis lazuli like means um, immortality uh, and so you've got the evil eye the eye of Ra you've got this incredible meaningful symbol which is so clearly depicted on your lapis lazuli and then you've got this Hamza hand as well in the most glorious what looks like Russian Amazonite um, uh, uh, it's absolutely gorgeous it's beautiful quality price point today oh my gosh all the way down We've got a clock. <laughs> Neary, where are you thinking of going? <laughs> Neary! Oh, wow, okay. Okay, so Neary's saying he's in a bit of a conundrum because he's in a bit of a quandary, sorry, because you're getting two chains with this, he feels that <laughs> he feels that he should be going lower. Have you seen the gemstones you're getting in this game? Twenty six ninety nine. Wow. That's <coughs> just for the gemstones. I mean, they're so beautiful and so unique. That's We've amazing. never done a kit like this before. We've never done carved gemstones like this before. I've this never, isn't like no. a heart or a star. No. This is something we've never done before. And as Debbie says, unique. And unique. I've, had, I've had a lot of kits in my time. Yes. <laughs> I've had it. I opened a little, I did a little squeal of delight when I opened these. I bet you did. <laughs> Gee whiz, Debbie, over 50. How many do we have? Quantity-wise, how many do we have, Neary? Okay, so we've got just over 100 chances. These are very limited. These are very limited already. And my word, they are flying out the little. 60 people with this in baskets already. Over half the quantity is gone. Go, 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 go. People are flying through getting this. We've got bidders coming. Oh, gosh, we've got members of staff coming through to get this kit as well. It's absolutely super. It just, all the kits work so beautifully. But there's something about the choice of lapis and the Amazonite and what and the quality of the of this particular material, which works so well. We're gonna have to do we're gonna have to move on to a demo purely because we've only got literally 15 minutes left on the break. So That's okay. <laughs> Debbie, um, do we've still got quantity of this kit left. Keep coming through to get it, but I'm gonna shut up now. Because <laughs> okay. that's what you really want, isn't it? No, never. <laughs> 
What I'm going to show you, um, I haven't got time to show you how to completely bezel set something. I'm sure someone else has done that or I will do it in the future. But I'm going to go through it with you and I'm going to show you the different ways that you can set the stone. So what you're seeing there has got a sterling silver sheet as the back plate and your five mil bezel strip, which is in the kit, is what I've used to sort of frame that gemstone. Now that isn't glued, that is held in with the bezel strip. And of course you get the bezel strip here in the kit. So what I'll do is very quickly talk you through first how I did that in case you want to use the bezel. Okay, so just let me see the monitor, there we are. So the best thing to do is you will always need to make sure when you're using your bezel strip that there is enough, now it's, let's see, there, yeah. Anyway, we can come in a little bit on that, please. Oh, that's perfect. So your bezel strip needs to come up to where your stone starts to curve because you need to have a little bit of the metal enough to push over the stone to hold it in place. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So yeah. you wouldn't be able to bezel set your hands a hand, for example, and it's I'll show you it's almost. too deep. So even if I had a back plate on there, just let me, as you can see, it doesn't even reach to the top. And I would need enough bezel to just be able to push over the top there. Now, if you had too much of the strip, it was fine. You could still set it, but you'd be covering up that beautiful carving, which you don't want to do. So I found I didn't have to alter this at all. This is the perfect depth for the heart. So you would need a piece of sterling silver sheet. And this is just one that I've got from my stash. And you will need your heart and you will need your bezel strip. Because if you put your bezel strip round and you don't have a back plate, uh, if it's this thin, then it will fall out. So a quick tip for actually wrapping your bezel around your stone is to pop that stone on a bit of uh, double side sticky tape so it doesn't sort of move around while, while you're taking your strip around. So I'm not going to do it really properly, but I'm just going to to give you a rough idea. Now, it's best for your bezel to start on one of the sides because this is going to be your soldering area. And if you start it on a point, when you it, that could sort of weaken it. That could be the weakest point. Or if you started it here, again, you're going to be pushing it in. So, so for the security of your piece, it's best to sort of start there so that when that will be your solder joint and that will make sure that your piece is nice and strong. Right, okay. And then you just use your fingers. Oh, it's so malleable, Debbie. It's it beautiful. really is to move this around. Now, you'll have more time than me. So you'll... And make sure that it's touching the bottom of your surface. And then when you're roughly there, you're going to really make sure that you're pushing that. You're going to take a lot of time to push that in and make sure that your stone fits in. Mm -hmm. And then what you want to do is make a mark at the side with your scribe or your permanent marker and cut that off there. Now I would recommend that you cut a little bit more than you need mm. because you can always file it down. If you've cut too little, you'll have to start again because that stone won't fit in. And then when you've finished with your shape and you're ready, then you would just take that to your soldering station. And it doesn't matter if it comes out of shape and you would solder that together brilliant okay and then you would put it back on top of your stone so that you get that shape back again and a great way to actually get the shape back again imagine that's in is to roll it on a hard surface on each side and you'll find that you'll get rid of sort of any gaps mm -hmm. when you've finished with your bezel and it's all soldered together and it's the right shape you will then solder it onto your back plate by, sorry, I'm out of shot, by placing some little pallions of solder so that they're touching your bezel and they're touching your base plate and then that will permanently be there on your back plate um, for your stone to go into. Then it's completely up to you. Do you want to saw this flush so you don't have any silver on the outside or do you want, like I did, to actually leave a lip so that you can add some detail? That's completely up to you. Then you would just pop your stone in and using your pusher tool, you would push the bezel strip over the stone. And there have been quite a few demos of how to do this on the channel. So if you go onto our YouTube, you will find either Haley or Claire or somebody doing that. So that's one way. And if you're a silversmith, you'll know how to do that. Perfect. Now, another way that you can do this, which with the Hamza hands, 
um, because you can't use the bezel strip because it's a little bit too thin. You've got these little bales. Now, these little bales are absolutely perfect and they work for either the Hamza hand or the heart, okay? And these are custom made. So what you would need to do is use some jewelry glue. Now, I used some uh, two-part epoxy because these gemstones are substantial. You know, you've got a good weight in these gemstones, especially when you come to the heart. Let me oh. grab it. You've got a good it's weight a in this heart. Individual piece. So if you are thinking of just suspending this on here, you are gonna need to make sure that that is in very securely. So a two-part epoxy glue, I would recommend if you're gonna do that. If you're making to sell, how easy is that? And you're factoring in your time, it's minutes. Gorgeous. So epoxy that, put it to the side, put it on a chain, job done, okay? If you think that you'd like to add some more embellishment onto there and maybe use those for pearls or something and, and actually use some sterling silver wire, and you might be wondering, well, how do I know how much wire to cut off if I'm making an intricate shape? And this is how I did it. So I got the wire that I'd chosen and I just popped it into my little drill hole at the top and just push it in so that you know that it's right to the bottom. And then I just took a pencil and just marked the top there. Okay so that I've got that little pencil mark there. And then you can actually measure that either with your ruler or your calipers. So that's sort of 5.7 there. So you know how much metal you need to leave if you're going to do sort of like, if I've got a flower design, is that one? Mm, yes, yeah, so I'll yeah. just get a flower design to show you. So when I made my flower design, obviously I worked my metal and I needed to know how much of my pin I needed left to glue in. So this is a really good way to measure so that you know this is how much metal you need to leave. Now, if you are going to be doing wrap loops and soldering and oh. doing things to make that, I would recommend that you wrap loop this before you set it into your stone because this is held in with your epoxy, which is very, very strong. But if you have this glued in and then you start messing about with it, pulling it, putting pressure on it, wrap looping it, you know, you're, you're going to weaken that. So do everything mm. you need to do to the wire before you set it into your hands or hand. Uh -huh. So with this one, I just added my little sterling silver flower on the top there. So if you see on the back there, I've taken my wire and I've soldered on my flower. Now I'm going to be doing some detailed soldering demonstrations on Mother's Day. Oh, I'm going to yes. be back and we've got a, a new tool it's as well. It's amazing, isn't a it? A new tool. So I'm going to be showing you some quite in-depth um, soldering demonstrations on Mother's Day. So if you're wanting to sort of start soldering, that might be a good show to, to tune into or to watch on, on playback. So that's a week on, a week on Sunday. A week on Sunday. Brilliant. But with, the, with this one, I, need, I said, right, I need a wrap loop. I'm going to put a flower on. I'm going to put a bead on, but I need to know how how much metal to leave to glue in. So that was my little tip for gluing in my um, wire there. And then with the flower, I'm just very um, conscious of the time, so I'm just gonna talk you through it. I took a piece of sterling silver sheet. I put a template on there, okay? I drew it on with pencil. I mm. tend to find it lasts longer than, than the permanent marker oh. tends to come off if your hands are a bit Good greasy. Tip. Okay. And then I sawed it out, but you could use your shears that uh, we have here at Jewelry Maker. You can use these shears if you're, if you're not confident with your sawing. And then what I did to actually achieve this um, effect. 3D shape. Look at this Love baby little. Oh, <laughs> the wibble. It's the baby one. Is I used um, my dapping block and my dapping punch nice one. to get that three-dimensional shape. Now, before you actually start to make this shape into a three-dimensional form, you want to do anything to it first. In other words, as you can see on this one, I've got some detail in there. So I've sort of made a little centre. Yeah, it's lovely. I've popped um, some lines in there. And of course, if yeah. you put some liver of sulphur in there, oh, then polished it off, it, it would really bring it out. Mm. So you want to be doing these any intricate details before, before. you sort of t t turn that metal into a three-dimensional form. 
Okay, so when we come to, and I did do a dapping and doming DVD, so if you've got that, you'll see it all in more detail. But you always want to start with your largest punch. So I'm just going to move this out of the way and get my um, metal block out. Oh, yes. Because you need, you need to have a strong surface mm -hmm. for this. Now, presenter Lucy used to say that every time I came here, I made a noise with my hammer back in the day because I was oh. stamping. <laughs> you know, Debbie's here with a hammer. I'm here with my hammer again. So what I'm going to do is take my dapping punch and just bob it into the centre of my metal and then just start to give it a tap. So if you're wanting silver sheet, this is JM silver sheet that yes. I've used. We've got it on the screen there, 95 oh, right. sterling silver solid, um, um, uh, sorry, unpolished sheet at 0.4 millimetre gauge. So it's not, it's not the thickest one we do, but it's definitely not the thinnest one that we do. It's 19.99 and you get a five by two centimetre piece. Now, dapping isn't like a one, a one stop, a give, one. It, give it a whack. Yes. You know, you'll have to keep going in with your petals and refining your shape and you can take... Love it each petal and put it inside and of course that's going to give each one a different look isn't it which is yeah. so nice you can also take your um, round nose pliers let me yeah. grab some round nose pliers with your petals yeah so let me move that out of the way and once you've got the shape that you want you can take your round nose pliers and sort of take the tip of that petal and just you know, oh, move sweet. it backwards. You know, so that your petals aren't flat, are they? Yes, exactly. Um, so that you're aiming to get something oh, like that, so that you've got that, that three-dimensional shape. Yes, absolutely. So basically, the different ways that you can set these, as I said, are with your bale, um, just simply gluing it in mm. and popping it on the sterling silver chains that you get in the kit. Um, I think that the big lapis that I've bezel set would oh. look amazing on a long uh, Marla necklace Ooh, on the bottom of yes, that one. Yes, for sure. Because it's a lovely big chunky, chunky piece. So all, the only thing that I've added to this kit to be able to make what you see there is just that piece of sterling silver sheet. Um, and just followed those um, that I talked through, those steps to bezel set. And the bezel strip is lovely and malleable, so you'll be able to get your fingers around there and really sort of move that into position. And if you've not done it before, have a play. You get a strip in this kit, maybe you haven't bought one before, have a play. You don't have to set your stone into it if you don't want to, but this is a great opportunity to like have a go with that bezel strip. And do you know what, I have to say that this kind of show feels very much like it's leading into the Mother's Day show that we've got coming up a week on Sunday, because I, I almost want to bring these kits, if there's any of them left, I almost want to bring these kits back to wear on, on Mothering Sunday because you're going to be showing us soldering, which yes. of course is just, is just going to allow you to create these absolutely superb pieces. If there's any of these, if there's any of these kits left, we've got to bring them back to wear on Mothering Sunday because they are just made, I mean, they're just perfect for soldering, aren't they? And I think if you are a silversmith, you'll have your own ideas about sure. what you want to do. But, you know, any of the cabochons that are oh. coming up in show, you can use this um, bezel strip to to bezel set. So mm. it's very, very versatile. You might just be wanting to glue your bale into these particular kits, but that strip, keep hold of it. Yes. Because there's lots of things and lots of, of inspiration that's going to come up for it. Oh, how wonderful. Debbie, thank you so much. You've got a really Woo! busy day lined up, haven't you? You've I got have. all sorts of different things to be getting. Yeah, we've got it. lots of jury maker jobs to do. Yes. <laughs> Tick. That, that, that's your first one down. But we will <laughs> see you. We will see you a Mother's week day. on Sunday. Very excited about that show with brand new soldering uh, tools coming up, which is going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, don't go anywhere. <laughs> we have got possibly one of the biggest shows of the year so far we've got jake with us after the break celebrating two years of our incredible gem guide shows how's it been that long don't go anywhere we're joined by jake thompson after the break i'm jake thompson your gem investor and i'm incredibly thrilled to be celebrating this week two years of joining you at jewelry maker I want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for the support over the last two years. And to say thank you, I'm bringing you something I have never in my over a decade of bringing the rare and the exotic, I have never experienced anything 
like we're going to be sharing this Wednesday from 10 a.m. Certified naturally papaya pearls. These rarities, certified so few, so rarely by gemological labs, overwhelmingly the papaya grading is achieved only by the rare and extraordinarily expensive mellow pearl. This is my first time ever exploring certified papaya pearls and I hope you'll be able to join me as we explore these natural colors together this Wednesday, 10 a.m., to say thank you for two years of your wonderful support. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Well, what a show this is going to be. Happy birthday to the Gem Guide Show 2 today, Jake. I know. I'm so <laughs> excited. I want to thank you. I want to thank you oh. as well for all of your incredible support, all of your incredible feedback. I have loved it. started on a Thursday. It's now Wednesday mornings. And they are the highlight of my week. So from the bottom of my heart, a humble thank you so much to every single person who has bought in these shows, written into these shows, shared the fine jewellery that you have crafted as a result of the acquisitions on these shows. If I've never met you before, my name is Jake Thompson, the Gem Investor here at the Gem Poria Partnership. And we are celebrating today. Uh, it's been, uh, I've been with you at the partnership for over 10 years behind the scenes. Over 10 years as the Gem Investor, helping you build a portfolio of the rare, the exotic and the supreme top gem world-class material 
and two years today celebrating <laughs> here, uh, joining you here at Jewelry Maker on a weekly basis. So thank you so much. How do I um, recognize and, and really show my appreciation for everything that we have done together over the last two years? I hope today <laughs> lives up to, to, to really the huge yardstick you have made for me because today on our two year anniversary, I want to take one of the one of the absolute favorite gemstones here at Jewelry Maker. I want to draw on the experience of Charlie Barron, my good friend Charlie, who you guys saw on Sunday. I want to draw on the experience of, of, of the most authoritative individuals in the gem market. At the Gem Guide, I'm talking about Stuart Robertson. I'm talking about uh, uh, Richard Drucker. We're going to be talking across JCK. And we are really, we are really, we are going to be, I think, giving you the most comprehensive overview of the pearl market. And as a gem investor, I'm not a financial advisor, let's be really clear. The world of algorithms, spreadsheets, I couldn't imagine anything more boring. So not trying to offer financial advice. But we can say with a stronger degree of certainty than I can for any other gemstone, I can give you a forecast for what is going to happen, not over the next few months, not over the next six months, not over the next year, but we can give you a forecast for the next, I would say, three to four years, taking your pearl market Please. through the movements up until 2025. We're going to be doing that today. But this isn't a new show. I've got for you the finest pearls we have ever acquired in Jewelry Maker, in Gems TV, in Gemporia history. We have for the first time in this show ever on Jewelry Maker, Kazumi style pearls. Mm. You don't know what they are yet, probably. They're some of the rarest pearls on the planet. We'll be sharing them with you. I have for you certified papaya, naturally papaya pearls coming up in this show. And we have a certified strand of natural color fireballs coming up in this show. We've got we have the most exclusive pearls in the world right now. And I can say that because the Hong Kong Gem Show has been cancelled. If the Hong Kong Gem Show is going ahead, this show, these strands, they do not fall into my, across my lap. You do not get an opportunity. But more on that later, let's dive in. Because on the eve of the Tucson Gem Show, at the very close of last year, the Gem Guide, that is the industry's leader for market pricing, uh, movements in the gemstone market, analysis, market-driven independent pricing guide. You've got it here and you can see. November, December 2021, on the eve of the Tucson Gem Show just gone, they ran this issue. And you can see, number one, front cover. What is the big thing that's happening in the gem world right now? The supply problem with pearls. They write a whole article on it. Now, you had Charlie here on Sunday. Am I, that's right, isn't it? That's Sunday. right, yeah. Yes. And he would have talked extensively about this. But I do want to just cover over some of that ground again, just in case you weren't there. Because the pearl market, to quote Stuart Robinson a little bit later on in this show, we will be hearing from him, and we will hear, we will hear on this show Richard Drucker as well. The pearl market has changed irrevocably, more so than any other gemstone market. Wow. Why? Let's talk about the supply problem with pearls. Now, in this one issue, actually, the supply problem is so pronounced. Pearls are so completely off the menu, they don't write one article talking about the problem with pearls. They write two, and here they are. Marine Cultured Pearls by Dr. Lula and The Supply Problem with Pearls by Jennifer Hebner. Now, diving into, uh, diving into this... Dr. Lula writes, shortages for pearls are likely to increase for at least the next two or three years. Gosh. So for the next two or three years, pearls are off the menu. Shortages are going to increase. Now you might go, well, why? 
why are pearls going to disappear off the menu? What, what's the problem with that? We are, thank goodness, thank God, we are slowly returning back to normal after the global pandemic. But the pearl market is not. The big difference between a gemstone that I bring you week in, week out, mined out of Mother Nature, and the pearls, is that when you can't get your miners to the mine, when you have to shut down the mine, be it rubies, sapphires, emeralds, garnet, whatever it is, the stones stay in the ground. Now, when you want to reopen the mine, there are some a little bit more costs. You know, you, when, you're, when you're essentially unmothballing the mine, mm. you, you, you have to redo all the safety certification. You go, there's a little bit more cost. But fundamentally, the gems are still in the ground waiting to be recovered. With pearls, this is a living ecosystem. So if you haven't seeded the pearls, then you aren't going to have a, a harvest in years to come. If you haven't cared for you know, and, and really, really poured your heart and soul into the husbandry of the oysters that deliver these incredible pearls to us, then you lose your harvests for years to come. To put it one way, the gemstones stay around, the pearls in the ground, the pearls do not. You lose years' worth of harvests. And this has affected everybody. So Australian company Paspali, who control over 90% of the global supply of white South Sea pearls, worth billions, Gosh. They, they were eventually able to regain their grafters, the pearl grafters, but only after making significant investments, chartering flights, agreeing to house the workers offshore in a ship for a quarantine period. So, OK, Paspali eventually found a workaround with all of their resources. But if you're a family in Tahiti, just a family farm in Tahiti, or a family farm in Zhujiang in the South China Sea, in the River Deltas, if you're just a family farm in like either of those two locations, you can't do it. You can't charter flights. <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't house working teams offshore in quarantine boats. It's not a viable option. So instead, you lose your harvests, if not your entire farm. Now, incidentally, this is all happening. So we, I think we've established supply near enough nil. And it's going to be that case for years to come much slower recovery than we have with the gemstones. But at the same time, demand is soaring. So at the same time, and Dr. Lula writes about this, it's occurring at the same time that China's demand for high-end culture pearls is growing. And so much so that actually, we all think of America, the United States, as the biggest gemstone market in the world. It yes. still is. Yes. But today, it's actually China that is the largest market for pearl products. They have eclipsed the United States. And that is a real detriment to us because when gemstones move west, we get the benefit of them. Think of jade. For years, the Chinese market has kept that on lockdown. Pearls are very much moving in the same direction. And that direction is off your jewellery making menu. Who's benefiting from this? In the short term, pearl dealers are. Because prices are record high. So dealers are currently, they're enjoying strong demand. And we're going to hear from some of those dealers actually in this show, Carol. Gosh. Dealers are currently enjoying strong demand in culture pearls globally. The problem is that whilst they're loving the price points today, they can't replace their stock. Mm. So short term, they're making a lot of hay while the sun is shining. But for the next few years, those dealers, well, they won't have a business because the pearls aren't there for them to resupply. And, that's, that's for, and, and we'll hear from dealers who that is happening to in the current market. We have never lived, I've been a term investor for a decade, we have never lived through a time like this. Mm. Certainly I haven't. Now, this is affecting everyone. So it's not just here at Jewelry Maker, it's affecting some of the biggest jewelry houses in the world. I want to introduce you to a, a wonderful lady. This is Peggy Grosch uh, for, for, from Asael Fine Pearl Jewelry, really high-end jewelry brand. Mm. She says, look, I have a feeling we're going to be selling this season and not making money on the replacement cost. Gosh. Prices have gone way up and we may have to adjust ours. Now, that makes sense. You know, if you can't, if you can't buy the pearls to replace the ones that you're selling, you have to adjust your pricing. The only problem I have with this is Asael 
typically sell on price on application. So you're saying you've got to re-tag everything, but you never put a price out there in the first place. You were up in the five figures. You know, we had to ask the price, and if we had to ask the price, we couldn't afford it. Mm. I, you know Charlie really, really well. I want to introduce you. We always talk about Charlie being the sixth generation of mm -hmm. pearl dealers in his family. This gentleman here, wonderful gentleman, David Norman. This is actually Charlie's uncle. He is the fifth generation uh, to Charlie's sixth generation. And he's based in Australia, mm -hmm. and it's affecting even David. So, he's, look, for sure now, this is from the Gem Guide article, for sure, pearls are universally the toughest gem to obtain right now. Mm -hmm. Let that soak in for a moment. The pearls we're about to share with you, at the very top end of the market, they are harder to source than rubies. So moving forward, there's probably more likelihood we bring you a certified pigeon blood red ruby than we bring you the pearls at the top end of the market Good. like we're doing today. You want a certified royal blue sapphire, it's probably easier for me to do in today's market than it is to replace these pearls. You want a, a Gotaf de Aceite certified Colombian Cosquez emerald? It's probably easier for me to do that than it is to, acquire, re, to replace these pearls in the current market. Because even some of the biggest players aren't getting them. Take a look. Shortages are evident in the better inventory. The higher the grade of the pearl, the more the shortage is pronounced. Aziz Bezaleli, this is Aziz, Beza, this is Aziz here uh, from Elico Pearl, uh, and David Norman of Aquarium Pearl, they're struggling to find anything in that higher grade. Good grief. If they do, they have to pay 30% more. Now bear in mind, this is before the Tucson show. All of this was written on the eve of the Tucson gem show. I'm about to break the news for you out of Tucson. But everything we're saying, so you might go, hang on, so he's got to pay 30% more when he does find it. That's, that, that, that's not very good. Yes. Well, I'm going to tell you now, I know people who would jump for a 30% pay increase. They would jump for it. One of them, one of those people, is here, Hisano Shepherd. Because Hisano in China, I remember this is where demand is highest, mm -hmm. prices have increased by as much as 50%. That's great. So in the same article... All of these written before Tucson, suddenly paying 30% more feels a lot better when you know everyone else is paying 50% more. Mm -hmm. And it's because, why is this happening? Why, let's be really clear here, why are pearls off the menu? We've seen the supply collapse, but Hisano is very pointed about why this is happening to you and to I. Here, it's because, and I quote, have a look, China continued voracious appetite for pearls mm -hmm. much of what is available goes straight there good great. shortcut straight into it uh -huh. and the reason for that is because much of what is available is traded at the hong kong gem show mm. in the zhujiang river delta that's where a lot of these pearls are coming from particularly the papaya natural papaya we have those in this show they are coming from zhujiang and they just never ever leave I'm explaining this all to you because we have four strands today and in 10 years, I have never... Look, do you know, I, I'm just going to put it out there. I've never touched a pearl like these mm -hmm. before today. Never had a chance to even touch a pearl like today. Now, these are some of the pearls at the top end from Pearl Paradise. This yep. is from Hisano. So, you know, these prices are going to be jumping up 50% and you can see... Now, you might go, okay, beautiful, lovely, lovely material. All of them pretty much four figures, apart from the lavender at the top. We know that that's going to go four figures when they add the 50% on top. Mm -hmm. But you can see they're clearly going for the whites. Why are they going for white? Colour is where the market is sharpest right now. There's no two ways about it. Sonny Sethi of Tara Pell tells the gem guide, he says, look, Deep relationships are helping dealers secure regular white stock. I mean, that's a bit dismissive, isn't it? Regular yes. whites. But the difficulty in travelling abroad... I've not been to Hong Kong in over three years now. The difficulty in travelling abroad means it's hard to find colourful ones. If you want colour, you're not finding it in today's pearl market. If you want colour, this show is your 
only chance in the market today. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you your little teaser of your first, your first strand I've got for you today. I, 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 I'm going to say, I'm going to say, three seconds is what you've got. Just three. Because as you have a look at this in a moment's time, remember this. It's hard to find colourful ones. From Sunny Sethi at Tara Pearl. You tell me, have these oh. got colour oh. or what? Take it away, take it away, take it away. Oh you have gosh. papaya fireballs in that mix. You've got purple flash fireballs in this strand and you have natural whites in this strand. I'm going to give you another three second strand, oh. three second tease on this one. Oh. No, Tom, Tom, you need to tell the contact centre, no pre-orders. You cannot dial for these. Oh, Why? gosh. Why am I doing this? Because this is the material that normally ends up at Bonhams. Every single time. Every single time. This is normally hosted at auctions at Bonhams in Hong Kong. In Asia, you can see the number one currency here. It's not the US dollar. It's not the British pound. It's the Hong Kong dollar because these are Hong Kong-based auctions at Bonhams. Now, these normally, this auction normally occurs in concurrent, alongside, this auction normally occurs alongside the Hong Kong Gem Show. I need to give you one more bit of information before we start playing today. This is the Tucson Color Report. It's taken from the March, April 2020, uh, March, April 2022 issue. And you can see here, Tucson Color Report. Of the many gem materials we expected to be sought in Tucson, pearls were positioned near the top of the list. There is concern that few, if any, industry product will experience a greater impact from the supply chain disruptions than that of cultured pearls. The Gem Guide is issuing warning, not to you, it's a, it's a dealer magazine, issuing warning to me, saying that, there is no other gemstone product, and I quote, will experience a greater impact from the supply disruptions than that of cultured pearls. Several factors, we've explored those factors, mm. have converged to interrupt the normal disruption of uh, channels for pearls. First, some producers lost an entire season to COVID restrictions in 2020, which means it's going to be a few years before supply catches up to where it should be. Mm -hmm. The other major issue is that even those producers that could harvest have had trouble reaching buyers. Mm. And here, here is the big crux of the issue. Now, with the cancellation of the major Eastern trade shows like Hong Kong, it is official. Hong Kong is cancelled. Access to product is far more limited. Now, the Hong Kong Gem Show is the biggest gem show in the world. And for pearls, it is overwhelmingly, not just the biggest, it is the show for pearls. I've never shown this before. This is the Hong Kong area. Oh, wow. Here's the airport. You can see Hong Kong Airport there, one of the biggest for scale. Remember, Hong Kong is one of the biggest trading hubs in the Far East. The airport is huge. I'm really sorry, I should put a little scale here so you can see just how big it is. But th this is the whole of the Hong Kong airport here. And you can see they, there's, your, there's your gates with all the planes lined up. There's the runway, okay? This is the Hong Kong airport. Mm. The Hong Kong Pearl Show is this airport-sized hangar Whoa. just next to it. Just here. You see where it says Asia World Expo up in the top right? Yeah. This is where the Hong Kong Pearl Shows are held every year. And for scale, you can see, it's as big as the airport itself. It's absolutely huge. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share with you one more time a tease of the pearls. We have never, in my decade of being your gem investor, we have never had these pearls before. And the reason is so simple. They are traded exclusively here, and they go from here direct to China. Have a look at pearls like you've never seen in the history of George Pica. I can honestly say 
I have never in my life. And as Jake says, he's never touched pearls like this. I have never in my life come into contact with pearls like this. And as producer Neary's just said, it's ironic, isn't it, that they are sold right next to the airport, but they're never going to leave. They are literally, their fate is already signed until today. What a groundbreaking, life-changing opportunity we have got for you today. I mean, off the scale. It, re it really is. This is the first time ever we have brought for you purple flash, yep. papaya flash, and your pristine ivory white fireballs. We have never oh, had a tricolour strand like this before. Cartier would be proud to own a strand like this. This is what the Gem King, this is what the Gem Guide says here on the Tucson Colour Report. Uh -huh. Betty Sue King of King's Ransom. You should be paying a King's Ransom for these <laughs> notes. Yes. With no Hong Kong show to compensate, producers are selling direct to consumers online. So prices are being driven even higher. Farms are selling direct to consumers. You think cutting out the middle end. No, no, they're just pushing the prices even higher. Yes. Just as we've seen in other sectors of the trade, labour costs are up in the pearl culturing, as is the cost of processed goods. Dealers project... Now, do you remember, before Tucson, before Tucson, we heard 30 to 50% increase yep. in the price of yep. pearls. Yep. Dealers project these increases are as much as two to three times. Good. 200 to 300% higher than the last Tucson Gem Show. Oh I was there at the God. Tucson Gem Show. I was there at the AGTA. I spoke to none other than Richard Drucker, the editor-in-chief of the Gem Guide. Here's Richard Drucker, Dr. Richard Drucker, editor-in-chief of the graduate gemologist. I met Richard, I met Richard, and I asked him about one gem, pearls. This is what he's willing to commit to in print, here oh. is what he told me in private conversation. You can have three different booths for three different prices right now because no one knows where to settle in because the new stuff is so expensive. Right, okay, yeah. You know, so it's hard. I mean, I talked to a pearl dealer that I know really well. I talked to her a couple of days ago, and she said, she goes, some of the stuff is coming into me now. It's two to three times what I was paying. Really? Two to three times. She I goes, guess that's because the pearl farms, with COVID, yeah, with COVID, a lot of them have been wiped out. Right. COVID, the processing, labor, and all these factors. She said, so things are like two to three times. I said, well, yeah, but she's got tons, you know, some of these booths, you know, you see it, and it's got thousands of Yeah, stuff. yeah. I said, so what are you doing? She's like, I don't have time to change all my prices. So she said, anything new that I'm getting in, I'm putting all the new prices in because I have to because it's costing me more. Yeah. But some of this stuff I'm just still selling because, you know, listen, if she sells it at that price, she's, she's still making a profit. Now, it might be dumb because you got to replace it at a higher price. But the point of it is that, you know, that, that, so how do you do a market right now? It's a market. Because normally, because normally over time things go up a little bit. Now you got this like thing like this, you got some going up like that, you got a spike that's up, but someone's still here, some are in the middle, some are up here. Really yeah. one, one thing that it's really unique. Yeah, really. One, one thing that you and I have noticed is um, we bought some naturally colored uh, pearls before COVID. Uh-huh. We've gone to try and get the same yeah. today. Oh, yeah. the prices are unbelievable. There you go. But, yeah. but like the purples, the, the apricots, it's crazy. Yeah. It really yeah. is. Yeah. There's David and I in conversation with Richard Drucker about what's Great. happening, and it is out of control. Right? We're going to have to bring a 60 second clock in until we bring you your fireballs. This is a very unique type of strand, tricolour fireball. We have never seen anything like it before. Let me talk around what your, what your tricolours are. You have got here, and we'll show it you on our, on, on our recording. You've got here the whites. You can see the white just on the side. You've got papaya 
fireballs. Carol, we have <laughs> never had even a single papaya fireball nope. in this show. I'm going to talk to you about the significance of papaya throughout this next show. Love but we are 30 seconds away. No pre-orders available this show. 30 seconds away from opening phone lines on the most extraordinary tricolor strand we have ever offered in our history. Tree color, and you've got the fabled purple flash yes. that I know Dave, Dave, Dave had two of them. Yeah. Two strands of fabled purple flash. Not two, not two different opportunities. I mean, yeah. Yeah. one code, two strands. Yes, that yes, was it. Yes, yes. You've got purple flash comprising the other third, each of them tree color oh. individually. Two, one, Tom, we're gonna have to open the phone lines on what is the most remarkable show I've ever bought. Oh Mix natural color brought pearl. These are these are certified and they will come certified for you by the way we've never done that on a strand before really yep yep Every this is what i'm talking about carol you know oh you God. know that when you get things from me they are certified these are going to come with you certified and your cert your cert your certificate of authenticity is going to read fireball Whoa. I'm going to tell you why this is so, so significant. Well done. Suzanne in North Yorkshire, you've got the first set. Huge congratulations. Let's talk oh. through. First of all, let's talk through our, let's talk through our true colour. These are certified natural, Carol. Certified naturals. Oh. They are 15 to 18 millimetres per pearl. Now, I say 15 to 18 millimetres. Have we got a pearl measuring gauge? <laughs> Or a ruler, actually. Or a ruler, a yardstick, maybe. I have a ruler here. I need to show you this with you. 15 to 18 is what I'm certifying as a minimum. Oh, come okay? on. Okay, now you might go. Come on. Now, I know a lot of people, a lot of people measure them. And before I do, before I show you this measurement, I want to show you a conversation I had. I've been trying to source these for a year, Carol. I okay? bet you have. I want to share with you a conversation I had with an online oh dealer. Gosh. Now, I have redacted their name to be fair to them. This isn't about trying to embarrass people here. So you, you'll see, I've, there's two black boxes. I've redacted their name, okay? Yeah, okay. But they specialize in pearls and fine jewelry, and they're a wholesaler. Yep. So this is a wholesale price yep. I'm about to share with you. Yep. Okay. A long rope of freshwater, natural color Baroque pearls. Very yep. similar to what we've got here. West Yorkshire, Sarah... You've picked up two of these. You're going to absolutely love them. I do want Good. to give a little warning Great. to everyone else, though. If people are picking up two of these, nowhere near enough of these to go around. Come back here. The rope is 33 long, and they're on a really lovely silver Baroque clasp. We have a large selection of clasps. I'll change the clasp, whatever you want. They're priced at £2,250 wholesale. Wow, okay. This doesn't include your VAT. Oh, that's 20%. 20%. So approximately 2,700. Uh, yeah, about, about another 500. About that. Yeah. If you're interested, I could do a slightly better price. So maybe, <laughs> maybe including taxes, you're about two and a half grand. Maybe. I don't know. I just went, I thought I'll have a think about them. Yes, do. I've got smaller ones, shorter roads, whatever. But notice, 25 to 35 mil rounds. Yeah. At 25 to 35 mil. They're measuring the length of the pearl. Okay. Yes. Have a look at these. We're saying these are 15 to 18 millimeters. And are we saying across or are we saying length? Well, that's what I want to show right now, Carol. If you could show <laughs> us across the pearl. These are obscene, Jay. I've never, I have never in my life seen I, I do like these, this. I measure these across. Oh my gosh, that's 20 mil across. <laughs> that's 20 mil across. Never even talking about the length here. Everyone else takes their measurements and they do the length of the pearl. I'm doing it, the minimum is the 15 minimum. to 18. Hang on. Right. Tom, Tom. 20. Can you do the length for me? Right, so the, okay. If you really want to know, I, and I, uh, the length on this one here is over 30 millimeters in length. We're talking 32 mil in length. 25 to 35 mil. What? We, we're talking the same, we're talking the same deal right now. Tom, yes, I actually want you to start us at 2,250 pounds. I'm gonna include the tax in there. These are... Uh, I've not even touched on the color yet, Carol. <laughs> These no. are matched across the three colors, by the way. They are absolutely in. 
Cr now, I don't oh, mind telling... the match. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you right now, <gasps> grade these for me. Now, the way you grade strands is B, <laughs> A, double A, or triple A. And I want you at home to grade these. Look at the luster. Triple A. Remember what Charlie says, and it's a very relevant to these pearls. Charlie says, all things else considered, it is luster that is yeah. the number one. Version. Absolutely, the life, the energy that the pearl has. If there's such a thing as the purple day, flash I mean, you're getting from these. That is alive, Jake. It's living. It's 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 at home though. I want to hear from you. I want yeah. you to yeah. grade them. Suzanne, Sarah, Judith, Jacqueline, Arla, Maker, James. You've all shared interest in this. Caroline, Helen, Joanne, Gabriella, Deb, all shared interest in this. Grade oh. these for me right now. If you're going anything less than AAA, I need to understand why. These are certified, and they will be certified in the authenticity certificate you'll get for free. Certified fire balls. And the interesting thing is, Jake, we've bought pearls to wear before, which we can say, you know, reminiscent of a fireball. Don't they look a little bit like... A Never no, no, before no. have we ever had a certified... These are flame fireball pearls. Whoa. That's, that is that is Triple A so grade. Special. Now, Carol, oh, look. <laughs> James. Now, James in London is actually already poised. He's got, this, got this in their basket. <laughs> I'm going to round it down to triple A if I could, James. Yes. I hope you don't mind. Yes. I'm just rounding it down because yes. the gem guide doesn't yes. give me that many A's. <laughs> but seriously, in today's jewellery market, at the wholesale price, wholesale, the best value, if you're questioning, is this really what the trade to trade are paying? I'm going to share with you something I'm not actually oh allowed to share. Gosh. The gem guide pricing oh value for this strand. Go on. Direct from the gem guide. Oh. Chinese, yep. Freshwater bead and baroque culture pearls. Yeah. Traded as fireballs. See that on top there? Just like yours. That's why, that, this is why, by the way, I'm certifying these as fireballs for you. Right. Triple A grade. Look at this. 2,200 to 2,000. 800 a strand. But for what size? That's for 16 to 17 and a half mils. These are almost, these are almost twice the size, Jake. Six, well, I'm, look, I'm giving it you. I'm trying to make the number as low as I can. 16 to 17 and a half. Two, let, let's be really clear what's happening right now. Oh, my gosh. 2,200 to 2,800 is... Your trade price. Trade. Tom, we're about to go below trade value for the first time this show. And that presumably, Jake, that price is for a strand. Yeah. You've got 15 on this strand. The colours you've got here, what have oh. you got? It's a tree colour strand. Off the scale. You've got ivory. Yeah. You've got your purple flash. Yeah. And this is something we've never brought you before. I'm going to talk a lot about this. Papaya. Beautiful. Natural papaya pearls. We have never brought this for you before. Tom, the next price I call is the lowest price I am aware of that we've ever brought fireball pearls here at Jewelry Maker. One thousand four hundred and ninety nine pounds. Right. And I'm going to tell you right now. What? Incidentally, by the way, that makes it a hundred pound a pearl. Pound a pearl, which is what we've seen here at Jewelmaker. Ludicrous. I put this on four split pays for you. Yes. You, the four split pays aren't 1,500 pounds, obviously. <laughs> That's your yeah. ticket price. Divide that by four. Oh. But we're not stopping here. Carol. Yes. I'm doing, I'm going against what the market is telling us to do. Right. I'm going against the direction of travel of the entire global pearl industry. And I'm doing it in about 60 seconds time for oh you. Oh my gosh. We are having technical difficulties right now. It's, oh, no. it's because of the demand. Bec because of the demand, you can literally see Tom here. He's calling. He's about to call the, the IT team. 
It's because of the demand, oh we no. think our system has frozen. A completely blank screen. Oh, no. 30 seconds oh, until gosh, what's we gonna happen? change the pearl industry. The Hong Kong show is cancelled. I reached out to it. Actually, it was a jade dealer I reached out to and said, look, Hong Kong's cancelled. Have you got anything? They said, actually, I want to put you in contact with a friend who was a pearl dealer. He was bringing some lots for Bonhams from those auction houses. Yes. He, that, those have all been cancelled now. This, it, we've snatched these from under the nose of some of the most auspicious oh my and considered auction houses in the world. We're currently at £100 a pearl. We are not anywhere near where we're going on this one. Tom, I'm going to wish you oh, the God. very best of luck managing what's about to happen. You need to take us under £1,000, and I'm not stopping at 999 Eight, nine, nine, oh please, gosh. Tom. Eight, nine, nine. What on earth is happening here? What on earth is going on today? Eight hundred and ninety-nine pounds available on four split payments. This is a... This Remember, is the deal in the of deals. <laughs> in the trade, we're at 2250 <laughs> for this. We've literally cut that price in half, in half. and then some. Yes. Saving you way more than you could expect to pay in the trade for a near identical strand. This is your opportunity right now. Now, the system has completely crashed because of the completely demand that crashed. we've got involved in this one. There are not four split pays. Well, there are four split pays, not of £900. £225 a split pay. Talk to our contact centre. Get on if you. I don't know even if Tom is the website even working right now. I don't know. The demand for this is unprecedented. It's, it's, huge. it's absolutely huge. There are so many people with this in baskets, Jake. So many people who are absolutely adamant not to miss out. It really is something of such. It's it's an historical moment here on Jewelry Maker today. It, it, it really, really is. is, Tom. Tom. Uh, if Wayne's there, I know Wayne. Wayne, we've offered the purple flash pearls before. I need you to let us know how much we've offered them for. I'm pretty sure Pearl Pearl, we are actually now lower than we've offered the Pearl singularly for because strands are always, they're always the best value opportunity. But for me, it's actually not about the white Pearl. You can see the white Pearl. You've got the full tree colour there, yes. Carol. Yes, yeah. It, the one that excites me the most, it's not the white Pearl. It's not even the purple Pearl. Is it the papaya? It's your natural papaya pearl this is taken from the igs the international gem society what i'm about to share with you mm -hmm. i didn't even want to share this before because if i did i think that we wouldn't even have an auction it would just be gone you have a chance right now to act but you have got to be quick dial our contact center they will be able to place your order i understand there are some issues on our website Huge essentially issues, you've crashed our system the demand for <laughs> this auction i'm yeah. so sorry about that you have to dial in it's obviously not four split pays of 900 pound £900 is the, is the ticket price on this, even though in trade, you're north of £2,000. You're saving over £1,000 oh on gosh. every pearl dealer in the world right now. Wow. That I know of. So the International Gem Society, yes. in their pearl buying guide, mm -hmm. they talk about natural papaya pearls. These rare pearls were once a sign of royalty in Eastern cultures. Yeah, we're going to take the details off. Let me explain why. You actually need to stop buying this. You've overwhelmed it. Stop dialing for the strand for now. Our system is broken. I'm so sorry. You can't dial for it. Just don't, don't, don't dial. I'll let you know when it's fixed. You can't dial for this right now. Stop yeah, dialing yeah, for yeah. it. These rare pearls, mm -hmm. this is the papayas, were once a sign of royalty in Eastern cultures, even when they were unknown to the rest of the world. Oh. Does that sound a bit familiar? Yes. Emperors of China. Yes. Emperors of Vietnam. Yes. Were treasuring these pearls before oh. the rest of the world even knew about them. They're believed to be droplets that fell from the dragon in the sky. Oh. And most of the papaya pearls in the world, most papaya pearls are what we call mellow, mellow pearls, pearls. worshipped as holy objects. Because of this, they're never drilled or worn, the mellows. Oh, wow. Still, even right now, emperors would wear motifs of a dragon chasing a flaming orange pearl. And you can see here, yes. the papaya dragon chasing the papaya pearls. Are we ready to reopen our phone lines on this one? We're going to try and restart it, Jake. Okay, don't dial yet. I'll let oh, you know when you Jesus. can dial. It is 900 pounds. I'll tell you, in the meantime, can we get a whiteboard? I'd like oh, a whiteboard in the meantime. While our system's crashed, yes. grab me a whiteboard. Okay. If, if these were mellow, yep. 
Oh, stunning. And the difference in Mellow, Mellow Pearls could be orange tan to brown in colour. Yeah. This is what a Mellow looks like. Bright papaya orange distinguishes top quality. Mm -hmm. But finding that colour yeah. is, is one in several thousand. One in several thousand. If a pearl producing snails a bright orange in a shell, it's likely that the pearl will match the colour. Look for a pearl with even colour distribution, okay? Have a look at your papayas. Despite them being fireballs, look how even your papaya colour hue is yeah. throughout your gem material. Let me show you another. This, was a, this is a papaya that, came, that went to Bonhams. One, not a strand. Oh, gosh, that's stunning. 60,000 US dollars. No. Whoa. That's incredible. Ah. Oh. We've restarted the whole auction. Oh, gosh. Jack. Right. So Let's go to that 899 straight away then, please. Okay. If you had it in your basket, I'm so sorry, we've had to restart the whole auction. You need to get back involved. You need to get back in the... It's kicked it out of all baskets now. Okay. Oh, gosh, loads of people with this in basket. Oh, gosh, look at everyone, Jake. Gee whiz. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Tom, right, we've got our split pays open. Oh. I didn't want to move from this. No, I know you didn't. I know you didn't, but it kind of like you've almost... Oh, no. Oh, gee, where's Jake? Look at everyone. We're going to have to... Well, it, it's up to you. Oh, gosh, there's so many people there. Okay, I'm going to do something because I know a lot of people were disappointed. Totally. Not sure. Is it in a basket? Absolutely. Is it not in a basket? Our technical... They've just completely crashed. Okay, Tom. I need about a minute or so to think about this because we've Ooh. probably... Really, the, 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 let's be really clear. Here's why I have to think about this. Oh, no. A rope of fresh water, yes. natural colour pearls, exactly the same as the ones we've got, £2,250. Mm -hmm. No split pay mentioned there. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm going to put an apology price on screen. Oh, Jake, are you sure? Because we do have three more. Sorry. Tom, these are these are pretty much identical. So, in fact, actually, I'm going to go and chat to Tom Cowell. I'll be one minute. I need can to I work out. Can I just show you as well? This comes exactly. in the most beautiful presentation box as well. Let me show this to you. This comes to you in the most beautiful presentation box. Look at this. It's velvet. When we were when we were speaking. When we were speaking to uh, Charlie, when we had Charlie with us on, uh, on Sunday, and Charlie was saying, the best way of keeping your pearls is in a silk pouch. This, I have to say, is the next best thing. You've got the most gorgeous presentation box. Look at it opening. Here are your pearls. Opening up the box like this. All of your pearls are going to come in boxes like this. Absolutely superb. Have you done, have you had your chat, Jake? Yeah. Genuinely, genuinely. Oh, gosh. I know. Tom just said, I Tom, don't have any idea yeah, what price to yeah, it. On that price, tell me exactly what, what you just said in Carol's just repeated there. I've got... <laughs> he scares me. He does. He scares me too. Shock and awe price. price. An apology price. Genuine apology because okay, of the technical so details. Very carefully before you do that. Oh, gosh. You do what you want. You do what you want. You know how much these cost us. Oh, gosh. No. Don't do that. Don't do that. No way. Oh, gosh. I don't know where to look. Right. Four, nine, no! nine, 500 pounds. Right, if he's not going to do it, no! he's saying he's refusing to do it. Don't do that. Oh, my if, gosh. If he I literally... So, no! so, if I don't do that, I'd like a whiteboard. I'm gonna, Tom. This is mine and Tom's one of our first shows together. Have we got a whiteboard? Look, I'll write it on the set. I'll write it on the set if I write got it on to. a piece of paper. Here, I've got a pen and a piece of paper. He's refusing to do it. He thinks it's going to break the system again. Honestly, oh gosh. Well, you just do it. He does. He genuinely. He just. He genuinely does not want to do this. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. I feel really funny. Right. This is not oh, what Jake's using. Jake is literally scrawling all over my star by sheet. 
It's on split pay. Oh, oh. Four, oh. nine, nine. I'll get it across one way or another. He's done it now. Ooh. Oh, no. No. Genuinely, we, we, oh. we were not intended to go anywhere near there. The plan just say that again for me. Yeah, it has. It has gone out the window. Look, we just had a huge technical issue. 30 of you were just booted. it. It's not your order. You think you've ordered it. Oh, you gosh. haven't ordered it. Unless you've got that confirmation email, you do not have it. We're doing this as an apology price because of those issues. Remember, this is the only tricolour fireball strand we have ever offered in jury making Ooh. history. Yeah, she is. Our pearl buyer is going to be. She's going to go nuts. Furious. She's already messaging. She's messaging Wayne. She's not happy. She's messaging Wayne. Oh gosh. Oh no, really, Wayne? Oh no, it's like you do not want to. I've worked with Caroline on this for, for literally ages. Uh, ever since, ever since oh, this gosh. strand, ever since I went looking for this strand, and I said to Caroline, "Look, I just need you to get me a great deal. Two thousand two hundred and fifty is what I've got so far." Okay, and, and, Carol, and then Caroline's worked on this. Uh, and we eventually, only because the Hong Kong show was cancelled, we were eventually able to do this deal. Look, I need to show you something. If you've got it in your basket, be warned. Those, you think you've checked out. You think you've checked out. You haven't like yet checked out. Look, look, there is a, nut, there is a full column of names. In, Over in, 30 uh, in baskets, Jake. Over 30 in baskets. Well, Carol, the problem is we had 30 in baskets before, <laughs> and that technical issue, literally, people were ordering. They think they've ordered. They haven't actually ordered. No. Not gone no. through. Maker in London, James in London got two, Gabrielle's got one, Janet, Pamela, Marion, Joseph, Susan, Suzanne, Deborah, Barbara, Elizabeth. Look, it keeps going. I've not even talked to you, by the way. We got these, we got these on a deal. We got these, these strands on a deal. It's stunning. And they were literally, because remember what I told you, these were supposed to go to a high-end auction house. Have you got yours yet? Because if you haven't, you've seen who, who, who's been you to it. Look. Jacqueline Maker, Sarah, Erica, Maker, Look, Heather, Mary, Barbara, Mary. These Maker were supposed. And Kate, if you see your name on this line, Maker, if you see that list. You haven't not the checked list you want out. To be on. That is the wrong list to be on. Now these were supposed to go. These were supposed to go to a, a, a big auction house. Yes. Huge auction house. They actually come packaged in that auction packaging. It's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning, Jake. I love these. Look at this. Look at this. It's a gorgeous velvet box. It's, it's a velvet box, and it's literally, it's there. There's, there's your strand packaging. <gasps> because, Carol, that's how it comes to us. Remember, these were, these were prepared to go to the auctions at Hong Kong. Love it. The Hong Kong Gem Show is cancelled. We heard from Richard Drucker saying, look, people are paying two, three times. Do you know what? We're at, what, 2,250? Well, we were, we velvet. should be. Oh. That's what I was quoted. I was quoted. As a member of the trade, uh -huh. 2,250 pounds for this strand. They are absolutely okay. safe. You're literally, safe. you are saving 1,750 pounds. You're literally saving three times more than you're spending. Oh my Elizabeth, gosh. Look, Elizabeth's gone, I am blown away, Jake. Got mine, thank you so much. Liz, oh, Liz. thank you so thank much. Thank you, darling. From behalf of your family, on behalf of whoever manages your portfolio, what an acquisition. This is the kind of, and this is the thing with this, right? You can craft this quality of jewellery. Yes, yes. You, you are a fine, you are a fine pearl dealer by getting I mean, this. Absolutely. I mean, per pearl, right now, per pearl, what are we looking at? It's going to be about 17, 18 pound a pearl. Oh, I don't know. You've got I 15 about, pearls. Um, Sorry, it's uh, no, it's, pearls. it's about 35 a pearl, I think. Goodness me. You could literally, each pearl could potentially sell, you know, What have we offered these pearls the for amount? before? I know, the purple flash pearls, I think they're about £100 a pearl. Yes, yeah, I think, yeah, I think you're 99, right. 99 yeah. 99 Yeah. Oh, my gosh, this is absolutely tremendous. I can't believe the split payments on this, Jacob, 124 75 It's absolutely astonishing. I mean, astonishing. But please, 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 anybody who thinks that they've checked out, please, can you go back and just recheck Carol, you have checked out? Carol, you've got four split pays here. So you yes. don't finish paying for this for three months, right? Oh, my gosh. In three months, the value of pearls from December so right. to March, in three months, the value of pearls has gone up 30, 50, then crossing two, and in some cases, 300%. Mm. You'll be paying for this. 
and your pearls are going up in value as your split payments oh, are coming man, down. That is something to yeah, think By the about. time, per, the pearl market is so out of control right now, Carol, by the time you finish paying for these, I mean, I, to my mind, they're not worth 499 right now. No. I've, I've, no I was quoted 2250 So I don't believe that this has any reflection. This here, if you go and get this strand valued, do not tell them what you paid for no it. No way, no way. Tell them this number if you want. <laughs> not tell them this number. Don't tell them 499 Go and get this valued. And if you want, go and get value when you first get it, and then go and get it valued by the end of your full split pays. Yeah. Because you diff there will be a difference in over that period of time. 100%. 100%. But Tom, you're absolutely right. I've, yes. had, I've actually had this argument with the... Uh, Tom's, Tom's just said, if you tell them the 499 they cannot legally value it higher than 499 But you know in the trade, they go for 2250 and that's wholesale. Yeah. And it's because they need to, it's because they need to protect... The insurance companies. Now, yes, in my absolutely. mind, insurance companies are the last people who need protecting. <laughs> Huge, well done, everyone who's picked up one of those. I do not think we'll ever see fireballs, certified fireball. Wayne, Wayne, I need you to ensure every certificate certifies these are fireball pearls for everyone who's getting these appraised. I know Mary might, Patricia may, Maya, Beautiful name, Pauline, Jacqueline, Erica, Heather, James, who's bought two, Gabrielle, Janet, Pamela, Man. Look, everyone, huge, huge congratulations. This is unlike anything we've ever offered before on our second anniversary show. Oh, wow. Wow. Massive, wow. massive congratulations. Wow. That's incredible. Now... I want to introduce to you... Oh, gosh. Oh, Jake. Possibly the deal of the show. This is my favourite. We have never offered something like this before. This is ridiculous. There is a type of pearl. You probably have never even heard of it. No. Called Kasumi. A Kasumi pearl is one of the most valuable and valued pearls in existence. You've heard, you've heard of Conch. Mm. You've possibly, we have after today, heard of Mello. Mm -hmm. But a Kasumi pearl is the crown pearl of Japan. Over and above a Koya. A Koya, we know, because it's the most widely produced. But a Kasumi, you never hear of them. They very rarely leave Japan. If they do, the only time in my decade of being a gem investor I've ever heard of Kasumi's leaving Japan is crossing the South China Sea and staying in Shanghai in China. This is something extraordinary. I'm so proud to be able to offer you this. Before I even open it, I want a 60 second clock. The first 30 seconds, I'm not even going to show you this. I'm going to show you from Japan what a Kasumi pearl necklace looks oh like. Oh my gosh, that is... Have a look. Rid oh. This is from the Harvest 2020. Harvest 2020. And I'm going to reveal your Kasumi in fi 15 seconds time. 10 seconds to go till I reveal your Kasumi opportunity, your Kasumi style. I'm going to talk to you about how these pearls, these are grown and cultured in the most unique way possible are you ready oh, you think God, that's colorful for eight thousand nine hundred dollars have a I'm look at them. these you're gonna love them the best pearls i've ever seen in my life they, best pearls ever they are the best pearls to have ever graced this channel they are uh, they are kasumi style the quality the rainbow overtones you have on these are unmatched these are unrivaled kasumi style pearls i'm so excited to bring this to you I have never, the luster, oh. it's like they, now you might, you might be at home, think about how excited Charlie gets about luster. You might at home go, hang on a second, have you coated those? Have they got a metallic yeah, coating? Like they're mystic coated. It's a hundred percent natural. You've oh got to be gosh. getting involved right now. These are Kasumi style, that refers to that, that refers to the ripple effect that's on there. Oh. The West, we sometimes call a lower, a lower grade, we might call that uh, nucleated. I know that we've had nucleated pearls. Yes. Very rarely, but we do have them here at the channel. But this is something to step up again. But Kasumi is so much more than that. This is the most unique opportunity. It's actually the most unique strand I've got all show. 
Now, it's the most unique strand I've got all show. Are you ready to witness this? Again, it comes in your auction ready box. You wait, honestly, you will not be able to believe your eyes when you see these pearls. They are the best pearls we have ever had on Jewelry Maker. These are... The luster, oh it, it is metallic gosh. to the nth degree. This is Kasumi. This is the Kasumi style that we have right now. They are grown and cultured. In the Look at the oh. luster. I've just had a dealer come in and put seven in baskets. Yep. Liam. Totally. Uh, sorry, Tom, rather. Uh, apologies for that. Uh, t t Tom. <laughs> Tom, can you let the contact centre know? Maximum you can order on these is three. I think this is the first, certainly the first time here in Jewelry Maker. This. To the best of my knowledge, Carol, this is the first time Kasumi style pearls have been available in the West. It would not surprise me for a second, Jack. That, that, that pearl there, that's like a thousand, I mean, I mean that's thousands of pounds. So let me explain, in that pearl. let me explain why these pearls are so difficult to do. Love them. <gasps> we know that a pearl oyster, we know they, they start off, uh, look at the colours here. Look at this, sorry, Jake. That is like hot. It's hot. Susan and Suzanne winning the race right oh now for these Kasumis. Go on, sorry. Kasumi style pearls. So here's how they do these. You start off with an oyster and you treat it very much like an Edison pearl. So you, you grow them in a very similar way to an Edison pearl. First harvest. You probably create an Edison pearl in the first harvest. Okay. And then what they did, and this was, it, it's a real combination of accident and genius. We know that in order to get the bigger pearls, they are the, they're, the, they're the second or third harvest, third generation of that particular oyster. After three, they get retired. The, the oyster gets retired and, 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 and it's no longer pearl producing. So first generation, you don't make big pearls out of. The, for Kasumi, it was an, a genius idea, but then the, the colour was, was completely accidental. So it's 100% natural, this colour, Carol. What they do is they take some soil from the bottom of the ecosystem. Take some soil from the bottom of the ecosystem and they roll it into a ball and dry it out. So it has no moisture in it. So dry it out and the ball ever so slightly shrinks. And they have to perfect, it's all done by hand. They have to perfect the size of the ball and the shape so that it will fit into the pearl sack of the oyster that's just had a pearl taken out. What? So you grow the first pearl, you remove that. Before you put in, every other process puts in a nuclear, in another nucleus straight away, shoves it back in the water. No. This one takes soil out of the ecosystem, dries it out, then puts it back in the oyster. And the oyster, living, goes back in the water. And as the oyster feeds, it lets the water in. That's yes. how the oysters feed. They let the water in, then push it back out. And what happens is the, the, this soil, because it's dried out, it's smaller, perfectly positioned for that size of the pearl sack. And as the moisture goes in, it absorbs the water and grows ever so slightly. The original aim being to enlarge the size of the pearl sack naturally, organically, so no harm to the oyster, humanely and ethically enlarge the size of the pearl sack, then we'd go in, take out, and put a bigger nucleus in that would allow you to shortcut and essentially create third generation sized pearls in the second generation of pearls to come out of the oyster. Wow. So that was the genius part of it. The accident I love even more. Go on. This colour, you know, I mean, you yeah. can see it here for nine grand. Oh, gosh. $8,991. So what's nine dollars between friends the color is 100 percent natural yes no coating whatsoever and what's happened here carol is metallic elements you know how soil healthy soils yeah, yeah, have yeah. got lots of different um uh, you know nutrients in there that you know you you've heard of you've heard of fertilizing your plants with with, with various elements Yes. The soil naturally has some metallic elements in it some iron, iron and, yes uh, potassiums yes. and things some of those line the pearl sack. Oh my gosh. So not only is it enlarging the pearl sack, it's enriching it with all of these metallic elements. When the, when the Kasumi bead comes out, when the Kasumi mud, uh, essentially the Kasumi um, soil comes out and then the nucleus goes in, those metallic elements blend. They go into the nacre. So you have 
The only way in the world to get this natural metallic, these rainbow overtones over the top, Kasumi style. Oh. Now, each one has to be done individually, Carol. Each one has to be done individually. Now, the size of these, we're looking at 12 to 15 mils. Okay? Yes. So, because each one has to be done by hand, you're looking at around 350 to up to, in some cases, $600 a pearl. Yes. For Kasumi pearls. 300 to 600 a pearl. Sarah, huge congratulations. 31 on the strand. Even if I take the lowest number I can, that is over $10,000. Wow. This is why we've never brought a Kasumi strand on. Yes, Jamaica. I can totally understand that now. I've never, look at this, look at that, never in my life. Do you know what, I'm going to start us at half of that, half of your trade value. Let's start about five grand. Oh never God. before have we brought Kasumi. Right. I am speechless with the quality of these. They are mirror shine. £4,999 interest-free split payments, obviously, of £1,249.75. These are some of the most premium and prized pearls. Look at that. Look at the, look at the purpley, hot, pink. Colours I've never seen before in pearls, Jay. Kasumi style, rainbow overtone. The metallic luster you have is 100% natural on these pearls. Oh. Tom. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Next crash is our final. What? Five nine nine for us please straight down five nine nine for the first the only oh kasumi gosh. style what? natural rainbow pearls from five thousand pounds but from five thousand to five nine to nine five we're looking at 150 pound on split pay and there's a very simple reason i'm doing this for you this morning on jury maker two years celebrating oh, these gem guide shows wow these are Diane, I yes. couldn't agree more. Yes, Diane. They are the most beautiful pearls you've ever seen. And I can tell you now, this is in the market. Oh. In the market. I've been in the industry for 10 years. Yes. The only Kasumis I've ever seen are in Japan. In Japan, there's a three minute wait on the phone lines. Oh, gosh. Know. In Japan, $9,000 for a strand like this. They're normally about 600 a pearl. We're at six. There you go. In black and white from the gem guide, 600 for the strand right now. We've never... We've never seen anything like this before. You've got to be quick, though. Julie's there. Sarah's there as well. Huge congratulations. Barbara's jumped in. This is your opportunity for, for natural Kasumi-style pearls from, for, yeah, from the region that is dominating the pearl industry right now. Absolutely. Genuinely, we have a handful of these strands. Yeah. This isn't something that I can go and get you every day. No. Oh it, my gosh. You'll no. notice when I when I had the fireballs, I shared with you what the trade value was. Yes. I also shared with you other people who are offering me them. Yes, they're offering me at four to five times more than I offered them to you. But you're being. But at least them. I shared that yeah. I was being offered them. Yeah. This I have never had a chance in ten years for love nor money to be able to get. Julie, massive congratulations. You aren't going to regret that. The quality of the strand that you're acquiring Whoa. today, this is a historic opportunity. Kasumi pearls, go and do your research. Kasumi pearls, and they, they are, these are cultured in exactly the same way. This is the Kasumi style. Well done to uh, Joseph, who's joined as well. Yep. This is your chance. We are, we are racing to a full column of names we already. We really are. Let's yes. remember what Richard Drucker said to us. Okay? I spoke to, we heard how in print, Richard Drucker's willing to commit to 30% increase in price, 50% mm. increase in price, two, 300% increase in price. Who is Richard Drucker? 
This is the gem guide. And there he is, the editor in chief himself of the whole gem guide. R Richard and his colleagues have been used in courts of law for their opinion. Yes. Yeah. Oh. As expert wow. opinion settling uh, estate disputes, valuing gemstones, valuing jewellery, determining the direction of the market in courts of law. If it's good enough for a judge, it's good enough for me as a gem investor, and I'm hoping it's good enough for you to add a strand of ultimate portfolio provenance. Have a look at this. You can have three different booths for three different prices right now because no one knows where to settle in because the new stuff is so expensive. Right, okay, yeah. You know, so it's hard. I mean, I talked to a pearl dealer that I know really well. I talked to her a couple of days ago, and she said, she goes, some of the stuff is coming into me now. It's two to three times what I was paying. Really? So it's two to three times. She I goes, guess that's because the toll farms with COVID. Yeah, with COVID. A lot of them have been wiped out. Right. COVID, the processing, labor, and all these factors. She said, so things are like two to three times. I said, well, yeah, but she's got tons, you know, some of these booths, you know, you see it, and it's got thousands of Yeah, stuff. yeah. I said, so what are you doing? She's like, I don't have time to change all my prices. So she said, anything new that I'm getting in, I'm putting all the new prices in because I have to, because it's costing me more. Yeah. But some of this stuff I'm just still selling because, you know, listen, if she sells it at that price, she's, she's still making a profit. Now, it might be dumb because you got to replace it at a higher price. But the point of it is that, you know, that, that, so how do you do a market right now? Because, it's a two-tier market. Because normally, because normally over time things go up a little bit. Now you got this, like, thing like this. You got some going up like that. You got a spike that's up, but someone's still here. Some are in the middle. Some are up here. It's really yeah. one, one thing that it's really unique. Yeah. Really. One, one thing that you and I have noticed is um, we bought some naturally colored uh, pearls before COVID. Uh-huh. We've gone to try and get the same okay. fit. Oh, okay. the prices are unbelievable. There you go. But, yeah. but like the purples, the, the apricots, it's crazy. Yeah. It really yeah. is. Yeah. You've, you've heard it there from one yes. of the, you know, the leading authorities in the market, direct from source, saying the prices are going up, not down. And they're going up dramatically. This kind of thing, normally only available at Hong Kong Gymshire. I want to show you, I've got a full column of names because I'm about to do something which is going to send everyone into a tailspin. This is, can I just say, um, and, and, you know, Jake has been doing these shows now for a couple of years. This is never a decision which Jake will take lightly, but this more than any decision I th I've, I've ever seen him make. Linda, Maker, Anita, Colleen, Laurel, Julian, sorry, Julian, sorry. You are about to be oh over hero, the moon. Julie. Joseph, Marion, Maker in Lancashire, Sarah, Susan, Barbara, Beverly, Susan. Look, you are all about to get some of the best news ever. If you've got a bottle of champagne, I don't care that it's quarter past 12. I can't pop believe. it open right now because I'm not, I know I said I was going to, but I've still got opportunities. This is people in their baskets. Look, I'm about... I'm going to do something for you. I'm going to do something for you right now, and you have got to seriously question yourself. What, what is stopping me getting involved here? Portfolio Worthy, the first ever Kasumi-style, naturally coloured oh rainbow gosh. pearls that we have had in our collection. We are about to do something we have never, ever done, but well, we're doing it right now in this yes, strand. Yes, I know. Oh, my gosh. I want a 60-second clock, and then I'm going... I'm going to crash again. I am not finishing here. While I've got an opportunity, I want you to seize this. This is one of those. I, I, I'm really trying to help. The reason I gave you the full, the full build-up on, on what's happening in the pearl market, I need you to understand just how special this chance is. Tom, 40 seconds time. Oh I'm going to ask you to drop the price. I, you can't fight me on it. I need you to work with me on this one. We've got a full column of names. This is, this is the first and, and probably the final time, actually. Oh, God. Only, it's only because the Hong Kong Gem Show is cancelled, where these pearls normally are auctioned one at a time. You never have access to these, Jake. And, you know, I mean, yeah, I've been going to Hong Kong for respect. years, Carol. I don't see them outside no. of the Invitation Only Hall. Ab precisely. Invitation Only Hall. You get in there Look because you're known not to question the price. You're known not to haggle on price. Tom. Kasumi style. Oh, we saw the bracelet for 10,000. 
We worked out in the trade a strand is about 10,000. Oh, Let's gosh. offer today 95% off the trade value. Give 100 pounds back to every single person who's got involved so far. Those of you in multi-bought, that's 200 pounds. For another 200 pounds, oh. Add a third strand to your order. We're taking those split pays in 125. Oh, gosh. And I can't stress this enough. Oh, gosh. Your split pays at 125 pounds. Your split pays divide the cost of this over the next three months interest free. The value of the pearls will change over the next. You'll still be paying for it. And the value of the pearls, the market today is so. Look. If I was asking myself, if I was in our account, this is why our accounts team are, I don't mind sharing this with you, they are fuming with me about today. Yeah. They are fuming with me about today because actually from a counter perspective, what we're doing is madness. I've had to give a brief to our team as the gem investor, as I do, I had to talk to our board and say, look guys, pearl market from now to 2025, three to four years, is gonna be jumping up in price two, three, four times. And their argument to me says, right, okay, we stop selling the pearls then, and then we just hold on to them for the next two, three, four years. I, exactly. Do you remember what the gem guide said? They said dealers aren't making the replacement value on their costs. Mm. They're selling things for lower than it costs them to replace. This is Asael Fine Jewel. You've got about a dozen strands, that's it. Remember yeah, the four column it. names who didn't have it? I have a feeling that we may be selling this season and not making money on replacement costs. I can tell you now, we are selling this season yes. and not making, making money on our replacement costs. In fact, I'd go so far as to say we are losing money on our replacement costs. 100%. That's a fact. There is no getting around that. Do you remember what the most valuable pearls are in the market right now? Sonny Sethi of Tara Pearl. He said, oh. deep relationships are helping dealers secure regular white stock. But difficulty in travelling abroad means it's hard to find colourful ones. Yep. Well, you tell me, is this <laughs> regular white stock? No! Or is this the most colourful the pearl most colorful. ever to have blessed jewellery maker? I don't think anyone, even the most cynical, could argue these are not the most colourful pearls we have ever brought to you. Now, I've got less than 10 strands available. Yep. I need Single to show you... remaining now. The contact centre, by the way, they have been advised and, and, and trained to take it out of unchecked out baskets, okay? Yep. So, see this line here? This line here, this is the line of fate. If you're to the right-hand side of this line, you are not where you want to be. Yep. Anita and Michelle, you're talking to our contact centre, they will be with you. They're taking it out of an unchecked out basket. It might be this maker in County Entry, trying to check out three. You've got to be quick. Then that really talks to you. We had less than 10 strands. Doesn't mean 10 people being successful. Deborah, Mary, it's in your basket on the app. The contact centre are taking it out of unchecked out baskets. Yeah. Janice Louisa in Aberdeenshire, if you want those two strands, you have to check out now on the website because the contact centre are taking them out. Again, multi-buyers is happening in this show. I've got Vera, Chrissy, Maker of Cambridgeshire, uh, Ilva, beautiful name in Argyle and Butte. Please, it, I don't want you to be disappointed. It's not yours yet. Look how many people are multi-buying. Yeah. When I came over to the screen, we had less than 10. Anita's just checked out two of these. Uh, sorry, just talked to our contact centre. Got two of these strands. Doesn't mean 10 people are going to be successful. This is racing to a sellout. You've got about probably a minute before this does. I think you've got to think as well, Jake. You know, some people, you know, some people who are... Uh, you know, very wealthy, they, they collect art. Some people who are very wealthy collect classic cars. Some people, um, you know, and, and, and we can't all afford to do that. I put this into the same bracket. This, for me, is one of those things where if you are in a position where you can multi-buy, don't do anything with one of the strands. Just keep it and see what well, happens. Well, Carol, it's really interesting it. you say that. Really interesting you say that. In JCK... Yeah. The gem, gem world, that's the gem guide, yeah. Stuart Robinson, yeah. the author of the Tucson Colour Guide. Yes. He did an interview with JCK. Yes. Go and find this interview. Yes. Okay, go and find this interview. Because in there, not only does it say anticipate a shortage of final material until probably 2025, let's be really clear Stuart Robinson is telling you pearls are off your menu for, for, till 2025. Mm. So today, you're not just buying pearls for your needs right now. You're buying them for your needs next year. Yes. You're buying them for the year after. You're buying them for the year after that. You're buying the pearls so you can continue to make pearl jewellery, the jewellery you love, for the next 48 months today. Good grief. But in that same article, and I've not even talked about it, 
Because I didn't, I, look, I don't want to panic people. But in there, Stuart Robinson said, look, people are buying. Demand is higher than ever for this material for yes. two reasons. One, people are buying because they need to buy for three, four years. Mm. And if you're not, don't worry, the jewellery stores are. Okay, so uh, Cartier are absolutely doing that. Von Cleef and Arpel are absolutely forward buying. Mm -hmm. He also says people are buying pearls right now as a store of wealth. Yes. They're yes. buying it to invest in. I'm not a financial advisor, but go find that article and go and listen to an expert that courts of law rely on. Absolutely. Definitely. I'm going to leave that there. My word. A huge congratulations. We've got, I, I think we've got three chances left. I, we think. Across all of those baskets. Yes. Probably got about a one in six chance. Yeah. There are so many still in baskets. I get that. I totally get that. Now, it's just astonishing. where do we go from here? Oh, God. I've touched on it, but I really, oh. really want you to understand just That's how amazing. rare what I'm about to offer you is. These are amazing. I have never oh, my God. in my life, let's be really clear here, so I have never, I have once, I have once brought for you a strand of purplish pink pearls, lavender pearls from Zhu Zhang. Just like these that went to Bonhams, you can see the full strand sold for six thousand pounds, and Woo! and you'll see if we can just collapse the phone number off for just a moment for me. It, these were Chinese. Rare. It's from Zhujiang. Pink. So th this is oh natural gosh. purple pearls, naturally purple, purple, naturally purple strands <laughs> from China, just like yours are. Okay. Now I've brought you a strand here at Jewelry Maker. Yeah. I've done that here at Jewelry Maker once. It wasn't six thousand pounds. This auction, by the way, six thousand pounds, six grand for a strand. When, when was that? Christmas. Gosh. Wow. Three months ago. Yeah. So anyone goes, oh yeah, but is it the same? Is it the same? It was three, three months, months ago. ago. Yeah. And we know the prices have risen since then. So actually, six grand right now looks like a bloody good deal. That looks phenomenal. But. Oh gosh. I am not. Stopping there. Excuse me, I got caught away then. <laughs> I am not stopping there because what we are about to do, I've never done in my life. I'm about to introduce you the first time I have ever certified something as naturally papaya. Oh. And I've got to say, oh. this is a moment for me. This is a huge moment for you as well. The range of papaya producing pearls is incredibly narrow. It exists from the Hang Long Bay in northern Vietnam and it runs beautiful across part the world. beautiful part of the world. Mm. Runs across here all the way to the Zhujiang Delta just here. Okay? This is the only part of the world where papaya producing mellow mellow and papaya producing Zhujiang oysters native to the Zhujiang Delta. It's the only part of the world you get these papaya pearls from, bar none. When it comes from the more westerly region, from Halong, it tends to be as part of the mellow mellow shell. When it comes from Zhujiang up here, it tends to be uh, in the river delta from a different oyster. So that's actually from, a, uh, this is from a, a, a univalve that's from a bivalve up here. But the key is the colour. Because the colour is the, the colour that was used as, as the crown jewel of Eastern monarchies, of Eastern, Eastern royalty. Before we in the West, we didn't even hear about it. We did a very similar situation to Imperial Jade. It just never left. Chinese have been willing to send their whites. They've been willing to send all, all hosts of colours. But the papaya? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Even just the idea, the art of an orange papaya pearl mm. is incredibly, incredibly valuable. Again, I'm going to show you for the first time ever papaya pearls. Usually, oh one of those papaya pearls typically can be what? up to $60,000 if it's mellow. To get natural fresh water, 
to get natural fresh water is another thing entirely. My gosh. I'm going to invite Liam, uh, Tom, sorry Liam, I keep doing that to you, I'm so Tom, I keep doing that to you, I'm so sorry. I'm going to invite Tom. Likes it actually. I'm going to invite Tom <laughs> to put a 60 second clock on before we do our first ever. And again, I must stress, these are going to come to you certified. <laughs> I, I genuinely, um, I've, I've just picked this natural strand up. papaya strands, naturally papaya, yes. natural purple alternating look at the luster you've got that near metallic oh. luster again for you we're talking about at the smallest carol 10 and a half mil the huge. going up to 13 millimeters in size for you and the rarest two colors on the planet yes the rarest two colors on our planet i'm gonna ask you again i want to know what you're grading this use this time to appreciate these have a look you've got 20 seconds Triple A in my book. If you're saying oh, not, yeah, for look, sure. you've got papaya, purple, papaya, purple, papaya, every single way alternating like that. Beautiful material. You've got about seven seconds to go. Message in. I want to know. Are you saying these are anything less than triple A? If you are, I have no problem. We'll bring your message live, but I want you to explain why to me. If you're thinking the triple A, then that, look, okay, we're going to have to open it. Tom, Tom's going, look, the, the people look are dining right this. now. Look at the kind of jewelry you can make. These are, these are amongst the most, uh, these are amongst the heaviest, most substantial pearls I've ever held in my life. And we've Carol, had it all, they are so. We're, we're 10 and a half to 13 mil. Go on, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this strand. Yeah, go on. 11 to 14 mil. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Other than the fact On that 50% of your pearls are rare papaya, rarer than the purples, other yes. than the fact that 50% of your strand is rarer yep. than the bottom strand, we are as close a match as I have ever known. £6,000, and I expect the value has grown since this auction. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. The quality, the weight, the stature, the magnitude, the, the range of colour. Yes, you're getting those purples and you're getting bluey purples and blues, uh, kind of purple with a blue overtone. But as Jake says, it's these colours here. Look at that papaya. That I mean, the, the, that This that pearl alone, the, the, you take one or two of these papayas out. Whoa. And the pearl alone is probably worth what you're going to pay for the strand. Absolutely. Now, talking oh of worth and value, let's be really clear here. Talking of worth and value, I've got for you the gem guide pricing. Has anyone said that these are anything less than AAA, Tom? No. Exclusively, everyone agreeing with me and saying AAA. I've not got a problem with just people disagreeing, but you have to justify why. Within reason, yes. Okay. We're at 10 to 11 mils. In the trade, just for any colour, by the way, not necessarily for the purples and the uh, papaya, just for coloured ones, mm. because we know that, think about what Tara Pearl said, yes. colour is where the value colour, is. Colour, yes. Just for those, you're looking at about 1,300 to 1,500. Oh my God. Just for colours. Just for colours. Have the two rarest colours, have papaya on an authenticity certificate like you're going to have, and I think this number becomes irrelevant. The gem guide, incidentally, doesn't have a gem grading table for any... Look at how it comes to you. Beautiful. Because these were made for an auction, Carol. Of course. Absolutely. Tom. Oh, my God. I want to start us at 1,500, Love. please, today. I look at that. I look at that recording. And you look at the price. One thousand four hundred and ninety-nine pounds on a four-way split pay of three hundred and seventy-four seventy-five. This, my God, this is your trade value right now, and I actually don't think you can pick it up in the trade. I, do, I genuinely don't think you can after Gem everything Guide you is said, talk, Jay. Well, Jim Guide is talking about just any colour. Of course, so it could be the more common pinks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it could be. It could be off shades like peaches. Mm-hmm. 
Not Certainly not strange. talking natural purples and papayas. No. We know that Bonhams, featuring a full pur purple strand, £6,000. 50% of your pearls here are rarer than the Bonhams pearls. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Naturally, naturally papaya, naturally purple. Naturally coloured. Oh, this my is the, you know, this is the most, because of the papayas, I've got to tell you, this is the most rare strand of all of the yeah, four. Yeah, limited, limited. I've got two dozen chances. I don't even think I'm going to get oh. a full column of names here, Carol. No, 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 no. Not with the amount of multi-bidders we've had today, Jake. Not with the amount of people coming through, collectors who are going to be... By owning a strand like this, you are a fine pearl dealer. Are you ready for this, Carol? No. <laughs> Tom? 499. Straight down, 499. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And I want to say some thank yous. Oh... Oh, wow. Four, nine, the nine. Papayas. It's rarer, it's more limited, and it's 499. I want to say thank you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my word. Oh, Joan, look at the amount in baskets. Susan, oh. Pamela, baskets, Suzanne. Baskets, look baskets. at the, I mean, the baskets of the phone lines. I, I'm like, I'll address you in a minute. Renee. I'm still not finished. We Yay! are not done here Woo! for the papaya. I don't ask myself how high we can go. This is the first time we've ever, I've ever offered certified naturally papaya. Love this. I can I tell love you, this. we are still not finished on these papaya strands. Oh God. This is something, this is going to be one of those pinch yourself moments. This is the chance to seize. I've got an anonymous Ooh. jeweler in Lancashire, my home county just joining Ooh. us. Thank you so much. You are going to be over the moon. Wherever, look, I'd say oh. wherever in the UK you are, you need to be getting involved. I'm going to revise it. Wherever in the world you are, these come to you in this beautiful presentation box. Let me be really clear why. Because these were supposed to go to a Far East auction. Oh, my God. At Hong Kong. I love this. The Hong Kong show got cancelled. It's the only reason we've got these. It's the only reason we've got these, because the Hong Kong show has been cancelled. I need to show you something. Because, we, because we're still not finished... Oh, gosh. And we have got another crash to come, Carol. Yes. I promise you. Tom's saying, look, right now, the amount that's in baskets... If half of you, Only 50% yeah. of you need to check out and we'll sell out. I'm going to yep, tell you now... Totally. I'll tell you now, <laughs> we're still going to crash. I promise you. I prom I've got a oh, big no crash way. coming. Have a look at this. Check out. Check out, check out, check out. Full column of names. The, you're racing to a sellout right now. Jane, Patricia, well Pat done, sweetie. I want to say Patricia in Lincolnshire. I want to reassure Patricia, if I could, just before I crash. Patricia... I see you. You're waiting in a one-minute queue yet Susan. there. Susan. Patricia, see all these baskets that aren't checked out? Don't worry, because our contact centre, and Isabel, this goes to you as well, they'll take it out of a basket that's not been checked out for you. That's what we've told our contact centre. We are already oh about £1,000 off the lowest estimate I can give for a trade, OK? The lowest estimate I can give for the trade. Oh gosh. We're already about £1,000 off, but we're not anywhere near done. Tom? Oh, gosh. For the first time this show with natural papayas. I want to put our split pays under £100, please. Three, nine, nine for everyone. Everyone. At a time <laughs> when, when prices are going up 30, what? 50, 100, 200%. Carol, we're going the opposite direction. 20% down. 20% off. And this, to be honest with you, this is just a real thank you for all of your support over Four the last chances two years. remaining. That's it's my two-year anniversary here joining you at Jewelry Maker. Very rare do I bring pearls. Very rarely do Very I bring rare. pearls. Very rare. Uh, in fact, oh I think this is only my, my second show I've ever brought a pearl. Wow. They are yours Well today. done, everyone. And, 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 we, and we've just had a question come through um, saying, you know, do, do you, see, you can see some ripple effect there. Yeah. Well, a little bit, not to the extent... You know, some people might grade these nucleated, some people may not. It's certainly not quite the Kasumi grade that we just brought you, uh, the Kasumi style, rather. Um, remember what the most important virtue is on a pearl? Colour. Luster. Colour and So luster. often, pits will impede luster. Yes. Look at these and tell me, has the luster been impeded? Absolutely not. So to answer that question, no. 
No, 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 no. Well, I'm gonna have, do you know what? I'm going to have to call that a sellout. Go on. Okay. It's time oh for my final thank you. This is It's this time is for my final strand. This is a strand. I don't mind telling this you. This is ridiculous, Jake. Oh, my gosh. I, I got this strand on a bit of a... And I'm going to tell you where this strand was supposed to be. Not here. Not here, okay? About 100 years ago, yeah. there was a wonderful jeweller in Paris. His name was Louis. Classically French name. Louis Cartier. And Louis Cartier pioneered a look that would become one of the signatures of the Maison de Cartier, the tricolour. And Louis Cartier did that with gold. And so we have, even to this day, 1924, nearly 100 years ago, the Maison de Cartier pioneered white gold, yellow gold, and then added in a rose gold hue. And it became the look. This strand was collated by a jewellery wholesaler in the Far East. And their vision for it, their vision for it, was to offer it to the Maison de Cartier, celebrating a hundred years of the tricolour. It is, now Cartier have got a really, really proud history with pearls. Their flagship store in New York, the big mansion de Cartier, that was literally bought with a pearl strand. So I would say, certainly in the Western jewellery world, no jewellery house has a finer history, a finer pedigree, than the Maison de Cartier, bar none, over von Cleef and Oppel. Certainly in the West, over the house of Nikomoto. The jewellery, the jewellery, the, the, the pearl dealers who were signed, who developed this strand, had an intention for it. And it was to celebrate 100 years of the Maison de Cartier, Louis Cartier's tricolour collection. He did it with gold, yellow gold, white gold, rose gold. Beautiful. When these, the, the, this strand, this strand has been being put together for around about eight years. Not by me, I must stress that, not by me. Been put together for around about eight years by the pearl farmers themselves. Whoa. It is a tricolour of natural, naturally coloured pearls. And your tricolour is the same as Louis Cartier's. You oh. have, there's, there's the tricolour there, yellow, rose gold, white gold. This is the first time we've ever done anything else like this, Carol. Oh, Look at the quality, I mean, you can see straight it. away, when you see these pearls, for the first time ever, you'll see straight away, the lustre is Cartier standard. It's... Oh. And the tree colour, oh. ivory whites, ivory whites, natural papaya, my God. And natural purples. Oh. Naturally papaya. Naturally purple. Natural papaya gives you almost the yellow gold look. Yes, doesn't it? Your yes. ivory is giving you your white gold look. And the whole ensemble, the tree colour is completed Squeezing. with the natural purples that give you that rose gold look. This is... I've got to say, this is the last, the last one sold out completely. The only other time we bought you papayas. This is, I actually feel I've robbed Place Vendôme offering this. Oh my gosh. I'm going to ask for a one minute clock before I bring you my final pearl strand today. Have you ever seen lustre like this on pearls, Jake? Carol, these are the finest pearls I've ever acquired. Oh, genuinely, I've... genuinely, I was chatting, to, I was chatting to, uh, to Charlie about these pearls. I was also chatting to our accountant about these pearls. 
And there was a real debate as to whether we even offer them on Jewelry Maker or we just go straight to Place Vendôme and do a deal back no, into the trade. No, seriously. And I said I'd give oh Jewelry gosh. Maker a chance on these. I said, I, I, look, you know what this show's about. I know that I can go and find a Cartier buyer. That's absolutely fine. Yes. But this show is about giving you the opportunity to craft ultra fine jewelry. This is it. The tricolor, Zhujiang naturally tricolor pearls is how your authenticity is certificate it? is going to read. These will come certified for you. They, <coughs> they are all, excuse me, they are all from the Zhujiang River Delta. They are all a hundred, you can see naturally colored here, yes. naturally tree color on ensemble like we have never put together Best of luck. in 17 years of bringing you jewelry. Oh Best of luck getting involved. The phone lines are open right now. We are looking here, eight and a half mil, oh. sorry, eight mil to 10 mil. But look at the quality you've got here. This is the finest of the fine. I would have no problem putting these but in Place Vendôme all day long. They look varnished. They look, yeah. they look like orbs. They look like, they look, they almost look too good to be true. They are this so... Is, this, is the, this is what Debbie did with them. Yeah, beautiful. You can see they're building, but moments. building on that, the idea of three. Love it. Building on that idea Love of it. three, the tree color, that really emphasizes those. I want to say well done to Valerie, who's first in here. Anonymous maker in Lancashire, also huge. Congratulations, Suzanne. Pamela, look, there's a weight on the phones. Naturally tree color pearls Ooh. now this is one of the biggest quantity auctions that we have today but i have to say knowing the providence of these knowing the years arguably even the decades worth of time it's taken to collate this yeah. offering of pearls i i i I don't know if we will ever see the likes of anything like this again. I mean, I, 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 I've, I, I've bought you thousands of strands of pearls over the years on Jewelry Maker and Gems TV. Nothing like this. We've got eight to ten mil pearls. The luster is, it is Plas Dom standard. Yeah, it's mirror. The colour selection is something out, classically out of the Louis Cartier playbook. Oh, Tricolor, size 8 to 10 mil. I'm going to ask Tom, based on what the gem guide is saying, you can see 8 mils go from about 800 to 950. 9 mils go 1,000 to 1,200, uh, 1,125. 10 mil go from 13 to 1,500. I'm going to try and shoot for the middle. Tom, can you please start us at 1,100 on the nose? You can see I'm not trying to make these numbers high. I'm trying to be really fair. In the trade... I don't think you'd find an auction house that would offer you these for £1,100. Nope. There's 42 pearls on this strand. 42 naturally coloured tricolour pearls. Marco, you're absolutely right. Yeah. These pearls are unbelievably stunningly beautiful. Yeah. They really are. I, 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 I couldn't agree more, Margaret. These are, this is the kind of pearl, I'll be honest, I started being your gem investor 10 years ago, and I had an aim to try and help you craft fine jewellery that could sit alongside Cartier quality jewellery. I'm a big fan of what Cartier do. Mm. This, I think, would eclipse, and it's a huge claim, I'm going to say. Go on. It's going to eclipse a Cartier strand. Oh my gosh. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell, I mean, by all means, show me something that actually more perfectly enca encapsulates Louis Cartier's vision better than I've seen Cartier themselves do. Oh my Simply gosh. Simply because they don't have access to this. Act. No, they don't have exactly. access to this. Car. It was going to be presented to Cartier, but because the Hong Kong shows are cancelled, they can't present them to Cartier. They've missed the window. God. Whoa. Now, those of you who know about your pearls, you're already getting involved. Yep. Rene, Pamela, Isabel, Beverly, Janet, Anita's bought two, Suzanne's bought two, Hazel. I can see a lot of you waiting right now. We are, I don't think, I don't think you could get this strand in the trade for 1,100. Gee whiz. They say the colours, but they don't say assorted colours like this. Mm. They don't say natural papayas. They don't say natural purples. Now, I want to share with you, we've already got a full column of names, so let yeah. me show you that. I want to thank you so much for your trust. Believe me, Susan, 
Joan, Hazel, Suzanne is brought to Suzanne. I'm going to say this right now, Suzanne. You're probably going to want more. I'm just going to put it out there. Anita, you too. Janet, Beverly, Isabel, Pamela, Renee, Lancashire, Valerie. You're probably going to want more. Tom. I want you to take us to £4,999. Okay. Sorry, £4,499, four, £4 please. And it's not going to come as a surprise to anyone mm -hmm. when I say we're not stopping here. Oh, my word. This is... Uh, this is life-changing, isn't it? it this will really be. is. It will be. It will be collection-changing. Yes. It's going to be a portfolio-defining piece. Yes. Oh. I'm going to say this right now. Suzanne in North Yorkshire, thank you for taking my advice. You're going to be over the moon. Suzanne's going to add... I said to Suzanne, you've got two. You probably want more. She's going to add a third already. You've got ivories, natural papayas, and natural purples here in this tricolour that's so reminiscent of Louis Cartier. What would... Tom. Oh. Hazel's just multi-bought. She had one. She's upped it. I mean, these are uh, undoubtedly, just on the strand as they are, not even made into jewellery. Take them to your local family-run jeweller, a reputable jeweller, not just any old high street jeweller. Get these valued. You will need to get them insured so separately. You need you to get will. them itemised on your household insurance. You, abs you absolutely are right there, Carl. And I would go one step further, just because I'm a gem investor. This is what I love to do. <laughs> go and get them appraised. Send me your appraisal, by the way. Yes. The moment I yeah. use it on air, I'm going to have our contact team reach out to you, and I'm going to pay you what you paid for your appraisal. So essentially, you're getting your jewellery appraised for free. It's awesome. Based on that offer... Oh, Based God. on that offer... He will use it, by the way. But, you know, I will, because I want to share what's happening at your local jewellery street. I'm also going to go one step further. Go and get it appraised God. every 12 months for me. Oh, yes, Jake, yes. And plot that change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark yeah. that change. Oh, my gosh. Watch that change. Tom. Oh, good grief. Tom's actually got on the he's got on this sheet 499. Oh, it's just that that sheet is rubbish. It's rubbish. It's absolute rubbish. Garbage. It means nothing. I know you Tom. Mean, I know, darling, but yeah, it's rubbish. It means nothing. Fugazi. 299. We're gonna take 200 pounds off. We are yes. crashing well under the 399. Oh. I think everyone thought we we're stopping at. Yes, 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 yes. Valerie's multi -bought. Oh my word. This is tremendous, absolutely tremendous. Never seen pearls like this, never seen luster like this, never seen quality like this, never seen... I, I can mean, tell you now, if this would have gone into that auction, there is absolutely... Oh my gosh. There's no chance, no chance whatsoever for the Place Vendôme standard, <gasps> Louis Cartier-S three colour, and the three colours aren't the... They are, they are extraordinary ivies, ivories, natural papaya and natural purples. You have got, you can, there's no chance at auction. You'd step into an auction room and see the gavel come down at 299. And yeah, that's exactly where we are. Yeah. Jane in Hertfordshire's picked up two. Susan's picked up two. Valerie's picked up two. Hazel's picked up two. Mary's picked up two. Suzanne's picked up three. I've got Leslie, anonymous maker in Wiltshire. Come on over. Let me show you what's going on right now. Because oh, over people. here, well, let's start, I'm going to start where you don't want to be. This uh -huh. is not where you want to be. Sarah, you've just been picked up. I'm over the moon for you. I've got makers in Ant County Antrim, Mary Lynette. Uh, Kalisha, this keeps moving by the way because that's more and more people dialing in right now. It's in baskets, you can see it's busy. Now, come over. We just mentioned Kalisha. Kalisha's she just checked out, like I said. Well she done, didn't take out, check out one though, she checked out two. You can oh. see Kalisha just there. Kalisha, I'm loving your style. Jane, Mary Lynette, Gabrielle, Leslie, M Wiltshire, Susan, Jane, Valerie. So many people multi buying as well. It's absolutely the right thing to do. We're talking here about I, I, this is a strand 
The Cartier brothers famously bought some of the most premium, some of the most premium real estate in Manhattan for a pearl strand. I think this is a strand that is of such a quality, of such a style, it would make Louis Cartier himself blush. It's got ivories, it's got natural purples, but the most exciting for me, I've got to say, the most exciting for me are those mellow-esque, natural papaya mm. pearls. Remember what's happening in your current market. Remember what's happening. Richard Drucker, the chief editor of this, has committed in print just before the Tucson show, 30 to 50% increase in price. After the Tucson show, has said it's doubling or tripling in value. But here's a private conversation Richard had with me at Tucson. You can have three different booths for three different prices right now because no one knows where to settle in because the new stuff is so expensive. Right, okay, yeah. You know, so it's hard. I mean, I talked to a pearl dealer that I know really well. I talked to her a couple of days ago, and she said, she goes, some of the stuff is coming into me now. It's two to three times what I was paying. Really? Two to three times. I goes, guess that's because the pearl farms, with COVID, yeah, with COVID, a lot of them have been wiped out. Right. COVID, the processing, labor, and all these factors. So, so things are like two to three times. I said, well, you know, but she's got, you know, some of these booths, you know, you see it, it's got thousands of Yeah, stuff. yeah. I said, so what are you doing? She's like, I don't have the time to change all my prices. So she said, anything new that I'm getting in, I'm putting all of these prices in because I have to because it's costing me more. Yeah. But some of this stuff I'm just still selling because, you know, listen, if she sells it at that price, she's, she's still making a profit. Now, it might be dumb because you got to replace it at a higher price. But the point of it is that, you know, that, that, so how do you do a market right now? Because, it's a market. Because normally, because normally over time things go up a little bit. Now you got this like thing like this, you got some coming up like that, you got a spike that's up, but someone's still here, some are in the middle, some are up here. Really yeah. one, one thing that it's really unique. Yeah, really. One, one thing that you and I have noticed is um, we bought some naturally colored uh, pearls before COVID. Uh-huh. We've gone to try and get the same yeah. today. Oh, yeah. the prices are unbelievable. There you go. But I yeah. like the purples, the, the apricots, it's crazy. Yeah. It really yeah. is. Yeah. I owe you an apology. What? I've had a secret. It's been burning away all auction. But I had to stagger our phone calls. Oh, my god. I'm not finished at 299. Everyone pays the final local price. The simple reason is I didn't... Remember at the beginning, we literally overwhelmed and broke our own system. Yes. I've had to stagger the phone calls. I'm crashing again in 30 seconds' time. This is my two-year celebration. It's the end of my show with you in about 30 seconds' time, and I've got another crash to come. Oh. If you've got one, you need two. If you've got two, you probably want to go for a third. If you want three or more, Dial our contact centre. The split payments at the minute are £74.75. How much lower are you planning on going, Jay? Well, four split pays kicks in anywhere where we're supposed... You shouldn't get a split pay under £100 at four split pays. Yeah, yeah. We are... We're going to... Do you know what? I'm, I'm just going to say it. Tom? No. Ah. £50 on split pay. One nine nine. Let's do it One for nine. the tricolour, naturally, Woo. naturally tricolour strand. We have never offered anything like this from the most prestigious place oh. in the world, Zhujiang, where the mellow pearls are, are, farm, are, 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 are traded, where your conch pearls are traded. Naturally, Zhujiang tricolour pearls. This is extraordinary. We can see so many of you dialing back. Look, there's about a two minute wait on the phone lines. Yeah. I'm not going to apologise for that. It's a free phone telephone number, but of course there's a wait on the phone lines. A second column is building right now, the moment we announce that we're going again. Barbara's got two. Valerie's got it up to her order. Three. This is your chance right now. Naturally tricolour from Zhujiang. Look, Sandra, you're sucking away on the phone lines. Yeah. Dorothy, you're sucking away on the phone lines. Sarah, you're sucking away on the phone lines. It's about a three minute wait right now. Bro, but don't worry, our team, our team are taking it out of unchecked out baskets. This is your chance. This is your chance to act. This is, this was, by the way, any doubts? Anyone, anyone who's got any doubts, going, hang on a second. Are these, are, you know, are these from that same or intended to go to those uh, those Hong Kong auctions? Oh my God. Yes. Have a look. It still comes for you. It still comes for you in that ready to auction box. Beautiful. High end ready to auction box. Have a look. You can see it here. This is how they arrive to you. 
If you want to, if you've got a safe at home yeah. or your bank offer you a safety deposit box and you've got no intentions other than building these as a portfolio, just store these like this they will in love your it. safety deposit box. That's absolutely fine. I know there'll be people buying today that do that. These pearls are going to last a lifetime. They'll absolutely. last multiple lifetimes. Yep. That's why people invest in them. Guys, we showed you a full column of names. Goodness me. We showed you a full column of names. We now have two full columns. Yeah. Welcome, Joanne, Sarah, Dorothy, Sandra, Marion. Marion. Look, there's still a bit of a wait on the phone lines. Tracy, Florence, Janet, Anna, Sheila, Lorraine, Gabrielle. This is your chance right now. Two full columns of names, multi-bidders throughout. That's the thing. I've got, Tom, I've got about 30 of these left. Yeah. I've got about 30 left. It does not mean 30 people. No way. The amount of multi-bidders we've had today, Jake, this could go to 10 people, 15. Sarah's just bought two. Yeah, and, and you can see a lot of people have got in their basket in the process of checking out. A lot of them have got two in their basket, absolutely. three in their basket. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, huge congratulations to absolutely everyone coming through to get these. The fact that these are My auction gosh. ready for one of the you know, largest, one of the big auctions. Tom, I just want to, just want to confirm that. 65... I've got it either in a basket or waiting in the phone lines. What? We have about 30 chances available. Oh, now, in the gosh. baskets, I've got to be really direct with you. In your baskets, you're taking a little bit of time to check out. It's absolutely fine, but it does mean that if you want to dial in right now, you can take it out of an unchecked out basket. That is, that is something our contact centre are doing for you right now. Jamati's just done that. They've just taken one out of someone's basket. Jane's just checked out another one. Three gone to Jane, uh, going to Jane in Hertfordshire. Well done to you, my lovely. Helen in let's, Bristol just Let's not lose out. sight of what we've got here, okay? Yes. Here is the, the trade value, not yes. for these colours, just for any colours. We know that natural purples are extraordinarily rare, six grand a strand. We know that natural papaya is even more. We know that size-wise, we're anywhere from 800, and, 800 to 950 to 1,300 to 1,500 a strand, okay? Uh, nowhere on this list does it give these triple A's at 200 pounds. Mm. Even, even at the three to four mil level, you're still looking at £300. Yes. Yes, exactly. The price per pearl you're getting per quality is absolutely phenomenal. We still have over 40 in baskets, Jake. Yeah. This is crazy. Look, I'm gonna, uh, this is about, we, we've got about two dozen of these left. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's we, we, it. We had, I had just under 100 strands of I these I know, which carrots. is incredible. It, it was, incre was going to be a big feature, celebrating the legacy of Louis Cartier, so, you know, 100 years on from his tricolour visionary. Yeah. It became, a, it became a signature of the Maison de Cartier. The, Oh, sorry, can we, can we get that question again? Okay, so this is a message Do from Do they come Jacqueline. with an authenticity card from Jacqueline from Norfolk? Absolutely, yes, they do. You don't need to pay an extra for this. Look, this is my two-year anniversary show with you. These are the most premium. Yes. Uh, when you get your authenticity card and you go and get these appraised, Please do go and get them appraised. Mm -hmm. Share me the appraisal. I will, uh, you know, the moment I use it on air, I'll have our team reach out. We'll, we'll credit your account with the difference. Essentially, we're paying for your appraisal to, by doing that. Definitely. I want you to share your authenticity card with your appraiser. I, I think I when we're talking about pearls of this, of this calibre, of this level, you know, to give an authenticity certificate, it's the yeah. least that we can do. It, it really is. It really is. And with the, and with the ongoing support, two years uh, on, uh, and this is where we are. It, I mean, seriously, I just want to really examine this strand in, in detail, if we could, uh -huh. just, uh, just on the back wall here. Because there's a few strands here that I'm just looking at, and I'm like, I, I, a few pearls within the strand, I'm just like, like, if you are breaking up, if you're not, by the way, personally, I wouldn't. No. Personally, I wouldn't. No. But personally, I'd keep it in that box and put it in a, in a safety deposit box. That's what I'd do. But if you are, I, want to just sh I just want to go in detail on some of the pearls that will be featuring your strand. It, it will bring it up onto the back I, 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 want, I want to see the strand, if we could, just on this back wall, and we'll go into some of these pearls in detail. Mm. This one. Oh, that's obscene, that one. It's just one of the best pearls I've ever seen. I mean, it's like a gold... We talk about golden pearls. Yes! It's like a golden pearl. Yes, 24 yes. carat, mirror. polished to a mirror. Okay, you, you've got here oh, this. Oh, look at that, Jake. This is finer than any mellow pearl I've seen. This is a finer is papaya than any mellow I've seen. These two They're here. Beautiful. I mean, 
they are the same purple that was on that bottom strand for six grand. Yep. You've got a strand of some of the highest grade I've ever witnessed. What I'm going to do... Wow. Tom, can I get a 60-second clock, and then I'm going to close this deal? Because I'm going to ask our team wow. to clasp these, and anything that's remaining, I'm going to be offering on Gems TV. Totally. They are not going to be at this value. That's just, that, that, that's just the reality. Yeah. Huge congratulations to absolutely everybody from Jewelry Maker. Particularly Hazel. Hazel's leading the line. Hazel's got four of these. Yep. Hazel, you're going to be over the moon with your investment. Remember, you're buying pearls today. We've heard from the Gem Guide. We've heard from some of the biggest contributors in the world. Yeah. And they are saying, they're saying, your pearls, you need to be buying them all the way for your pearl consumption up to 2025. Yes, exactly. Now, who are they advising? This is written for the buyers of Cartier. This is written for the buyers of Mikamoto. This is written for the buyers of Von Cleef and Arpel. And they're saying, look, don't buy your pearls for this season. Buy your pearls to everything you need to about 2025. Look, there's a, there's a weight on the phone lines. It's just building as we close this deal. Hold, if you've got a phone in your hand, in the next five seconds, you will be successful. Good. Now, though, you've got to stop dialing. Don't dial for that anymore. That Susan's is dumb. Susan's just taken three in the nick of time. Well done, Susan. Got a phony hand. I'll honour the deal. If you've not, I'm sorry. Huge congratulations. What an incredible wow. job, I've really enjoyed every moment. The, oh. the, the closure. Oh, yes. Ooh, Jacqueline. Yes, ja darling. Can we see Jacqueline's message? Is that okay? Jacqueline's just asked. Oh, Jacqueline, you've got amazing taste. Fireball strand. We had technical difficulties oh, gosh, do you because we that? crashed and literally our system crashed with it. Awful. We crashed the price and we crashed the system at the same and time. They all fell out. What we'll do is we'll, we'll finish those graphic details for that. We'll, bring, we'll flash the graphic details up one more time for you. We, we've got seven chances, is that all? Yep, that's it. Seven chances on this. The only, this will come to you certified fireball oh. strand. The colours, I, I, I literally, look, I, I've never seen... I mean, there's, there's pearls which look like they're fireball, and then there's these. Then there's actual certified fireball. Then there's fireball. actual certified fireball pearls. These are incredible. I'm going to leave those there with you, Jacqueline. We'll, leave, we'll give you about... A, over the, oh, we're about to have a very short break, and then Carol's got some more great deals. Yeah. We'll leave the details there for you on the break. And there is no Gem Guide show next week. Um, I, I'm sorry, <laughs> a very angry face from Carol there. Uh, I want to give you fair warning. I'm actually... Um, I this am, better be good. I think it could be incredible. Right. I am vault raiding in Edar Oberstein. Two, no, you're not. I am two families, the Pauli family and the Wild family. It's the Mecca... <laughs> It's the mecca of jewellery cutting. It's where Rudy Wabito is from. It's where Glenn Lehrer was trained. He was actually trained by the Pauli family. I'm going to the Pauli family's vaults. I'm going to the, to the Wild family vaults. And I'm hoping to bring you back some of the stones that we're talking about. They were cut back in the 1920s. Oh, 1930s, my gosh. 1940s, 1950s. I'm hoping to secure for you genuine EDAR cut gems. I can't, so I'm not going to be joining you next week. But the Gem Guide show starts two weeks after that. And we have got... Yes, here we go. Right, make it a good one. Over the next, in April... Yes. That's when we're talking. Yes. My next jade carving collection. <sighs> and for the first time ever... Moldavite. No way! You! The biggest parcel of Moldavite I've ever sourced. Highest Oh, grade. that's awesome! That's all coming in April. Thank you so much for all your support over the last two years of the Gem Guide. I'm working hard to make sure, <laughs> Margot, I wish I could. Make but I will be filming you. a lot, so you'll feel like you're there. Um, I, 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 I'm so excited for year three of the Gem Guide. Thank you so much for your support from awesome. the bottom of my heart. Humbly, it's you guys who make this show. I'm over the moon and I will see you in two weeks' time. Thank you so much for all you've done today.
Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help.
Does anyone actually know what happened in the last with the last couple of hours? <sighs> Coming up. Yes, that is a gem. Yes, that is one of the world's rarest gemstones. The quality you are getting here. Next level. The rarity you are getting here. Next level. And if you're in any doubt what kind of quality we're looking at here, we have a chart lined up ready, <laughs> which just will put your mind at rest. Wow. Amalite. I think I bought you Amalite on Jewelry Maker three times. Astonishing. Before we do the Amalite, I've got a clasp. And we're going to be recapping quite a lot, excuse me, that we did in the eight and the nine. But we've also got a load of incredible things to bring you as well. We've got the Smoky Quartz Showcase. Hopefully, we're going to have time for that. Of course, we've got the Amalite. We've got loads of sterling silver items as well. Right, have a little look at this clasp. So if you're, you're one of the many, many people who got involved with all of those gorgeous pearls that we just literally bought to wear over the last couple of hours and you're thinking to yourself, right, how am I going to set those? What is the ultimate clasp to use? Here it is. Here it is. Absolute ultimate clasp. It works in a similar way to the one that we had in the um, uh, eight o'clock works in the fact that this beautiful little hook um, uh, lever here which will close really beautifully with a lovely snap and you've got this what looks like it, it's a hexagonal cup on the end to tie your ends to put your silk absolutely gorgeous okay you've then got the same on the other side which I'll just take off just so we're not getting confused so you've got three separate components here and look at that that's a beautiful piece isn't it absolutely gorgeous piece of sterling silver with all of your cubic zirconia in there. It's just stunning, isn't it? Now, we're dedicated here at Jewelry Maker to bring you the very, very best prices that we possibly can on genuine gemstones, on precious metals, on anything that we can, okay? Where else could you get a clasp like this? And actually, yeah, you probably could buy a clasp like this elsewhere, whether you go on Cooks and Gold, whether you go on Etsy, you know, wherever you go, absolutely 100%, yeah, lovely quality. Beautiful. Sterling silver? Sure, why not? Cubic zirconia? Absolutely, why not? What about for the price point we're going to be doing today? What about for the price point we're about to do today? I highly doubt it. Because today, this is yours. Sterling silver, Cubic zirconia, beautiful quality. Yours for £12.99. Oh, my word. There it is. £12.99 for you today. Well done. Nicolette, well done to you, my lovely. Well done to Helen. Well done to Edith. Well done. There's tons of people coming through to get this today. Well done, everybody. Maker and County Antrim's coming through to get this. Well done to you. Loads and loads and loads of you. Julian Lanarkshire as well. Well done to you as well. Phenomenal. Gabrielle, Morag, Brian, Julie, Maker, you've got too many basket. Well done to you. Edith, you've got too many basket. Helen, you've got too many basket. Maker, well done to you as well. In Cardiff absolutely tremendous well done go 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 these are what i'd be putting with the pearls these are what i'd be matching with the pearls of a lifetime estate pearls you know some people um uh, kind of collect fine wine some people collect artwork some people collect you know gorgeous you know classic cars pieces of artwork you know whatever you can collect those incredible pearls that we bought to wear and what and you know setting them into jewelry making them into jewelry making them into heirlooms of the future and using findings and components like this there's no better way of doing this check out your baskets well done maker and county antrim's bought three edith's got two helen's got two maker gabrielle you've got three in your basket morag You've got um, another couple of new baskets. Actually, Brian, you've got four new baskets as well. £12.99. Well done to everybody. That's absolutely phenomenal, isn't it? Well done, everybody. Go, 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 go. Um, we've got lots and lots and lots more to bring you in this hour. I can't believe we're almost quarter past the hour as well. Uh, there's still so much to bring you. Um, we've got a showcase of Amalite. 
This gemstone, oh my gosh. Right, this gemstone is one of the world's rarest, most prized, most seldom seen treasures. What we have here is a gem of almost insurpassable rarity and near insurpassable beauty. Classified as one of the world's rarest gemstones, this is an all-American gem, owned, well, I, I, I say all-American, all-Canadian gem, mine in southern Alberta in Canada. We've got um, lovely presenter Elle at the Tucson Gem Show talking about this very parcel of gemstones. Do not go anywhere. Listen to what Elle's got to say about this. And after we come back, we're going to bring you the best deals we've ever done on this gem. That's how they're lifted from the ground? Are they all whole like this? Um, yeah, they, they're, they're black though. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, they're so you all, they have rock. Get... Not until, well, you've got a good idea, uh -huh. but you never know exactly what it's going to be. Like when we, when we hit the fossils, it'll, you know, we'll have a little show of color and you'll see the squirrel. We start by putting glue over it. Yeah. And then uh, with the hammers, we go like the healthy hammer around it, like quite a ways around it. Yeah. So, so it's, it's not, not to crack, fracture it, right? And then when it moves, it'll just hold. Because this layer here is softer than the rock layer. Mm -hmm. So it'll, it'll break away from the rock. Just in the vibrations of the hammer and stuff, it'll break away. And what creates that color? <laughs> the color is uh, bentonite, argonite, uh, iron pyrite, all the, all the materials are minerals that were present. It, yeah, this comes from a, an inland sea with a ring of fire. It still is, actually, the low volcanoes. Okay. So uh, they feel that a lot of that volcanic ash came down, settled. It's what created oh, yeah, the color. Over the millennia, it, uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So amylite is obviously a prehistoric gemstone? How many amylite? Oh, at least uh, 70 million years. 70 million this years. This would be more like 140. Uh, when you get these you know, dramatic colors and the deep colors that they're older. Yeah. The younger ones would be like over here in the river. The river run and come out from higher up. Wow. And in terms of top quality, what are we looking for? One particular color or a multitude? We like having multi yeah. multicolor. Like if you can get three colors or more it's it's considered a double A wow. or triple A, which is which is really nice. And you can see this here. Again, okay we've got the purple and then the green, and then you have red. So literally, this is layers and layers of the shell. Mm -hmm. So if you polish it on a bit of an angle, you're gonna get those colors, yeah. right? Perfect. So it's, uh, if you sand it too much, you'll sand down, and then it'll all be red, and then you keep sanding it down, and it'll all just be brown. And what I've just learned is that John's lovely wife, Cora, also yeah. makes jewelry. <laughs> oh, yeah. So she, yeah, truly the pair of you are cut from the same cloth. Yeah, this is what got us into this business. I have a bit of a sickness for opal. Uh -huh. And then Amelie, I went, whoa, yeah. and this is right here. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I don't have to go to Australia to no. get this, it's right here. It is a thick piece of gem. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it doesn't always, as you can see, this is the thickness of it here. Yeah. So we're, to get the Imperials, we've got to go like right into the eye here. It's usually the, the thickest part of the gem. Mm -hmm. so you, you're looking for those thick, thick pieces. And there, there's no, like this in here is the natural horse rock. Yeah. So when there's no natural horse rock, it's been pushed together and then it's and that's how together you... over the, the, the millions of years. And so I, I, I think out of every, Let's say every uh, about a thousand stones that we have, we'll find one in Peru. Wow. Yeah, we'll get a Peru. So one in a thousand. Yeah, they're they're very kind of rare. Do you know something? And you could just sense the pride that gentleman had um, of his gemstones. The pride, the immense kind of um, uh, wealth of knowledge that he had, and how eager he was to show Elle all of those incredible pieces. The pieces that we're bringing to you today are unparalleled in beauty. And I have to say as well, go, going from what he said, 
we're talking 140 million years in age. This really stuck out for me when Steve Bennett, the founder of Gemporia, um, released The Lure of Gems. And um, uh, I, I, I love this book. This is a really great reference book if you've got a copy of it. It's wonderful. Also great for holding doors open. Uh, but it says here, no, it is. Seriously, it's a very heavy book. Look at that. It's huge. It's the biggest book I own. Um, and just read this first sentence. That's all you need to read. Amalite is claimed by many to be the rarest gem on the planet. While this might be taking a little far, it's, it's certainly incredibly rare and to date has only ever been discovered in the isolated region of southern Alberta, Canada. If you were to ask me to categorise its rarity, I would put it on a par with Zarite and Paraiba tourmaline. The problem is amylite doesn't stop with its rarity and just like Zarite taking the rough material um, and making it into a piece it can be, honestly, one of the most challenging things. Why is that? Well, you saw the pieces that that gentleman had at the Tucson Gem Show. You saw the pieces that were not made into pieces of jewellery. Making this into jewellery, this is where the really difficult thing starts because what we're talking about is a wafer-thin um, piece of amylite. It's very, very fine, very, very fragile. So the only way that you can set this gem is to keep the, keep the kind of the mollusk, the shell on the back of it, have the amylite on top. And then what you want to do is you want to dome it with a clear resin on top. Now, this will protect the gem. If it, if it didn't have that protection over the top, it would just scratch. It would disintegrate into a thousand pieces uh, and, and you'd be left with nothing. So it's when you cut it and make it into jewelry, that's, that's the really difficult part. Finding it obviously is incredibly difficult and it's very, very rare, blah, blah, blah. But to actually make it into jewelry, to cut it down is incredibly rare. Now, something that was touched upon as well is the age of this gem, because it can vary massively from 50 to 140 million years. That's a huge difference. You know, we're talking kind of from Jurassic to kind of, you know, you know almost pre-Jurassic period. So how do, we, how do we classify what we've got here today? Well, anything which shows three colours or more is basically classified as 140 million years plus. Look at what we've got. How many colours are you seeing here? Reds, yellows, greens, blues. I am seeing what can only be classified as your triple... A grade of amylite. It can only be classified as triple A grade. If you look at the chart just on, to, on the right of the recording, and you can see standard, you can see A grade, you can see double A grade, and you can see triple A grade. Vibrant, vivid colours from any angle. Yep, yep, yep. Now, these pieces that we're bringing you here are very, very, oh my gosh, very, very special pieces. I've got three different sizes. Presumably, Neri, we're going to be starting off with the uh, largest one. You've got me deselected, Libby. Have a look at this piece here. Oh, my gosh. From any angle, from, I mean, literally, from any angle, you are looking at this gem. It's alive. It is alive. It is living. It is moving. It is evolving. It is growing. It is astonishing. Now, because of its rarity, because of its incredible difficulty of setting it into jewellery, it is known as being <clears throat> a gemstone that is not... Um, the lowest in price, yeah? You're not going to be able to get this gem for a low, low price. Oh, my word. Until today. Have a look at this. 129.99 for triple A quality amylite. It's amazing. We've got some mounts coming up as well, just to let you know. Now, this gorgeous piece here is an eight by six millimeter piece. Big enough for a ring. I mean, big enough for a pen. It's absolutely superb. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. How many do we have, Neri? 
69 of these available, okay? So, so you've got 69 of these available, okay? Clock, not your price. Someone says this looks like opal on steroids. You're absolutely right. You're totally right. You're totally right. It's natural. A lot of people think that it's kind of, um, that it's a simulant. It's not. It is a triplet, so it basically means, what it basically means is it's been set onto a base of, of dark resin. You've then got the sandwich. I mean, it's going to be very difficult for me to show you this, but you can see just above the, uh, just above the black line, you can see that there's a clear line. And that is basically the amylite with the clear resin over the top. And all of that is just because amylite is such a thin, fine gem. It's so fragile. It's so fragile. We're talking finer than a human hair. Color, quality, caliber, it is all there. All of the colors. Can you see more than three? I can see like six. It's incredible. It's evolving. $49.99. $49.99, absolutely ludicrously priced there. $49.99, well done to everyone coming through to get this. It's yours today. Rodney, well done to you, Maker. Maker in North Yorkshire, well done to you as well. It's absolutely tremendous. The deal of deals. And do you know what? You're absolutely right, Ollie. From every angle, it looks like a different stone. It's absolutely unbelievable. Well done to everybody. It is a gemologist gem. It's somebody who loves rarity, somebody who loves um, uh, kind of anything to do with our Earth's history, anybody who loves, um, anybody who is a collector. It is yours today. Well done, everybody. 0800 644 Maureen, Alla, well done to you, my lovely, in New York. Well done to Makers Maker in North Yorkshire coming through, Lorraine in Essex as well. It's absolutely superb, isn't it? Well done. Yours today for 49.99. Margaret, well done to you in Merseyside. Loads in baskets. Check out when you can. Just beautiful. Yeah, just to give you an idea as well, as a ring, I mean, wow. It's absolutely superb. We're going to put a ring mount on screen as well, eight by six millimeters in diameter. Uh, so you've got here the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate collection here. It is such a beauty. Yours today for $49.99. Well done, everybody. What an incredible uh, deal for you today. Absolutely superb. 0800. Six triple four six double five. I think Nira, are you doing this from code, lovely? Ah, brilliant. Sorry, Kinger. My fault, darling. Um, so Neary has just loaded in an eight by six millimeter ring mount from the details from code um, to add it onto. Uh, please do add it onto your order. We're going to put the uh, photograph of it from our website. There you go. Brilliant. Ah, oh, love that rose gold. What a combination. What a combination. There you go. Sizes L to M and N to O available, so it's really limited. Look at that colour. It's absolutely superb, isn't it? Just superb. Well done. Twelve ninety nine for the ring mount in, in rose gold plated sterling silver with your white zircon surround. Beautiful quality. Amazing. Okay, let's do the seven by five mil one now. Okay, there you go. Okay, seven by five. Again, incredible quality here. Oh my goodness me, I love this gem. It's one of those gems that you, as Debbie was saying earlier on about, um, what was she saying it about? I can't remember. Oh, it was the, uh, 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 it was the Cuba PD uh, Mojave Australian Opal Matrix thingy. Yes, and she was saying it's the kind of gems that you get lost in. <laughs> I'm sure that wasn't the name of it. <laughs> it was kind of the name of it. Um, there is a gemstone in there somewhere, I know, yes. Uh, so, yeah, um, and, and it is the kind of gemstone you get lost in this gem. Look at those colours. They are absolutely superb. Yeah, it is like the Aurora Borealis, like the Northern Lights. I think you could see them in the north of the UK uh, the other day. I know it's not unusual to see them in Scotland. Um, it, it's a beautiful thing to be able to see. But to be able to see it kind of in, in kind of further down into England as well, it's just, it's just, it's just crazy, isn't it? Abs and it is like the Aurora Borealis. It really is superb. It's that capture of light. It's that, what do they call her? They call her the tricky woman, don't they? Uh, because those lights, uh, because the northern lights are so kind of... Um, 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 transient in the way that they appear and then disappear it's gorgeous look at this the most gorgeous quality 
And every single one is going to be unique. Every single one is totally, totally its own little microcosm, its own little character of life 140 million years ago. Absolutely tremendous. Well done, everybody. 0800 644 655. 39.99 for you today. Well done. Marianne in County Londonderry. Well done to you, my lovely. Lots and lots of people coming through to get this. Well done. Check out your baskets as soon as you can. Just love it. It's a beautiful piece. Yeah, it's a, a beautiful prehistoric uh, artifact, if you like. Yes, from a prehistoric um, snail, uh, which 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 lived 140 million years ago. I mean, it's absolutely huge. Think of the kind of Nautilus. Think of the Nautilus. You know, the gorgeous sea creature that lives in the shell. And it's got those different chambers within its shell. So it can kind of sink or take off or, you know, not literally take off, but it can literally, can li literally sink or come back to the surface, depending on how much air there are in the air chambers. So it's like that. Gorgeous. Well done. 0800 644 655. Beautiful. Well done. 39.99. Okay, next. Oh, yes, we're going to try and get a mount. Is that right? Okay, so we do have... A, oh, it's a pendant mount. Oh, lovely. Yeah, for a 7 by 5 Lovely. In rose... Uh, sorry, yellow gold-plated sterling silver with a zircon. It's got the lovely rabbit tail uh, bale on it. Lovely. We're going to get rose gold as well. Go on, Neary. Go on, Neary, with your lovely, with your lovely pendant mounts there. Gorgeous. Why not? Yes. Oh, my hair's coming down now. Gee whiz. Those 10 clips I put in my hair at kind of half past five this morning, I didn't, go much. didn't go very far, did they? Right, okay. We've got them in rose, we've got it in rose gold plated sterling silver as well. Again, with your zircon, exactly the same with the little rabbit ear. I don't know why I'm showing you what rabbit ears look like. You all know. There we go. Um, <laughs> look like a rabbit, Carol. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's just, it's just not a good look, is it? Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, yours today, well done, in your rose gold plated silver. 7.99. There you go. Gorgeous deal for you today. Well done. And it's all precious metal. Keep coming through for that. Well done. Let's move on. Okay. Goodness me, it's half past 12. Right. Ah! <whistles> <gasps> boom. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Yellows, greens, reds, oranges, blues. They are all there. They're gorgeous. No, let's not sing the Venga Boys. Thank you, Neary. We don't need that. Ha, ha. <laughs> He's dancing over there. I love it. This is good. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's triplet six five four. <laughs> look at this. Amazing. Yeah, come on. Let's have another look at the, uh, another, 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 another look at the grading system. <laughs> it literally does match it, doesn't it? Do you, well, no. You say that, Neri. You say it matches. It does. It's better. Greens, reds, yellows, oranges, blues. All of the colours there. It's even better than the triple A quality. I tell you what it's almost like. It's almost like a mosaic, isn't it? Of colour. <whistles> That's gorgeous. Well done. 29 99 my lovelies. Well done. Get involved when you can. Okay. We've got time for silver. We've got time for silver. So hobby maker coming up this afternoon with a load of amazingness. It's going to be one of those. It's one of those days today. It really genuinely is. Oh, my word. Oh, my gosh. I've got chains. Chains for... Oh! <gasps> I want this. Right? I'm having this. <laughs> oh. Right. I'm one of those people. I'll suggest collections and kind of designs to our head by Caroline I'll say have you thought about this why don't we do something like this let's do something like this and then I, and then I get the email back saying ah oh, we've got that planned in ah oh, we've already designed something like that ah blah, 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 blah. and I'm like ah, ah. this is uh, almost identical to a design I saw the other day on Pinterest and I absolutely love it basically a chain with little stations of bezel set gemstones in them the most gorgeous sterling silver <gasps> chain with bars and with your 925 sterling silver bezel setting with the most beautiful white topaz in there. Isn't that gorgeous? It's abs. Look at that white topaz, it's stunning. 
Isn't that gorgeous? And you're getting these beautiful bars of sterling silver. I love this. I'm going to put this up to the neckline, actually. Lengthwise, it's 24 inches in length. It does have an extender on it, though. So that's really useful to know, isn't it? I don't think it really matters. I mean, I'm, I'm, I will... It's not going to matter if it kind of flips over and you've got the topaz kind of on the other side. That is such a nice chain. Do you know what? Who wouldn't want to wear that? Do you know I very much look at this in the same way that I've looked at the, um, the pearl sterling silver hoop earrings today because they, I mean, that simple jewellery, I've still got them in. Simple jewellery. Yeah, it's so simple. It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. Look at that. $49.99, not your deal today. That is such lovely jewellery. It's so designer inspired, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. Look at all of that. It's gorgeous. Loving that kind of slightly irregular design that it's got as well. I just think it works so well. So I'm just flipping that white topaz back round. I think I've done it. Have I done it? I think I have. Gorgeous. 0800. 24.99. Wow, amazing. Gorgeous. You could cut them up as threader earrings oh leslie in greater manchester you are an absolute legend i love that idea polly carol well done to you my lovelies yes threaders because of course you've got that lovely bar to go through your ear absolutely amazing threader earrings are just nuts at the minute aren't they they're just gorgeous well done I'm loving that bar it's so pretty so polished and stunningly designed isn't it i love that irregularity that kind of slightly asymmetrical design that you've got going on here well done everyone 24.99 beautiful well done we've got another chain we've got a meter yeah i know it is a meter a meterage of chain here a metar of chain. Oh, it's an infinity chain. How gorgeous. So you get that beautiful figure of eight symbol going all the way through here. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at this, that gorgeous figure of eight chain. Yes, there it is. And you know what? It's a, it's a great design feature. I mean, it's a lovely and it's symbolic of kind of everlasting love, everlasting relationships. That's all wonderful. But also what it's reminiscent of, of course, is... Um, sorry, also what it brings to you is that incredible luster. You do this with your hand or your neckline or whatever, and it just gives you that gorgeous sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Gorgeous. We're at 48.99, 925 sterling silver. Yes, I can wrap it round my wrist, Ollie. How many times can you wrap it round your wrist? Can you wrap it round your wrist? Can you wrap it round your wrist? How many times can you wrap it round your wrist? Oh, they long. So I reckon, one, two, three, four, five. I reckon five times. Five times, a lady. I reckon I ran about five times. Hey, eh? six times if I really tried. But yeah, I would. You know, I, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to cut off the circulation. I reckon about five times. I reckon about five times. Okay, Wendy, well done to you. What's the gram weight on this, Neary? Oh, 3.6 grams of 925 sterling silver there. That's gorgeous. Do you know what? They make lovely earrings, wouldn't they? Oh, dangling from your... I need to stop mentioning these earrings. Otherwise, King is going to want them back. She's not having them back. Shh, don't say that. King, uh, you're not getting them back, love. Hygiene reasons, they've got to come with me. Hygiene reasons. Don't... Oh, I'm watching you, I am. Look at this. Hygiene. <laughs> I have very grubby ears. You can't possibly take these back. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I'm going to start. I'm just going to start putting jewellery in my mouth. You can't have it back now. <laughs> you can't have it back now. Honestly, the, um, the lengths that people will, the lengths that presenters will go to to keep that jewellery. Honestly. Oh, dear me. I have <laughs> Mary, well into you, maker. Wendy, well done to you. 11 99 It's amazing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done. All sterling silver. Yes, let's do that. Trio of pearl necklaces. Yes. Ah. <laughs> oh. God. This is another design. Gee whiz. What is... Honestly, I don't know what it is, whether I'm... It's a former deal of the day, is it? This is superb. Do, what do you get? So we're going to do an opportunity for the gold one, an opportunity for the silver. Um, right. You get them all. No, 
No, this is the yellow gold one. Yellow gold plated silver one. Gee whiz. Right. So, okay. So what is so cool about this? Okay, it's a box chain. I have been going on and on and Gaviscon about this. For months, I've been saying to Caroline, we need to do pearls that we can do this. I've never seen them. <laughs> it could be one of those things where I actually saw them and then had the idea. That's probably more likely what happens. I love that. I love that. I've got an idea, guys. <laughs> Quite literally. It's not original, Carol. You've just seen it on Jewelry Maker. Go back to sleep. But this is just... I think it was when Claire McDonald drilled that pearl and she said it was a mistake and it clearly, it was, and she made it into a donut. Yeah? Yeah. It was taken from that. Okay. Anyway, so these move. I don't know if I, I'd be playing with these all the time. I love, it is the first time I've seen these. I kid you not, it's the best thing ever. It's so cool. If I put this, if you put this price point next week, would I be shocked? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's very Miss. Well, okay. Design-wise, it's very Missoma. And if this was on Missoma, would it be this side of a hundred pounds, or would it be the other side of a hundred pounds? I hasten, I, you know, I, 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 you know, assume. What? Well, it's not the price, is it? No. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. Surely, to goodness, that should just be the chain. MC. <laughs> Ludicrous. That just, just doesn't sound right if I say, it. look at this, look at that. That does not look like a 1999 necklace. That is, you look on the Misoma website, it is honestly pearls and chains for days. It fits in. Oh, who's that lady? Who's that girl you're showing there? Oh, she's on the Misoma website. Oh, it's very suggestive. But that this necklace needs to be in... I mean, any lady who wears a jacket like that with nothing underneath it. Goodness me! You could... That is... That is... That's... That, that belongs in that thing. Iconic pearls for everyone. Is that the only way you wear your jacket, is it, Ollie? With nothing underneath. Goodness gracious me. Every time I see you in a, I've seen you in a jacket before, Ollie, and you had a lovely shirt. Oh, is it one of those ones like, you know, when you can get the tuxedo and it's like a T-shirt? It's, it's all one piece of fabric. Yeah. Look at this. Gorgeous. Rose gold plated sterling silver with the pearls. I love that. Do you know what? Wear them together, wear them together, layer them up. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at, th oh, wow, 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 wow. You've got to layer these up. You've got to put them together. Oh, yes. Same chain, just rose gold plated silver this time with your three gorgeous pearls here. They're absolutely superb, aren't they? Yours today. Enjoy. Go, go, go. $19.99. Beautiful quality, yours today, well done. 0800 644 go, 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 well done with your fright and with your white fresh water cultured pearls, trio of pearls. The holy trinity, isn't it? It's gorgeous, I love that. The threes look great, don't they? The beginning, the middle and the end. I love you more today than I did yesterday, but not as much as tomorrow. And you can take that to the bank. Okay, let's do silver, sterling silver, trio of pearls. This is a collection in its own right, isn't it? Trio of pearls. Trilogy of pearls. And they are big pearls, aren't they? We haven't skimped on the quality of the pearl. These aren't kind of like mismatched, weirdo, kind of, you know, chalky pearls. These are gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful quality. Ooh. Yeah, very much like the Tiffany necklace, kind of, the, you know, the rushing wedding band theme or the Cartier theme that we were just thinking about with uh, Jake, you know, the trilogy, the trilogy of metals, the trilogy of pearls. Threes work so beautifully. Um, $17.99 for you today. Well done. King has just offloaded the most amazing, just 
trays of things. 1799 Sterling Silver Colecciano coming up between now and the end of the show. Very excited about all of that. Gorgeous. Well done. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. At 17.99, lowest price. And again, isn't that a great gift? Look, can I just show it to you very quickly? Sorry, because I know it. I don't know how I'm going to show this. Look. Hang on. Oh, with, with, with my earrings, with my, with my earrings, my soiled earrings, which I need to keep. See, if I, if I use words like that, they won't want them back. Oh, right by my sideburns, exactly. They're not, they're never gonna, they're, they don't want these back now. You can keep them, Carol. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. Here we go, findings. <laughs> precious metal. Okay, this is all precious metal. Go, go, go. Fill up your boots with all of the gorgeous pearls that we bought you. Wire, oh, wire end tips. Now, these are wonderful for all of your pearl knotting. If you use these with your silk, um, and you're going to be knotting with all the gorgeous pearls that we bought you today. Uh, then, of course, what this does, it helps to protect your, um, uh, your silk, your threading, your knotting material. You literally put your silk through the little uh, uh, loop there. Oh, thank you, Ollie. Yes, we did the wall of fame in the eight o'clock hour, just, just for your reference. We did it about quarter past eight, quite early. Uh, so, yeah, you've got the um, uh, silk going through the, uh, the first kind of uh, tube, up and over, and then down through the other tube. So, basically, uh, with your silk, it's not going to rub on a clasp or a jump ring and kind of perish the silk. It's just going to sit nicely in that little trough, um, and, and the piece of jewelry is going to last so much longer, and it looks so professional. Five ninety nine dollars uh, for a pack of 20 of your sterling silver crimp bead, um, uh, sorry, um, silver wire and tips. What's so lovely about these as well is... Is the fact that it's a relatively small finding but if you you know you get these you make your jewelry you use other sterling silver things like clasps etc etc what that means is is you are going to be able to sell that piece of jewelry as a sterling silver piece of jewelry mary and jerry's got two well done pat well done to you jane mary janice leslie well done loads of people coming through well done at five at 5.99 well done to everyone coming through gorgeous well done 0800 six triple four six double five is that the right number Six triple four six double five. Yeah, featherweight head pins. Woo! Mm. Silver featherweight head pins, forty mil in length. <gasps> they are gorgeous, aren't they? They are absolutely beautiful. They're all precious metal. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I love this quality. They're stunning. Featherweight headpins, wonderful for your pearls or anything with a slightly finer drill hole on them. They're gorgeous. All 925 sterling silver. Loads of people already through. That's great. Well done. Here we go. 1099. Oh my gosh. A hundred. A hundred of your silver headpins here. All absolutely beautiful. 925 sterling silver. Gorgeous quality. And a hundred of them today for £10.99. Well done, everybody. Go, 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 go. They're so good, aren't they? Well done, everybody. What a superb deal. Well done, Polly and Surrey. We've got bidders coming through thick and fast. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Miss Janet, well done to you as well, my lovely. Gorgeous. Yeah, again, for your pearls, anything with a slightly finer drill hole, they're absolutely perfect. Well done, everybody. Gorgeous. Beautiful. As Neary says, they're bang on. Not that I've, I haven't got a clue what that means. It means that they're great. They're right there. And made, oh, yes, imagine your flame ball pearls with these. Oh, yes, with a, maybe a gorgeous, yes, a spinel on top of it or something, or a diamond or a, ah. Toggle, toggle, toggle. Toggle, toggle, toggle. The thing I love about this toggle clasp is it's simple. It's simple. There's a lot of silver in this. It's very, very simple, though. <whistles> 1.7 grams. Gosh, that's a huge... That is a big amount of silver you're getting there, isn't it? Huge. Cool. Wow, that's amazing. 7.99 for you today. Well done for your 925 sterling silver toggle clasp. Oh, gosh, that's not your price. Hockey dockey. Here we go. Straight down, five ninety nine for you today. Well done, absolutely beautiful at five ninety nine. There is so much, there is so much silver in this. It's gorgeous. Are you sure it's one point seven grams? It feels like more. I did. I'm not that I'm disputing 
Not that I'm poo-pooing your figures, but I, I think it's, I think it weighs more. She where's the batteries? The batteries don't. Oh, batteries have gone. Five ninety-nine, and that's just on me. Five ninety-nine for you today. Well done. Anne's taken two. Polly, Janet, Sylvia, Maker. Well done, lovelies. Gorgeous. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Well done. I think it might take one of those watch batteries. I don't know what kind of batteries it takes. Oh, does it? Oh, talk back batteries. Oh gosh, the batteries that we don't have. We're gonna to have to resort to the wind up talk back. So you have to you remember those wind up torches. Do you remember those wind up torches? <laughs> Silver bolt ring clasps, yes, 925 sterling silver bolt ring clasps. Look at these. Gorgeous, gorgeous. These are nice and big, these ones are. Yeah. <laughs> these are gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful quality. Look at that. Oh, you get 10 of them, do you? 10 of these. Do you know what? We're going to take these down to... A th oh, yeah. Now, I love this. I love that when Ollie brings this image up. Because these are so good. Because, of course, they're so big. The bolt ring class, that is. They're so, you know, they're so generous in their size that if you wanted to get, what, what is that, four bracelets stacked, uh, you know, and, and, and attached onto your bolt ring class, you absolutely can do. Because it will take it. Well done, Leslie Magret. Well done to you, my lovely. 6 dollars Hello. Gorgeous, well done. 0800 644 Can we do the ones in rose gold plated silver as well, Neary No Nose? What do you mean we go to have time? <laughs> we got what? Flat ball what? Flat ball ear wires. Sounds disgusting, but um <laughs> flat. I'm literally spat everywhere. Sorry, Michael, if I got you then. Shepherd hooks. Yeah, there we go. Flat ball wire, ear ball wire, earring finding, flat thing, ball thing. Well, I don't have the other ones, lovey. I don't have the other ones. I don't have the silver ones. I'm sorry. Rose gold plated sterling silver. I think Neil was just going through the motions anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. These ones, uh, Ollie, these ones are even better than the ones you've got in your photograph there. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my word. There's your 925 stamp. There's your 925 stamp. Gorgeous. They say it is a precious metal all the way under there. Rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, maker. Well done to you, my lovelies. Lots and lots of people coming through. Well done. You're going to be getting 10 pairs of these. <laughs> well done. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Beautiful quality. Giggle. Do you know what? If you don't, you'll just you'll just end up. <laughs> oh man alive! Man alive! Right, there's a toggle in the rose gold plated silver. Gee whiz, I've had we've had fun today, haven't we? Eh? Uh, gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful. You're gonna have fun on hobby maker this afternoon. Dave's raring to go. That's not tea in his cup, by the way. Oh. It's almost Friday Eve, isn't it, Dave? You know me too well. <laughs> it's fine. It's just coffee. Uh, so, six forty nine for your rose gold plated sterling silver toggle. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Well done. Gabrielle's coming through to get these well done. Do check out your baskets. Now, these would look amazing with your gorgeous pearls, with the beautiful um, uh, papaya pearls, with the gorgeous natural uh, lilac pearls, with the white ivory pearls, with the gorgeous... Oh, yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yes, I've got... Hang on. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I've got the earrings here. Now, obviously, well, mm, sorry, love. There we go. There we go. Sterling silver. Seven pearls in each earring. Early Mother's Day gift. You don't want to know how quickly Neary put this slide together. He was like, oh, my gosh, it is. Here it is. 
Mother's Day. Not this Sunday, Sunday after. Yep. Early Mother's, early bird Mother's Day special, okay? These earrings. Anyone, any woman you know will want these. Seven pearls on each earring, 95 sterling silver, 14.99. Boom. Done. There's your gift. We were talking as well, you know, when you go around to see a friend, maybe for dinner, something like that, maybe you take a bunch of flowers, which is maybe a tenner, maybe you take a lovely bottle of wine. This costs you less than that. They're 14.99. I'd much rather receive those than a pair of, you know, a, a bunch of flowers which are going to die within five days. Petrol station flowers, you know. Or, you know, you've got the opportunity to get these, to own these for under 15 pounds. Seven pearls in it, genuine freshwater culture pearls in each earring. And, you, and they're set into 95 sterling silver. I'll take one off the, uh, off the thingy so you can see how they set. Uh, sorry, how they close. But look, beautiful quality. Little lever there which just snaps closed. There you go. Perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. Well done, everybody. We've got the earring. Uh, yes, we've got the handbag charms out as well. And the... Yeah, we got those. Uh, so well done. Charlotte's taken two pairs of those. Well done. Zoe's got three pairs. Well done. Okay. Time now, very, very quickly, for the handbag... Char Look at that display. That's a display, that is. Oh, or you can wear them as earrings. <laughs> Proper earrings. I mean, uh, yeah. If you're going to be kind of training your neck to, for something. Yeah, these, I mean, that. yeah, obviously not for earrings. Let, let's take them off here. Carved gemstones. Select which ones you want. Either howlite, blue jasper, which I've got here, and the howlite, or rose quartz, or uh, rhodonite, which is beautiful uh, pink and black. Okay, gorgeous handbag charm. $6.99. Choose which gemstone you want. They're all completely natural. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love the quality of this. I love the quality of that key, uh, key ring there. It's absolutely amazing. And of course, you can bespoke it. You can make it really, um, you, can, you can kind of dress it up, dress it down, add whatever you want onto it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my word, amazing. You have got the most superb show coming up this afternoon with Hobby Maker. It's going to be so much fun. The most beautiful pieces, the most gorgeous stamps. You are going to love this afternoon's show with Dave. So don't go anywhere. Thank you very much for joining us today. It's been absolutely superb having your company. Uh, but please make sure that you join the gang after the break for an amazing afternoon of Hobby Maker. <laughs> 